It didn't go live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's time for our normal coffee and cursy words. But today in the Waukesha Parade killing case, it looks like defendant representing himself, Daryl Brooks, is going to be presenting or starting to present his case, which means he is going to be doing his direct examination. He is going to be doing his opening statements. And right now they're fighting over a video from social media I put on social media now that we're getting into the defense case, if some of you would like to cover it, it was an overwhelming yes. So we're just going to take the time that we have together today to cover this. Did I leave my earrings in my travel case and not have them? Yes. Did I not have the normal lip gloss? Yes. Do I still have coffee? Yes. Are we going to roll the intro? No. For those of you coming in for live trial coverage, I'm Emily D. Baker. I am a former trial lawyer, former deputy district attorney. I have actually tried a case with a defendant representing themselves, and we are just, we are going to watch and talk about it. Hopefully we get to see this video in a moment. It looks like the judge is just kicking out the jury um, because Brooks is not listening. So we're going to do this. Good morning. My decision to do that. Let me know where you're coming in from. This is going to be a hot mess today. Look. He is getting very feisty this morning. Um, some of you asked if I am sick because I don't sound great. Paige, I'm not sick. My voice is trash from BravoCon. So, um, Draw asked, why are Amber and Johnny on the thumbnail? Because I downloaded the wrong one. I just fixed it. <laughs> so that's why. First of all, I have a cappuccino. Attorney Hopper, if you can make a record as to... We are in the uh, middle exhibit of mess. And, uh, whether it's been turned over previously. I'm going to answer as it many questions as I can. included in the initial discovery that was sent initially to the public defender's office, and now we have a record uh, that, that uh, those three boxes were turned over to Mr. They're Brooks. talking about a video from yes, Brooks's no. social media account. That name and it was not in the video footage that I have obtained. That video was not part of it. Do you think and I would sit here and be this irritated? Mr. Brooks, I need to make a record. So it's from your please, social. Sit down. There's it's no from your social media. At the moment. Uh, I feel like standing right now. Please sit down. I feel like standing. Yeah, you don't get to do that, by the way, in court. For those of you who haven't watched this, this is a defendant Based representing himself in a criminal case. He drove a car through a parade in Waukesha. Prior counsel. He killed six people, um, injured. I don't remember exactly how many other, numerous others. Issue. Um, that's I indicated that's I would. Accurate, Your Honor. I'm going to get to Can questions when there's a break because there will be. I'm going to star them. So if you have questions, I have not obtained that. Put a question mark. Uh, right now, that was my first time seeing that as an exhibit sir this is from your Mr. social media Zoom, and you can correct me if i'm wrong but you're familiar with that video it's from your social yes or no what, what, what does that have to do with what we're talking because about because i'm gonna make a finding <laughs> based upon what i viewed in that video that there's absolutely oh, hold on, sorry. no surprise to you i've got a wi-fi issue give me one second the subject of this entire sorry about that. case that the vehicles in the video with the plate uh, that's been testified to is in that video. Ooh. That video is relevant for a number of different reasons, the first of which it goes to uh, identification of you, identification of the vehicle. You opened up the door he uh, did. through your cross-exam of Detective this is why you have a lawyer. about his ability to identify you in that this is, video. He, he did this to himself. Um, and, and when I say identification of you specifically as it relates to Detective Casey's opinion that that's you in the video, of course, it's ultimately up to the jury to determine that um, and what relevance, if any, that evidence have. But you opened up the door for the state to show that video um, because you directly attacked the credibility I, the of volume up as high Casey, as it will go uh, through his knowledge of it and and the identification by him of you in it. Uh, because the still image was of your back okay so yes. that opened up the door and it's proper um, there's absolutely no surprise to you that that video exists and uh, that is my finding as it relates so, to that there's no surprise to me that exists it's that from your social media bro how was it made an exhibit at the last moment it's not it's impeachment 
So that you have it. The issue. The issue is that anything to do with it. They can make proof on that because obviously they marked it as. Bart, I did appeal so coverage so last week. That was an old thumbnail. Characterizing what I, what I said, and that the record needs to be cleared. The issue that I raised was. We're going to see it. Just at the last minute, out of the blue, become an exhibit. That's, that offer, was the go issue. Go ahead and make your offer of proof on that. Because Thank you, you opened the and door. Another uh, thing worth noting is the testimony of Detective Casey that this video was obtained from the defendant's own Facebook account as well. The court is Objection, well aware. He said social There's media. He nothing didn't say, that. He didn't say <gasps> sir, oh my stop God. being updated. We have to make a record of it. You What's he doing? Throwing a tantrum. Multiple times I've been abundantly patient with clear. you. Again, another interruption. So you need to be quiet and let the state make a record. Stop gesturing at me. me to be quiet? Stop rolling your eyes at me. You, I, Stop I'm mumbling. I'm looking right at you. I'm not rolling my eyes. No, you I'm have looking. throughout. I've seen it I'm and looking. I've made note of it. I would be okay, losing so my shit after days of this. Are you telling me to be quiet? I'm telling you to wait your turn. Thank you, Your Honor. And just to indicate, Your Honor, <clears throat> this court has been abundantly patient with Mr. Brooks. Abundantly is not a big he enough word. challenges the court's authority repeatedly. This court absolutely has the ability to tell him, sit down and be quiet. <laughs> tell him you to sit down and shut up and is what the DA wants why to you say. Done that, Your Honor. Good Lord. And we appreciate that. He is not in control of this courtroom. You are. And he needs to respect that. Don't yell at the judge. This Make a record. video was relevant based on his questioning of Detective Same judge. Casey, as you just indicated, challenging his ability to identify the person who had their back turned to the camera in the still shot of State's Exhibit 175. Trials are fluid. When he opened the door to that, we came up with the video, which Detective Casey testified repeatedly on direct examination and cross-examination oh, as to how he knew that was Mr. Brooks because he had seen the rest of the video. He would not accept that. He pushed it and pushed it and pushed it until we played the video. The lyrics of that video probably would have been prejudicial. Originally, I wasn't going to ask for volume. Then I did because he pushed it again and his voice and his mannerism of speech I thought would have assisted the jury in identifying Mr. Brooks as the person in the video with the red SUV. However, you smartly asked me to play it without the audio. And then I he did pushed that, it. And then I never went back to that. This is all to the benefit of this defendant who continues to suggest and impugn the integrity of this court and this prosecution. And now they have to play it Without volume. basis. He doesn't like it because the evidence is stacking up and stacking up. And whenever it does, That's his true. response is to accuse you, the court, or the prosecutors of being unethical and hiding things. There is nothing in law that prevents me from pulling something out of my briefcase right now and making it an exhibit if it's relevant. You decide what's relevant, what's Facts. admissible, not Mr. Brooks. There is no law he can cite to no law, no authority whatsoever that says I can't make an exhibit essentially on the fly if it's called for, and that's exactly what just happened here. Ms. May, he needs so a I lawyer. So I apologize for my tone with the court. He needs I don't mean to direct this a lawyer. at the court. It is very frustrating. He needs a the lawyer. The court has demonstrated much more patience than I have with Mr. Brooks. Because, again, I do not appreciate his impugning the integrity of these proceedings, of your honor's efforts to run a fair trial, and of our efforts to run a fair trial. We have ethical Bent over obligations backwards. as well they have. to be fair in this courtroom. We have respected that entirely. She is pissed. The reason I was laughing 30 seconds ago was because the exhibit was mislabeled. There was an extra Y, and it said... Exhibit E, E X H I B I T Y, <laughs> and I turned around to the paralegal and pointed that out, and we laughed over it. The word Exhibit E, that was it. Because there this trial is no fucking stressful. At Mr. Brooks directly in any fashion. I've laughed at a lawyer so in court. He did not like it. I'll tell you that story another time. He can object all he wants, and he has made that clear. He will continue to object and obstruct the court and obstruct these proceedings every last chance he gets. But legally. Everything has been above board and proper, 
and this exhibit is no exception. Um, I'm going to call them exhibities from now on. I apologize for my tone, Judge. In the giggity Thank voice, it's going to be exhibity. This is a uh, new record, new law nerd vernacular. Exhibity. I object to that. My of course you do. It doesn't change in any way that the exhibit. I like her Kendra Scott necklace. Um, I indicated I would take it up because. How does this judge still have her I'm hair down every day? Saying as like, how is this not pulled back into a bun? Play the lyrics. That is correct. And right. she should. Um, I have not heard them, but I'll certainly take the exhibit uh, at its word as an officer of the court that. Um, it would be prejudicial based upon the lyrics that are in that video. Play it. Make a decision. decision Let's have an evidentiary hearing right now. Shit, they're going to play music. I do want to take up two other Great. YouTube. Issues. It's court. There was an objection. It's going to happen. Uh, to questions regarding uh, cross-examination. So the objections were by the state. One had to do with possible... There was questioning about possible testimony with his niece and nephew and then the jail cell search issues. So, Mr. Brooks, you asked the questions. Um, the state had objected. I like her so hair. You were the proponent. Of I just don't know how she's, after days and days and days of this, of she doesn't just go home and fall into bed. Uh, what is your offer of proof as to why I should allow Ooh, Detective yes. Casey to come back on the stand offer and testify proof. about his interaction? I believe it was with your mom and possible testimony of your niece. I'm going to answer this at a break. It, it don't matter with Detective Casey. He, he's off the stand. He's not going back. I'm going to answer this no, at a break, too. I'm, I'm saving really these questions. I want to take it up outside the presence of the jury. How do I supposed to know? So are you withdrawing that? Sir? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I, I think I deserve a chance to rebut what was just said. I think I deserve Grounds. that much if it's a fair trial. What information do you want to provide to me I'll, about that last exhibit? <sighs> About what last is it? I'm talking about the, the fucking hell. The audacity of the prosecution to just put that on the record. Did he say the audacity? It's untrue. I don't know what you're talking about. What's untrue? Y'all, I've looked for a stream with just closed captioning. I can't find a five, single one. Ten minutes straight. Now don't nobody know what I'm talking about. I don't. There was a reference made. We're not following you, sir. Reference sir. made to what I'm supposed to know about the evidence stacking up and this and that, as if that. Has no. any bearing on what I still think and she what I'm still going to present? about your it behavior. Doesn't. Well, that's not what we're talking about at the moment. I, I made a ruling she, on she's an She's been exhibit. laughing and, and making saw. comments under her breath the whole time during the whole trial, and I never said nothing. I don't know what's being said. You don't need but to. I can tell that it's directed <laughs> towards me. I'm not. A, I'm not an idiot. I, I, haven't, I haven't made I, any of those observations, I, I didn't sir. Say you. I didn't say you, Your Honor. No, no, no. But what I've sir, observed her, is that her, you're listen, new here. Please. Go ahead. For her to sit there. This is a defendant in a criminal a trial. She's not referencing to me. She must think I'm an idiot. He needs a lawyer. You're representing that yourself, very sir. disrespectful to me. I haven't said anything about You've been disrespectful to everybody. She's done it numerous times. What are you talking about? I you have been so disrespectful. Her, breath, her trying to cover up the microphone so they can laugh Talk. and hee hee and kee kee kee. They're and kicking. They've been doing that the whole time. They're kicking. They're working. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Yes, he's representing himself. I noticed that. What I noticed are three attorneys. He killed six people. He's accused of killing six people. So that they're not hurt I think he will be convicted. With each other about evidentiary issues about, or about testimony. So why is She's protecting the record. I haven't noticed that. that other than the one thing you pointed out. Well, we have, we have cameras. That's what the cameras he's are. He's like, go to the film. Go to the film. What we're here for, and that's okay, this trial. Okay, I, I take that. If you have anything you want that. to tell us, I was furious. As it it a no, you need to let me finish. As it relates to the video and my decision to admit she it. She just admitted my that she delicious. just now came with the exhibit. It was not that she just said. She just made it an exhibit. It that was not an exhibit before she made it one. So do you have some legal basis, sir, sir for your position? It's an exhibit. What do I need legal the basis fuck? for when she just admitted on the record that she just I considered made this it this exhibit morning. up no, right she now? That's that not what she said. Misrepresentation. Right? Sure she did not That's what. So she wasn't implying that by saying that she could she did pull not make anything it out of her suitcase. Kiki is getting added so to our vernacular. Okay, so what is it implying to? What would that be implying to? That you are how misstated you about the law. Because you're not providing would, me with any legal basis. I didn't even finish. You, you told me that I can make the record. 
I'm going to so make the record. Sir. He's mad As because they're the government. The video and my decision to That's my reading. Okay. He's mad because they're the government. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish either, Johnny. Because you're not providing, providing me your but how do you, rant. How do you know you're I'm providing to commentary. You, to you're not providing me with anything from This is why I haven't covered this entire trial. I would consider changing my mind. So the state's withdrawn their request to play the audio. Then why play the video at audio? I've already made a ruling on that. You're it's questioning evidence. the ruling. You're not asking me to reconsider it based on Kim, I'm so sorry. Basis. There should be a legal, a legal This is why people that. representing themselves can be so hard. If it is too that, hard sir. to watch, it is so perfectly to okay to go. This is very, yes. very hard stuff. That's ridiculous. You're representing yourself. It's not ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So I was supposed to. I was supposed to already come in here this morning and say, "Oh, a video yes. is going to be shown off the fly at the at the drop of a hat." Yes. Let me try to find some legal thing to combat. How you're supposed, supposed to know it because you're the I lawyer. You open the door to it the playing it of that video. We're not talking about and the video no was doors. previously provided to you during discovery. We're not talking There's about opening no doors. We're talking no. about being fair. There's absolutely no prejudice that, to you. Not, in this is the shirt. Christmas Parade Massacre well, case for those asking on Facebook. Done that, I am going to move on. If from I had done topic. that, it Mr. would have been Brooks, a big thing. I'm advising you. I want a donut. Are you asking you me? Need, I'm advising you, sir. Oh, okay. I'll, you can't I'm advise. advise. You, you can't advise. And be quiet. And if you interrupt me again, you are on notice that you will forfeit Yeet. your right to be present so in this trial. So you're holding Mr. She should. The entire trial? she should hold you in contempt. You say the entire trial? If you were a lawyer, and she'd hold you in contempt. The trial. So what do you mean? I'm asking, what do you Mr. mean? Mr. Brooks, you continue that to come not, at me. I don't consent to being You continue that to fight with me. I'm you not are being disrespectful. You. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not. No one has I'm any idea what's happening. I'm not this was to sit down and be quiet so I can make a, a finding as it relates to other things. This was an evidentiary hearing. I ask, I'm telling you. Over a video. Good. Keep going, Thank Judge. You. He shut up. Go. There were two Talk. other issues that came up that I advised the parties I would take up outside the presence of the jury uh, and give, if appropriate, Mr. Brooks the opportunity to ask further questions of Detective Casey. There was questioning by Mr. Brooks uh, about possible testimony and why it, it had to do with the air. It was in the context of him questioning Detective Casey about uh, speaking with Don Woods, his mother. If there's a pause, a time in August, uh, and I'll kind of explain how we got here with this trial. His niece and nephew. We just jumped um, in today. And I sustained the objection. Every day's been like this. Um, I wanted to take it up outside the presence yes, of the jury. Yes, he's a sovereign issue. citizen. The second issue was well, the question. He thinks he's a sovereign of citizen. Casey by Mr. Brooks related not really to a thing. the jail search. Probably not. Do you want the opportunity? to question Detective Casey about either one of these two topics is my first question. Okay, why, why was it why was it an issue with me bringing it Mr. Brooks, I'm only going to ask you one more time. And you asked. Yeah, if I don't understand, if I, I don't understand what was the problem in the get-go with the question, how am I supposed to answer it now? You're Mr. the lawyer, Brooks, sir. Listen to me, please. I'm going to ask this question one more time. Man, it calls I, I, don't like I don't like your tone or the way you're talking it, to me. I don't like I don't, your tone either, bro. Sit down. I don't care if no, you don't like I'm my not, tone. Not, you've I'm been pushing my buttons all day throughout this entire okay, trial, and I have shown the utmost of respect no, for you, you, you. And I don't appreciate not. you impugning the integrity of this. She's court. been so patient. If that's what I you don't. want to call it. That's fine, but it's stop not. Stop talking. What you mean, stop talking? Stop. I need to make a ruling. Talking. Yeah, I'm purposely let's, not let's putting you in the other courtroom now. Let's talk to each other like adults, then. Stop. Because I've never told you to stop talking. Yo, because she's the fucking judge. I'm going to ask this question one more time, and if he doesn't answer it, I'll take it as a no. Do you want the opportunity to question Detective Casey regarding either his questioning or Shit. meeting up with your mom and your niece and nephew about possible testimony or the jail, the search of your jail cell? The That's judge no. has been too... The judges what explain the too much, in my opinion. Asking the question right, about he's the not answered here. my question. We'll move on. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Out. If I don't right, understand, right. how do I know? How do I know what I'm supposed oh, to God, answer if I don't understand? Oh, thank goodness. And I don't agree. Oh, <laughs> he's still talking. He was still talking when the audio cut. All right, I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to answer all your questions. This is a perfect time for a recess because we just jumped into the middle of today. So I'm going to answer all of your questions. We've got a 
15 minute recess. So hopefully we can get to all of it. They're not, the judge is not going to hold him in contempt because he's not, he's representing himself. How did we get here? Well, okay. Let me, uh, Tori asks, what does Kiki mean? Have a chit chat. Have a like, uh, like, yeah. how do you explain what a Kiki is? But I think in his context, he meant that they're over there having a little giggle session about him, which is not what the attorneys are doing. But yes, attorneys at the table will talk. Um, so I'm going to go back through the questions we got. Um, he's he's right now. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. We got a lot of questions um, about contempt. I will answer them. Don't you worry. So here's the thing. This is the Waukesha Parade case. There were six that were killed. Um, he is the defendant. He is representing himself. He's allowed to do that. He has the right to represent himself. It's my personal opinion that every time he says, I don't understand, and when this started earlier on, he's like, I don't understand. The judge should have said, you're telling me you don't understand. Therefore, I am revoking your right to represent yourself. And the judge should have appointed the public defender back then. I think, my opinion, that the judge should have appointed standby counsel. So when the public defender's office was no longer on the case, kept that attorney in the courtroom sitting behind the defendant. Not that the defendant can ask questions to, not that the defendant can can get advice from, but who is watching the trial in case the judge revokes his status to represent himself. And then you would have had someone sitting there saying, Mr. Brooks, not I'm going to remove you from the courtroom. I'm going to remove your, remove your ability to represent yourself, and then I will remove you from the courtroom. We will try you in absentia and have your defense attorney here, and we are done. The judge, I think, has gone too far with trying to be respectful of him wanting to um, him wanting to represent himself and should have taken that away. So um, Julia said there's no standby counsel in that jurisdiction. They needed to find a way to make an, ex an exception. He refused standby counsel. She should have forced it. Um, she should have forced it if she could have, but I don't know if she could have. I'm going to go to the questions. Um, I'm going to go to the questions because we do only have a 15-minute break. He is allowed to represent himself. There are, there are what, over 60 individuals that were injured. There are people who were at the parade who had to be cross-examined by him who had loved ones killed. It is very, very difficult to have the person who you think did the thing questioning you about the thing. And not everyone has come back at him with, well, you did this and you did that. But the, um, the police officers had half and half. So let's get into some questions. Sipping soup and waiting for Law Baby Girl to be ready. Eight weeks and two days left. Congratulations. Jasmine said, unrelated topic today, but are you going to cover the Nicki Minaj versus YouTuber Nosy Ho's defamation lawsuit? I haven't even seen it yet, um, but I'll go look. I also, there's a new Cardi B trial that just started yesterday. Today's podcast episode, because the podcast was late because I was at Bravo Gone. Today's podcast episode is about the three Hollywood trials with Weinstein, Masterson, and Spacey. There are so many trials going on. They're not all on TV. I've gotten so many questions in my DMs and in my comment sections about this trial. Today, we had the opportunity to maybe see him do his opening statements. So it was a chance to kind of jump in at the end of the prosecution's case. Isn't he claiming that he isn't Daryl Brooks? Yes, he says that he doesn't recognize that name. I believe it's because it's his government name and he does not recognize that name or the authority of the government over him. He is a sovereign citizen, um, which means he does not believe that the government has authority over him. Um, because he is a sovereign. If you want a whole deep dive into sovereign citizen and sovereign citizen cases, Natalie Lawyer Chick here on YouTube does a ton of sovereign citizen questions. I have dealt with sovereign citizens in court. It was always a bit frustrating. He will keep asking questions like, where is the plaintiff in this case? It's a criminal case. There's no plaintiff. There's a prosecution. How can the state, not a living entity, not a human entity, how can the state bring a claim against me? It's not a claim. It's a charge. On and on and on. What latitude is usually given when somebody opts to represent themselves? There is not supposed to be any. They are supposed to be treated as if they are a lawyer because they are stepping in saying, I am an attorney in this case. Like, I am the attorney in this case. They're supposed to be treated like a lawyer. Generally, judges give them a little bit more leeway. This judge, I believe, is giving quite a lot of leeway. 
a lot of judges would not have given as much. I also think she's over explaining to him and that gives him room to continue arguing back. I believe this judge is trying to make a record because of the severity of this case to make sure that it is well preserved for appeal. It's going to go up on appeal. Ineffective assistance at counsel is not grounds for appeal when you choose to represent yourself just by the by. Um, how is this man not be sanctioned? He has been not monetarily sanctioned, but he has been sanctioned some. I'm going to move my microphone because it's bugging me. He has been sanctioned some in, I should wait and do that when the trial comes back. He has been sanctioned some in that he's been removed from the courtroom, courtroom but he has not been monetarily sanctioned like a lawyer. Um, I, I think the judge is really trying. So why are they allowed to defend themselves? They have the right to represent themselves under most state and the federal constitution. So you can't force someone to have a lawyer. They have a right to speak for themselves. It's a right they shouldn't exercise, but they have the right. So um, he has an issue with him showing the video. So this defendant is having an issue with a video from his Facebook. The prosecution made a record saying that the video is um, music and it shows the vehicle and he is fighting that he's the driver. So he's fighting identity in this case. It wasn't me. Like the shaggy defense. Um, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. How do you know I was driving? I mean, they did DNA on the car and people saw him and have identified him, but he's still saying it wasn't me. So showing the video with him, with the car, is going to go another step to identity. And he opened the door for that in his cross-examination, meaning this evidence wouldn't have come in but for him doing some shit and asking some questions that now allows it to come in because it changes the evaluation. In evidence, it has to be more probative, more helpful to the jury than prejudicial against the defendant. The calculus on this piece of evidence earlier in the trial was this is more prejudicial. This is more damaging to the defendant than it is helpful to the jury. Until, until he starts arguing identity and then he opens the door. So with that, um, the video, it sounds like is coming in with audio. I'm very excited. My, as I was trying to get into here, which is why I didn't have my earrings today. I do have my pumpkin spice Madeleines, which, you know, healthy breakfast, uh, don't, don't come for me for lifestyle advice and my cappuccino. But as I was coming into the room today, I was listening to this as it was going with the video and I'm like trying to get my light on. I'm like, we have to go. We have to go. My husband's like, what? I'm like, dude, shit is going down. We have to go. Um, my aura ring is still charging. Like we're just discombobulated today, but it's Thursday and we're back. So I think she's not holding him in contempt because he's not a lawyer and she's sanctioning him by removing him from the courtroom. Could it ever get to a point where the judge court uh, stops him from representing himself? Yes. I think we've been near that point the whole trial. I don't know why she hasn't. Maybe the judge is like, I'm never going to do that. Maybe. Maybe. Um, let's see. Did you ever end up in court with a sovereign citizen? Yes. Um, more than a couple. Mostly with traffic infractions and stuff. Not with a case like this. Can the judge just kick him out? Yes. The judge can kick him out to another courtroom. It's very hard when he's the lawyer, though. He still has to be allowed to participate. Is this the same judge as when the trial started? Yes. This has been the same judge all the way through. Um... I, and again, when I say, I don't know how her hair is still down, these are the things I think of, like the extra time it takes to do your hair, or maybe it's just me, hair takes a while, but the extra time it takes to like get up and do your hair in a trial like this, look, but also the judge is probably aware that she's on TV. So, you know, her hair looks great. She must be exhausted. Um, Elizabeth said, I'm so glad you're watching this crazy trial. I've been watching. I just haven't been streaming. Um, watching on long crime and trying to catch up with feedback from other attorneys. I thought it would be helpful and we had time to do it today. I've been, you guys are obviously interested. So here we go. Can she find him in contempt? Um, could, but she removes him. Emily, I heard you were a celebrity at BravoCon. I don't know, Coffee Buzz. It was something like that. <laughs> it was something like that. There were a lot of law nerds at BravoCon, um, and some in unexpected places. It was very fun. Does the jury get instructions on what is standard? When Brooks says this is not legal, is there a way to tell the jury, yes, it is, he's wrong, he doesn't know because he's not a lawyer? They can't say it that way. Um, but the judge says and continues to say, misstates the law, misstates the law. That's not the law. Disregard what he said, that's not the law. So the judge continues to say that, and then there will be jury instructions. You guys have been watching this with me for, what, 15, 20 minutes this morning, and all all of you are like, I'm so done. Um because imagine how the jury feels. 
Like I would be so anxious sitting on this jury. I'd feel like I was being yelled at all the time. This would stress me out. This is not good. The jury is going to be so turned off by him um, that the, representing himself does not humanize him to the jury. It aggravates the jury. So um, Carol said, and this is why you don't represent yourself. Yes. I've officially spent more time yelling at this person I rolled than I did at Amber Heard. Now that's saying something. Yeah, he is very, very frustrating. Why wouldn't the judge assign him support counsel? We've seen that they don't do standby counsel, but you can't have support counsel. So you either have a lawyer or you don't have a lawyer. So even if he had standby counsel, they wouldn't interact with him until the judge yeeted him as his own attorney. So he, he chose it like that. You, you picked it. So here we are. Um, anyway, so, uh, Cynthia asked a great question. Why is the judge arguing with him? I don't know. I don't know. The judge keeps trying to explain and explain and explain. <sighs> oh my God. Thank you. I was just watching it live and wishing you were part of it, especially exhibity. I mean, here we are today. Today, it just, it, today was the day. I want to see his opening statements. That's what I'm curious to see. And if we get into the defense case where it looks like he's going to testify, I will look at my calendar and see if I can stream tomorrow as well. Um, create distraction and obstruction of a trial. I mean, it really is creating distractions. I don't think it's going to work in his favor. If they put him in contempt, it's just delaying the trial. He's already in prison. There's no real punishment. True. I mean, they can only really remove him from the courtroom. Um, she's a saint with great hair. Love this judge. She's definitely patient. So the judge is unbelievably patient. Yeah, I would lose my mind. There was a there was a fight yesterday with them. And the, the, the DA is clearly losing their patience too. And wouldn't you? Uh, Natalie mentioned if he was held in contempt, it would delay the trial, which is what he has repeatedly said he wants. And, and that's why they're removing from the courtroom. So, but I think she could find him in contempt and put the contempt hearing over till after the trial. I've been in a trial where a judge, um, marked contempt proceedings of the defense attorney for the record and proceeded with all the contempt things after, after the trial, it can be done. Um, but I don't know the local rules for them, whether they can or not, but in some jurisdictions it can be done. Question. Is it likely the judge will find him guilty based on his behavior here? No, this is a criminal trial. The only people finding of guilt or not guilt are the jury. The judge can't just be like, fuck it. Trial's over. You're guilty. That can't happen. Um, this is a criminal trial. So no, I have questions about how that happens in civil trials too. I have just not researched it enough to comment on it. Can you please explain why he keeps bringing up subject matter jurisdiction and why he all of a sudden doesn't go by a name, um, became a sovereign citizen after arrest. I don't know the timing of when he became a sovereign citizen. I, I, that I don't know, but he keeps bringing up subject matter jurisdiction, which generally doesn't apply in criminal cases because you have jurisdiction granted by the powers of the state in the jurisdiction that you are in. So there are, there are maps of like in this jurisdiction, this is who prosecutes like in LA County, this is LA County. This is who prosecutes in LA County. So any crime that occurs in LA County, the LA County district attorney's office has jurisdiction over those crimes, unless there's a carve out like the city of Hawthorne city of Hawthorne prosecutes their own misdemeanors. Okay. So there's a carve out. So LA County prosecutors don't have jurisdiction over misdemeanors that occur in the city of Hawthorne. Hawthorne has a city prosecutor. So there are carve outs, but these are all established by the state. He doesn't recognize the power of the state. So he's saying you as a state can't prosecute me because you don't have authority over me to prosecute me. So that's why he keeps bringing up subject matter jurisdiction. It's completely irrelevant because the jurisdiction to prosecute crimes that occur within their boundaries is already granted to the prosecutor's office by the state, uh, by legislation. It would, uh, I would never be able to handle this in court. He's making my ADHD flare. I'd, <laughs> the judge cannot physically assault the defendant, but there are some jurisdictions that still have like shock belts and stuff. I don't think that would help here either. He, it would just make it worse. Um, Lawnards, I passed. I can wave into UBE jurisdiction. Indigenous law is my jam. Congratulations, Barney Cat ESQ. We're doing a little, we're doing a little party. Congratulations. Um, how is this allowed? Yes, he's representing himself. Yes, yes, yes. So 
why do sovereign citizens all act like eight-year-olds arguing with their parents? It feel because they're arguing with the government. It's very much like a, but why, but why, but why? He's not going to accept any of the authority of the court. So I agree the judge is a saint. She's protecting the record uh, because like Natalie said, this is going to appeal. It's, it's of course going to appeal. I mean, unless, unless Mia, he doesn't get convicted, which doesn't seem possible here, but it's going to be appealed and it's going to be appealed for years and years. But him representing himself doesn't Someone well. At the doorbell. Someone's at my doorbell. I, I have a new doorbell. I didn't turn this off. I'm sure my husband will handle it. Um, so like Natalie said, this is going to appeal. Yes, he's likely to be convicted based on the evidence that we've seen. It will go up to appeal. Most criminal convictions, if not all criminal convictions on a felony level, do go to appeal. It's just going to be a lot of an appellate record for the court to get through. Dr. Curry needs to make this judge muffins for all the stress. I mean, um, hi from Milwaukee. So happy you're covering this. Love your commentary. Thank you. It's, it's, this is a headache inducing trial. I could not cover this day in and day out like we did with Depp v. Heard. Um, cause there's not, there's not going to be a break. It's going to be like this gavel to gavel. And there's so many other cases going on. Question. Can he later say he has appeal grounds because he didn't understand the law? No. Um, I worry the appellate court will think he needed legal counsel. No. Ineffective assistant of counsel when your own attorney is not a grounds for appeal. So no. He did need a lawyer. He does need a lawyer. He absolutely needs a lawyer. He refused. And that is his right. So it's just, it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like any of your rights. You have a right to free speech. Great. You have the right to free speech. You also, there can be consequences depending on what you say. He has the right to represent himself and there can be consequences depending on how well or poorly he does that. The consequences are you can't say my lawyer didn't do a good job and I didn't understand. If you didn't understand, then you shouldn't be representing yourself. And even if you are a trained attorney, you shouldn't be representing yourself. Don't represent yourself ever. Don't. The Constitution gives you rights. Those rights only matter if you use them. Like the right to remain silent. That right only matters if you shut the fuck up. Only matters if you shut up. The right to remain silent doesn't help you after you talk. It only helps you before. Anyway, I could rant. This, do you see? Do you see the energy? This, the fighting. I'm already like, ah. Ah. How do you think Judge Penny would handle this guy? Oh, that would be interesting. Judge Penny is such a strong and calming presence. I think Judge Penny would probably not explain as much to him. I think. Um, how do I think the court attorney or the court reporter feels? I think the court reporter probably has a migraine every day. I'm sure there are things being recorded. There are things that are going to get missed because of the talking over, but I'm sure there's audio. Um, who will be representing you? Well, it depends on what jurisdiction I'm in. I try not to get into fuckery. <laughs> um, do you know what the sentence could possibly be? Should uh, not Daryl Brooks found guilty? I have not. Um, looked recently, I do not know if they, I don't think this is a death penalty case. I don't think they have the death penalty. I think this is a life without parole case. So I think the only option is life without parole. What day are we on this trial? Like 14 or something. It's been like 68 witnesses from the government. Question, is there a basis for someone to establish sovereign citizenship? Can they just claim it after the fact? Oh yeah, it's it's more of a belief system. It's not like, it's not, it's, 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 I don't adhere to your authority. Oh, okay. It's not something that gets you out of anything. Let's see. I'm sure the volume will come back in the courtroom and it will be loud. Watching Daryl Brooks represent himself is fascinating. It is, but it's also just kind of sad. Um, it shows you how much lawyers are needed. Um, which is more likely concurrent or consecutive, him being found guilty on all charges, I think they will probably sentence him consecutively. So if it's 20 years per case, and this is a number I've just pulled, I did not pull the statute. If it's whatever X amount of time per charge, uh, I think they will just add them all together and he'll end up getting like 600, whatever, whatever years to life plus life without parole. I've had cases like that where they've been 400 years plus, 400 years to life plus life without parole. We'll before. see. So, um... So, yeah, let's, let's see. That. All right, let me do that again. We have back on the record. 
State versus Brooks appearances. Back on the record. Before. I don't consent to being called that name for the record. He's going to still not consent to being called by his government name. <clears throat> Are there any Leanne, issues he's related to exhibits or other things before I bring the jury back out for what I believe will be the state resting? No, the video. Yeah, I do believe that I did check with your clerk. Um, everything video, that video. we have um, offered and admitted matches what the court has. So I believe we are, are good on that. Um, oh, the I state's going to rest. Question. Oh, sure. If the so state rests, he does his opening. And I don't know if in my notes. He can't um, appeal on. What do the party's notes reflect on whether that was received? He can't appeal on ineffective assistant of counsel. So he can't appeal I'm based sure on representing himself. He can appeal on other grounds. Thanks, Leon, for that question. Or it wasn't published to the jury. But if not, we would move Exhibit 89 into evidence. And Thank you, Jordan, for the reminder. Exhibit 89 is? Is it a certified bail form? No, 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 I'm asking. Oh, we always keep I'm it classy. Mr. Brooks. So, oh, sorry. Um, also, I don't see these the truisms as name calling. Do you have a recollection of whether it was received? I don't. Do you have any information? No. I, no. Objected to it. I know you objected when it was, I think, displayed for the witness who then testified. Six about life it. sentences was the prosecutor's um, offer. I mean, it will be I'll this plus this, it, plus, it will be hundreds jury. of years to life plus life without parole, I imagine. Were there any other so. exhibits? I have one other issue on <clears throat> evidence and exhibits as well, but Angel K, can anyone represent themselves in court? Yes. Any, any other exhibits that like in any we situation? Need to tidy up the record in yes. front of the jury with. I don't believe so. Um, An instance where they could not represent themselves in court, if I guess I, if they want a party. One point, if you're a party, you can represent um, yourself. It's not advisable. That we moved it was either exhibit 175 or 178 into evidence. They're just the court, clarifying they 165 or 168 on the record. So I'm gonna so I don't know turn this down just a little bit. Um, They're just clarifying for the record the exhibits because the government is going to rest. They're at the end of their witnesses, they're gonna rest their case. And then we should start with Daryl Brooks's opening statements, which are probably gonna be a mess of shit he's not allowed to say. Related to what the state just put on the record. Yes, it's you know what? Was that, what, wait, six that murders and 60 was, odd um, injuries, <laughs> assaults with a deadly weapon with injury. Was he arrested at the scene? No, he was not. He was arrested after. Could the judge mute his comments only if he's not in this courtroom? She can mute him. Um. Alex said, so being a sovereign citizen is kind of like Michael Scott saying, I declare bankruptcy. Video. I know I have a note that it was received yeah. and published. Mm -hmm. um, and you believe I may have just referenced it by the wrong name? I thought it was 178. I thought you referenced it by the wrong number. So it's either 175. Um, 175 was referenced as 165 or 178. I knew he was, was wearing ankle shocks. Um, I think they would only one, use them is, if he put the the physical safety of like the judge or the attorneys or something in danger. They're not going to use a physical shock on him um, just for him being disruptive. It would have to be him like moving towards uh, the judge because normally defendants are waist shackled and stuff so they can't get up and down in their chairs so they can't attack the judge or the, or somebody else in the courtroom. But in this case, um, he's also representing himself. So he has a little more freedom to move around, but it would be an extreme situation where, where he would be shocked. I actually worked with a judge who used a shock belt on a defendant and that case went up on appeal and up and up and up. It was, it's wild. It's wild. I was not in court when that happened. It was years before I became a DA. It was, I looked at the judge and I was like, I can see why you did that. Those are, um, your records are the same as my records, or we can clarify just if there was some confusion about exhibits 175 and 178 that were shown to the jury this morning, those 175 and 178 were offered and the court has admitted those into evidence. So yeah, it's gonna be to hundreds of years, I think for all the injuries, plus the life sentence, like, plus life, plus jury. life, plus life. Yeah, I'm, I'm objected to them being admitted at all. Well, those objections were already addressed. I'm talking about how I addressed to make sure the jury knows they were received by the court. 
however you're going to do it is how you're going to do it. Facts. I don't think what I got to say much matters. Well, what you say matters, it, sir. It but matters if it's the legal. The fact that I've already ruled on the admissibility is not something I'm going to revisit. Uh, what I, what I got to say. Hold on, that door is, all right, it's sometimes that door upstairs malfunctions. And all right, I didn't hear the last part of what you said. What I have to say about anything definitely doesn't matter. I take umbrage objection with that, sir. True. And it that may be your perception, but that is absolutely not true. This court takes your positions on evidence, legal arguments. Stop defending yourself to him, though. Uh, Just be like, nature. okay, that's your opinion, oh, sure. Okay. Oh, that was me. Sorry. Um, but somehow it's always overruled or. That's not me. Why is there no sound? All right, let me find a different feed. I don't know why this sound went out on this feed. Give me one second. Um, this judge has been exceedingly, this judge has been so patient, but I also don't know why we lost sound. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go find another feed. Let's see if their feed is saying no sound. Is it just me? That's weird. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's really frustrating. All right, let's go find another feed. Weird, 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 weird. Um, I don't want to go to a feed that takes commercials is the thing. And there aren't very many that don't. All right, we're going to go to our disfavored for a minute. Oh, no, I have no sound there either. That's a me issue. Why have I lost sound? Can, I hope y'all can hear me. That's odd. But I've lost sound. Um, I'm, I'm not getting, sorry, Megalina, I'm not getting sound on any of the feeds. So that's odd. Let's see. That's really odd. Mm. I'm hearing literally nothing in any of my ears and I'm not seeing sound coming out. I think the courtroom lost sound. All right. Um, yeah, I can't hear the feeds. I can't hear the feeds either. The tabs aren't muted. Thank you all for all your suggestions. Um, but I'm not hearing it. So let me restart this. The court didn't do it. Um, I'm just, even when I went to long crime, I'm not getting sound. So that's a me issue on not getting sound through the court. So give me a sec to change this around. But yeah, I'm not getting sound. All right, let me just refresh that. Sorry, y'all. There's a, you know, this is, this is why streaming trials is always, always an adventure. So... I I see everybody has sound on theirs. I don't have sound when I pull it up on my end. So I'm not hearing it even when I go to a feed that others are saying has sound. So it's a it's a me issue, not a court feed issue. So it will take me a second to get it pulled back up. And I'm still not getting it through. All right, let's... That's really frustrating. Let's get the audio up. And I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not getting any sound from my computer out through. I've got sound there, but I have no sound through my soundboard, which is the problem that I'm not getting sound through my soundboard. Hmm. All right. Y'all, this is really frustrating. Let me, s I can hear it on the court feed. It just cut out of my soundboard. And that's probably a wire. So give me one second. I'm going to try to pull this up for y'all so you can see it and see if that works if I leave it like this. Um, let's see. Uh, 
He is Yep. Yeah, all right. Hold on. I don't think you guys can hear this well. So give me a sec. Give me one second. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get this back. It looks like they're about to take a lunch break, and then Brooks will do his opening statements after lunch. There we go. And he will do his opening statements Sir, after lunch. Please don't interrupt me. I need to focus on what I'm I'm not doing. interrupting you. I'm just asking a question. All right. By interrupting. I'm addressing that. So, so would it don't be Don't interrupt proven? me right now. I'm trying to do something on my computer. Would it be proven I need to on the record? Sir, she's asking you to stop. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Um, I had to restart my my soundboard because it just wasn't putting sound through, so apologies for that. Um, the state is going to rest in front of the jury. It's important at this time to at least give you the advisement pursuant to special <clears throat> material 28. It is regarding your decision on whether to testify. I'm not asking you to make that decision, but since we're oh dear. on the verge we're there. of you starting your case, we're there. it may impact your um, opening statement. Um, I wanted to go through the following. Um, sir, are you aware that you have a constitutional right to testify? I've been informed. This is all outside you, the presence of the jury. I've been informed that you also have a constitutional right not to testify. I'm not advised, I'm informed. Are you advised and informed that the decision whether to testify is for you to make? I don't understand the question. Yes. Do you, are you it advised is a and informed necklace. that the decision on whether you testify in this trial is for you and you alone to make? I'm informed. Not advised. He refuses to say he's advised because he doesn't have an attorney. He's playing with words. Do you wonder, do you... Are she, you advise and inform, You can't say sir, understand because he'll say I don't understand. not to testify, the jury will be advised that they cannot use that against you. In other words, you have that right not to testify. I'm informed. <sighs> She's trying so hard to not when use the word do you understand. Make a determination about whether to testify in this trial. I will further be asking you about whether anyone has made any threats or promises to you to influence your decision. I may um, also briefly go over your educational background. And, and the rules? And the rules? Did you hear me say that? No, I'll say it again. <laughs> this is why At she has to time, pick her words carefully. When we go through this discussion more fully, I will also ask you whether anyone has made any promises to you to influence your decision on whether to testify. Did you hear me say that? I'm informed. And then I will also ask you if anyone's made any threats um, or coerced you in any way in your decision to testify or not. Uh, what's the significance of that? 
it looks like he's so reading the code the book, findings about though the it could be a Bible. Voluntariness, intelligence, and your, um, whether it's knowing voluntary and intelligent, your decision to testify. So whether, whether I give consent. That's not the legal. That's not the word. Determination that I make. It, it is simply something that is your choice. Um, I will honor your right. I think he's testify. just ignoring her, Obviously, which is a rude. Constitutional right. I will honor your right to testify. That's also a constitutional right. And the jury will be advised one way or the other. There's a jury instruction on that. Um, did you hear me advise you of all of this? I'm informed. All right. Great. <laughs> okay, let's bring the jury out then and we can kind of tidy up the record and then we'll break the record. All right. <laughs> The yeah, state's can gonna rest. Uh, exhibit, yeah, they never played the exhibit. Uh, I think right there, so Circle back. Right, jury already coming out. Yeah, I'll just stick Sir, so go on right, city back jury. down. You're not in okay. charge here. Subject matter jurisdiction still hasn't been proven for the record, Your Honor. Because it's it should be proven at some point. No, it shouldn't be. So, anyway. Question, have you ever seen a judge absolutely lose it? Yes, um, but not in front of a jury. She is not gonna lose it in front of the jury. It would cause, it would cause more problems than it's worth it. Um, so, he's gonna ask about subject matter jurisdiction all the time. He doesn't you, think everyone. that this applies Please to him. Seated. All right. <laughs> So. All right, then I'll turn to the state. Any uh, additional evidence at this time? The state has no additional evidence. Okay, Your they're Honor. resting. Uh, may we make a record as to the exhibits? Go ahead, please. Your Honor, uh, we believe that the uh, court has admitted all exhibits that have been offered, uh, with the exception of one prior ruling on Exhibit 6. Uh, I don't know if you want me to list them all by number or uh, <coughs> there are, it's one through six, 78, one through 178, but there are some numbers missing because we chose not to uh, uh, admit them. offer those exhibits. Anything specific as it relates to the most recent testimony? The most recent testimony, we with uh, Detective Casey, we moved 177 and 178 and one, I'm sorry, 175, 150, 151, 88 mm. and 89. And I believe those were admitted by the court. That's my recollection as well, but for the jury um, exhibits 150, let me start over, exhibits 88, 89, 150, 151, 177, and 178. If I didn't receive them during the testimony, I'm receiving them now. The judge sounds and very And 175, done. which was the still photo. Thank you, sorry, I had a scribble on my pad, and 175. And 13 and 14. Sovereign citizen is the outliers, a belief outliers. that the government can't um, received as well, but objection. I can't I already received. I appreciate that. I hold you to anything. The government the doesn't have authority over you. Well. You are sovereign Say from the government of the United States. Witnesses to call at this time. Uh, no, Your Honor, at this time, the state rests. All right, thank you. Excuse me. All right, then at this time, we are going to break for uh, We're going to break for lunch. Hour. I'm going to. And then he's going to do his opening. Everyone uh, come back at 1.30. It's a little bit longer. Oh. At least uh, that's what I want to do for the lunch hour today. That's a longer right, lunch. So I wonder what time the judge will come back to talk to them about his opening. Because we're going to cover his opening. I have a meeting today that we might just push back because we're covering this opening. Like we're here until this opening is done. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm just not. I'm gonna answer your questions. Maybe we'll go grab the video of yesterday where we flipped out on the judge. I wonder if she's gonna tell them what time to be back because they're gonna need to make a record. So the judge is gonna do a few more things. 
Um, uh, thank you, be seated. Mr. Brooks, anything from you at this time, given the state of the rested? <laughs> Which me? I'm asking well, if you were a lawyer, you would know. Request at this time, now that the state has rested. What request per, in pertaining to what exactly? I'll ask the question one more time. Do you have any requests to make at this time, now that the state has rested? The pumpkin spice madeleines from I Trader don't Joe's. I understand what, what you mean by Our that. I'm trying to get clarification. I'm not going to give you legal advice. I'm simply asking the question. Yep. Do you have any requests to make at this time now that the state has rested? Not to know. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that. You're I, not I, supposed to say anything. If you're a lawyer, you would know. What, what would that be pertaining to? I, I, I can't give I don't you legal know. advice, sir. I'm just asking the question to make a record. That's it. So I'll ask you one more time. To no! Give Stop asking him more. I, I, no, I, I have no requests at this time. All right, the other thing I want to do when the jury comes back out is you will recall I read instruction 101 at the very end of the preliminary jury instructions that just has to do with opening statements. I will re read it again. Read that with the caveat. It will just say that the defendant will now make his opening statement. The purpose of an opening statement is to give uh, the parties an opportunity to tell you what they expect the evidence yep. will show you so that you will better understand the evidence as it is introduced during the trial. I must caution you, however, that the opening statement is not evidence. So I'll read that if it's appropriate, given the, that Mr. Brooks deferred his opening statement until the start of his case. Um, with that, we will take our lunch break. It's 12.09. If you could be back here at 1.25 and be ready to go at 1.30 with your opening statement. I got a question. Go ahead. Do I get to present exhibits and stuff like that too and admit them into evidence? Not during your opening. The judge can't give you legal advice, yeah, sir. What point are we talking about? Do you want to use exhibits that have been received during your opening? Is that what you're asking me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying if I got my own stuff that I want to uh, offer into evidence, which is, which is a question I asked previously. Do you believe the state has all of those documents that they might be able to assist with? Or are they new documents? I don't know what you mean by new documents. Yes, you are do. They documents from the discovery that you have. They documents of, of my filings and stuff like that. I'm sure they have copies of everything. That Your I filings aren't evidence. I guess without knowing specifically what you're referring to, sir, I did give you the admonition previously that you are prohibited from discussing subject matter jurisdiction during your opening statement. Yep. It's not relevant. I'm not referring to the opening statement. I'm referring to things that I want to offer Give me for an example. She asked you what you were referring to and you didn't say have, shit. So what do you I expect from did. her? I said I have filings that I want to offer. Not filings. Evidence. That's too general, sir. I need a specific example so I can answer the question. What are you referring my, to? My filings. Everything Which that I filed. Filing, sir? Every one of them. No. Well, they have to be relevant. Not Filings are not evidence. Proceedings. Okay, number two, I don't know specifically what you're referring to. Um, you can't offer testimony of yours through an exhibit. That would be hearsay. So you'll have to testify. She's giving him way more info than he needs. She should have just said no. I'm not referring to my, I didn't say anything about testimony. I said I'm filings. I'm general based on what I've seen thus far. So. No. Um, the answer is no. Just give him a no. During your opening statement. Don't give him an the inch. Course of the questioning of the witnesses that you're calling. No. Your Honor, with all respect, I just clearly said filings that I filed. Your legal Correct. filings are I not evidence. I answer. I don't understand what you're asking me. You need to be specific. I, I filed a, a number of documents. <clears throat> I think. That's on well, the without knowing what you're referring to, then my answer is no. But again, well, I guess I'll have to wait and see as to when you just know, just tell them, them whether there's any objection or not, and whether they're whether they comply with all of the rules of evidence and the rules of procedure. This is going to take That's the best I can forever. Tell you at this point. I, I don't understand what you mean by that. They they will only be relevant to obviously. Oh, now you're asking about understanding. Matter. They, they wouldn't Sir, be relevant I, to anything I, else. I can't answer that anymore. We're going to take our lunch break. It's 12-12. We'll see everyone back here at one twenty-five. We are in recess. The judge is like, so I'm, I'm not allowed to offer anything in the evidence? For the record, I never said that. That's not what she said. So wait, I'm, I'm wait, to wait, 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 go back. Ah, go back to court. 
they're not done arguing. There's the judge is walking off the bench and he's still arguing with her. I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to ask all of the questions I have, and then we'll go to, um, let's see. There's like a 16 minute video of the blow up in court yesterday. And we'll go through that. Um, and then, and then we should be back for opening statements. I'm just going to stay. I'm going to text, um, I'm going to text my team and be like, look, what we're doing today <laughs> is we're going to get through this opening statement. I'm here. I want to get through opening statements. I want to see his opening statements. It's going to be a mess. Um, he is going to try to testify in his opening statements. He is not allowed to testify in his opening statements. So, oh, man. EDB, please state your subject matter jurisdiction. You are not leaving until opening statements. Yes, I am staying here. Um, we are, we're just going to do this. I think I forgot to send a text to the text crew. Sorry, text crew. I will, I will do that. Um, I will do that a little later because we'll be back. We're, we've got like an hour. It's so funny. I think some streamers would be like, oh my God, there's an hour. And I'm like, oh shit, we only have an hour. We've got a lot to do. <laughs> we've got a lot to catch up on. Um, opening statements have a lot of rules and you're not allowed to overstep those rules. We already saw fighting with the opening statements with the lawyers in the Masterson trial. Um, there was a lot of objections during openings. Normally it is very rude to object during opening, but also it's really inappropriate to cross those lines. Opening statements are not argument. Opening statements are you laying out, they're not testimony. They're the lawyer laying out what the evidence might show. So it's like, when I talk about trial like a puzzle, it's like sh trying to show the jury the the box of the puzzle so they know what it should look like at the end. Like these are the pieces we're going to put together and you're going to get them maybe all out of order. But at the end, it should look like this. That's the point of an opening statement. You can either have the prosecution do an opening, then the defense, and then we go into evidence or the prosecution does an opening. The defense reserves their opening. The prosecution does their case rests, then the defense does their statement, and then they do their evidence. And that's what we have in this trial. Defendant Brooks reserved his opening statement, so he's making it now at the beginning of his case. There are things he is not allowed to say in his opening. I guarantee you, that's a very strong statement from a lawyer, he is going to say the things he's not allowed to say because he's not helping himself. He gives no fucks. That What is the judge going to do to him at this point? If he says more shit he's not allowed to say. And he's going to say more shit he's not allowed to say. It's not going to, you know, the government can't do that because that's a grounds for appeal. He's the defendant representing himself. He's going to say whatever. And the the prosecution's going to object. And then he's going to say that that's not fair and he doesn't understand. Mess. Mess, mess, mess. Um, Margo asks, can you please explain why someone who clearly has no idea how a court works is allowed to represent themselves? This is crazy. They are allowed to represent themselves even if they don't know how court works because they have a constitutional right to do so. These are the rights of the defendant being protected. The court is protecting his rights. It is a bad idea. But the bar for not being allowed to represent yourself is set very, 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 very high. So to say someone is not competent to represent themselves is a high bar. I think the judge could have gotten there, but disruptive is not enough. So... The judge is trying to respect his rights. He said he wanted to represent himself. They had a whole hearing on it. The judge found that he was competent to represent himself. Um, but I think at this point, he is being so extraneous with all of it that the court could say, you are you keep saying you don't understand, so therefore you're not competent to represent yourself. So what filings are you referring to? I mean, right? Um, I've been watching this with Law Talk with Mike. I, I am sure there's a number of people streaming it. I could not do this day in and day out. I, ju I just couldn't. And I've been traveling um, too much. But I did want to see his opening statement and talk through it with you. And hopefully this stream will answer enough questions that when I get them in DM, I can just refer everyone back to this stream. Um, question, did you find the video of the car that the jury saw yesterday? I've seen it. I'm not going to play that. Um, I'm not going to play that. But I will play them arguing in just a minute. Question, is it late for him to get an attorney if he wants to do so? I think so. He's starting his his case, but maybe not. Um, let's see. This has been so bananas to watch. So glad you're get to be getting your input. It is, it's, it's, it's bananas. You normally don't see stuff like this happen because you don't have defendants representing themselves and you don't have a 
a um you don't have a a judge that's just going to do this um I don't think petulant child is name calling just for those of you that are new here. And if any of you have not done the YouTube things, do the YouTube things. We don't do name calling. It's hard with this defendant knowing what he is accused of. Um, for those of you just tuning in, Daryl Brooks is the defendant in the Waukesha, Wisconsin parade killing from last December. He drove through a Christmas parade, killing six, injuring upwards of 60. He is standing trial for that. Now he is representing himself. He believes himself to be a sovereign citizen, meaning the jurisdiction and the, the rules of the government of the United States do not apply to him. The authority of the court does not apply to him. The court does not have jurisdiction over his person, which would be personal jurisdiction, not subject matter jurisdiction. The court very clearly has jurisdiction over criminal proceedings within the state. Um, he's trying, he wants to say personal jurisdiction. You don't have jurisdiction over me. But he keeps saying, you don't have subject matter jurisdiction. It feels like he might have watched Legally Blonde once and thinks that that's what jurisdiction is. But the court clearly has jurisdiction over the subject matter of the case, which in this case is homicide, uh, vehicular. Well, no, hom uh, murder and then with the deadly weapon being the vehicle, not a vehicular homicide. That is is different. So that's a quick little that's a quick little explanation. Every time he opens his mouth, I'm like, this is why you need a lawyer. Yes. The judge is being too, I think the judge is being too nice. It's like, I, I don't want to compare him to arguing with a kid because I, I find that to be a little bit uh, demeaning and I don't want to say that. But when you are arguing with someone who will take any little opening as a bigger opening, that's what she's doing when she keeps talking back to him. Instead of just saying no, she keeps letting the door stay a little bit open for him to continue to argue instead of shutting down the conversation. And she is not shutting down the conversation. Um, and that's the problem. So she needs to be shutting down the conversation and is not. She's trying to help too much. And she does not need to be helping in this case. Why does she not need to be helping? Oh, hey, Lawn Lumber, good to see you. Um, why is she helping too much? I think she's really going out of her way to try to make sure that this is fair. But if you have to go out of your way that much, if you have to go out of your way that much, then it's, um, then you, he shouldn't be representing himself. She is not allowed to give, um, she is not allowed to give advice or legal advice or guidance. So she should stop explaining so much in my, that's just my, <clears throat> that's just my opinion. I'm not the judge in this case, <laughs> clearly. Question, wait, at what point are we at in this trial? Is this opening statements? The jaded, no. The defense is getting ready to do their opening statement. The prosecution just rested. So we're in the middle, more, more towards the end of the middle because the defendant only has six witnesses. So he's getting into his case in chief and then it will be closings. And I will try to stream closings as well. I don't think he's going to follow the rules. He's absolutely not going to follow the rules. Um, so the opening is like a preview thesis ask, abstract for your case. Yes. Um, off topic, but what are your opinions on the Kristen Smart verdict? I think it was a difficult verdict for the prosecution to get. And whenever you you have a homicide case where there is no body and no cause of death, it's a very difficult verdict to get. I hope that the Smart family feels like they got some answers. I don't know if they do. Um, so... It's an interest. It's an interesting verdict with one jury convicting and one jury not convicting. So, question: What does Brooks mean when he says "I accept for value in return for value"? I have no idea what he means by that. I am not a sovereign citizen. I don't know. Um, let's see, Emily. I'm so glad you're breaking this one down. I know. I can't, I look. This is generally, I don't cover a ton of criminal stuff. I tend to stick to pop culture stuff, though I know I can give input on criminal just as being a DA for over 10 years, doing quite a lot of trials and then doing, I've done one pro per uh, trial, which was a very interesting, nothing like this. The pro per in my trial was much more respectful, but the judge in that case was terrifying. I was terrified of the judge in that case. I can't imagine how the defendant must have felt, but it was a shorter much shorter case, just a handful of witnesses. Um, so it went, it was uh, like a day and a half from from the beginning of the case through the verdict. So it was a very, very quick case. It was not like this at all. But 
I try to give perspective when y'all are interested. So if enough of you ask me to do things enough, I'll, I will generally, unless I have a reason not to win it, then I will tell you, I will generally do it. So I was, there were some trials that were going on televised that I was never going to cover, but this, this, um, this I will, because I want to see the opening statement. Wonder if he actually has an opening statement prepared. We'll see if he has notes. Question, is there a strategy from a real lawyer for reserving opening arguments? Yes, there can be. Um, and I've never worked as a defense attorney. I've had cases where the defense has reserved their opening statement. In cases where the person admitted and is caught on video and there's not much for them to say, so they've waited till their opening to try to point out what their evidence is. Also, if the defense is still, still trying to get certain witnesses and still doing things, there's a lot of value sometimes to reserving an opening statement so that you know exactly what you're presenting. There's a big problem if you say an opening. You're going to see. I'm going to show you. In this case, you're going to see this and this and this and this and this. If you can't deliver that, then on closing, the opposite side is going to be like, they told you you were going to see all this shit and you didn't. It was like us in depth. Be heard. Where's the fecal phobia, Elaine? You said we'd hear all the fuck about it in your opening. Where was it? We still don't know. Pin Caso never appeared. You talked about it. We want to know. So you can reserve in criminal for that because it can help. Um, if he says more shit than he is allowed, can the judge correct? The judge can interrupt and tell the jury to disregard, but the judge can't correct. So that. Um... Crystal said he chose to have zero representation or backup. He chose to represent himself. I think the judge should have overridden that. Have you watched every day? Not every single day. Is there a way to view previous streams? This is the first day I'm streaming it, but the lives, the live streams are on Lawn Crime, um, Court TV, and other news stations. Today we're watching on one of the local news, local news affiliates, and they are there where we're watching from. So. Um, the judge should say, this is why you should have an attorney every time he says, I don't understand. Well, sir, you're the attorney. It's your job to understand is what I would say. You're the attorney. It's your job to understand. It's your job to understand. It's your job to understand. <laughs> That's what I would do. Will you continue to live stream this trial? Not every day. I will do, um, I want to see his opening statements. I, cause I just, I truly cannot do, um, I truly cannot do gavel to gavel coverage just based on how busy, uh, things are in life at the moment. But I will also try to do closing arguments. I don't think I have any travel that's going to conflict. So my goal is is to do uh, his opening statements. And if we can do the beginning of a witness today, we'll do that. And then for sure, closing arguments. And then if we have some if I have some other time, um, I might pop in a feed. It's a lot of work for the mods too to maintain our community the way it is when these uh, streams get big, especially, when someone's as polarizing as this defendant and when people want to talk about this defendant's mental health, because I understand why you'd want to talk about it. But we, you know, we always maintain our rules no matter what we're talking about because that maintains our community. Um, let's see. Melissa said my ex-husband turned sovereign citizen after our divorce, custody, and subsequent family court matters were a whole nightmare. He was held in contempt twice. Melissa, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Because it is so much. Uh, it is so much. So let's see. Um, I am way behind in the chat. I'm going to try to get um, to get as many as we can going. So I am sorry. I'm so behind on the chat. Um, Nancy said, I'm so glad you're talking about this. I've been watching. It's been wild. Um, wait, I thought he had 12 to 13 witnesses. I think he has six. Do you think he'll take the stand? Oh, fucking absolutely. He's absolutely going to testify. And I will cover that too. I... I imagine he'll be his first witness. Um, I imagine he'll, because why wouldn't you be? He wants to tell the jury the truth. And he wants to tell them that there's no subject matter jurisdiction. The judge isn't going to let him, but he's going to say it. And then the judge is going to tell them to disregard. And then they're all going to fight. It's, it's The rest of today is probably just going to be what we've seen. A, a mess. This would be very trying for a judge to protect the record, to protect what they're doing, and to deal with someone who just doesn't give a fuck at all about the boundaries, the rules, the ethics. Lawyers care generally about that shit most of the time, like they should. Lawyers will, you know, heed to the authority of the court. He's not heeding to anyone's authority. So um, are you live the rest of the court day? Mm, we'll see. <laughs> 
Uh, Bia, Legally Blonde has some very accurate moments. <laughs> but, but, some very accurate moments. Don't apologize for another question. Um, sorry for another question. Do you think he'd be behaving this way if the judge was a man? Yes, I do. Just based on the sovereign citizens I've seen, um, yes, I do. I don't think this is, I think this is a sovereign citizen thing. I think this is the authority of the government thing. I personally don't think this has to do with the judge's gender. Um, I think he would be the same way either way. Maybe even louder. Um, Bobby Cat said, hello, I found this trial hard to watch. It's so frustrating. It is frustrating. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for the victims. It's frustrating for their families. And it's got to be hard for them to watch something that was so awful turn into such a fucking shit show. Um, he does not get legal fees. So if he's representing himself, he doesn't get paid to represent himself. He was appointed a public defender. He doesn't pay for that either, generally. So, and public defenders are great. I mean, public defenders know the court, know the rules, know trials. We had attorneys that did both civil and criminal criminal come into court. They didn't, they truly just didn't know criminal as well as the public defenders. But court, especially in criminal, is not just about the case, the facts, and the law. It's also about the other parties, the DA, the judge, the DA's bosses, the site judge of the court. There's a lot to be gained by knowing all those players and being able to say, I know this DA, they do this. I know this judge, they're like this. I know what the juries that come into this courtroom are like because I do these trials day in and day out. I do hearings here day in and day out. There's so much value in that, um, which is something that when you get people who don't frequently practice in that court, they just don't understand. Um, please react to the DA defending the judge. I think um, the DA wanted to yell at the defendant and the DA can't yell at the defendant. So the DA directed their comments at the judge telling the defendant that this has been more than fair. That was the DA trying to speak. That was that was a triangle conversation because the parties can't directly address each other. This was the DA saying what they wanted to say to Brooks through saying it to the judge. That's all it was. Um, if they can't call him Brooks, what should they be calling him? I don't think he's ever said. He just said, I don't consent to being called that name. Okay. Um, so is he arguing that he didn't do the crime or what? I haven't watched much of this case. From what I've seen, he's arguing that there's no one who can bring a claim against him because the state of Wisconsin is not a person, that there's no jurisdiction over him, and uh, we will see what he says. I think he's going to say people can't identify him. He changed his looks quite a lot. At the time of this incident, he had very long dreadlocks. His head is now clean-shaven. Um, this also happens frequently that people will change their look pretty drastically before going to trial. He's been identified a lot. His DNA is in the car. I think he's going to try everything. You can't prosecute me. You don't have authority over me. Also, it wasn't me. I imagine. Can the judge find him in contempt? Not really. The judge can yeet him from the courtroom, but that's about it. I don't know what else the judge would do to him. They can't find him. So... Um, Meekin said, Emily, I can't say how much I love listening to your voice explaining things so articulated. I don't think I'm well articulated today. I'm still very tired from Provocom, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, his opening statement will probably be him trying to testify, at which point he should just be sworn in and testify. Can he ask for more time to prepare? He can ask. He's not going to get it. Emily, the individual known as the lawyer you know is interested in coming on your stream, apparently. I... Um, I'm just streaming today like I normally do for our coffee and cursey words, but I will connect with him when I'm, when I'm done streaming and, and reach out. But today we are just, we, the y'all asked to do this. So we're doing this. Um, what does he mean when he says value in return? I don't know what he means. I don't understand what he's thinking. I don't understand what he's thinking, but I, I think he's tr trying to use contract terms for that. Um, Question, if the judge eats him from the courtroom, does the trial day end? Or she says you don't get to call any more witnesses and ends his case. So that. Um, so let's see. I'm going to go through some questions and then we'll go through the the stuff that happened yesterday. Uh, we've got a little less than an hour left, so I think we have time. Um, actually, let me, let me make this stream a little bit. I'm going to... I have two screens now, which I didn't have during Depth v. Heard, so I can actually see better. <laughs> so our streaming setup got a little bit of an upgrade um, just based on the fact that I will be covering some other live trials. Gavel to gavel, not this one. This entire case is an example of why you always need a lawyer. Even a bad lawyer is better than this. Yes, but 
to to devil's advocate this. I think from Mr. Brooks, a lawyer from the government, a a public defender who also works for the state, is still just the government. This is me it, trying to be like seeing where he's thinking, or he knows he's going to prison forever. This is his time to tell his story. It's on TV. He gets to have his say, and he gets to be involved in the process, in the delay and the fight, and feel like he's fighting for himself. It's a terrible idea, but is the outcome going to be any worse? He, I think, based on everything I've seen, he probably would have gotten convicted either way. So this way he gets to have his moment and say his piece. I think even a bad lawyer is better than this. I agree. I don't think he would agree. How long has this trial gone on? I think it's 14 days already. This is my first time hearing about this, and this dude is already annoying. He's annoying. He's not going to get a lawyer. We're going to get opening statements. Is it too late for the judge to revoke his right to represent himself? No. If not, any theories on why she hasn't? I don't know why she hasn't. I truly don't know. I don't know if she's explained it. I don't know why she hasn't. I think she could have done it at the beginning of this trial. But I also think she, the, this court did the hearing on whether or not he was competent to represent himself. And I just wonder if she hasn't seen anything that's changed that. His lack of behaving himself, I don't know if she thinks is valid grounds. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> but you would think this judge needs to use her hammer, her gavel. My gavels are back there. I don't have my gavel. But yes, she needs to just bang on. The, I think it might aggravate it though, right? I think if she started getting louder, he might start getting louder. You definitely see her trying to de-escalate him, even though she's frustrated. And this is a lot to manage. It's fascinating to watch. If he claims to be a sovereign citizen, why does he keep saying his rights and amendments aren't being held? You make an excellent point. You make an excellent point. If you are not bound by the government, if you are not bound by the constitution, why do you keep saying your rights are being trampled? What rights? You're not bound by any of it. You make an excellent point. I don't know. Never understand why she lets him back in the room. I mean, I think the judge is trying to be fair. Late coming in, just got to exhibity. Now I'm singing exhibity boppity boo. I mean, it is exhibity. Exhibity. I don't think the DA should have to explain why she and the paralegal looked at something and chuckled, but he's looking for anything. Um, Sarah said, I've been watching this trial since day two or three. I've been watching it off and on since then. The judge spent hours and hours discussing with him the, exactly what representing himself implied and the consequences. Yeah, it was a it was a very long hearing. Um, just hearing your voice, Emily, is calming me down. Thank you. You're welcome, Joyce. It's a little bit rough. We um we have lots of throat spray here because I yelling over music is the number one thing that kills my throat. Um, according to Natalie Lawyer Chick, he picked the sovereign citizen gig up in jail. Um, he didn't object to his name when he was interrogated. And I wonder if he didn't object when he was initially arraigned. Natalie covers a ton of sovereign citizen stuff. I'm sure there are people in custody he's talking about that are influencing his opinions here. It happens a lot. Um, Aaron said this trial is like a drug, super annoying, but she just can't stop watching. I mean, a train wreck. I feel for this judge. She's a hundred percent better person than me. Super excited you're streaming today. You're welcome. Y'all asked. Here we are. His delusion is that he thinks rights are independent of responsibilities and consequences. Nancy, that is such an excellent point. It really is an excellent point. Can you explain the difference of American Sign Language and English language used in courts? Um, I've only seen ASL when an ASL interpreter is needed, but I'm not quite sure I understand the rest of the question. Hello, beautiful, intelligent Emily. Well, thank you. My name is pronounced Oz. Ah, Ozra. Thank you. I think I said Azra. Thank you, Azra. Um, why didn't you cover the Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz trial? It was too triggering. That's why. Um, parents testifying about losing their children and other students testifying about what that experience was like for them was absolutely too triggering for me to try to cover. Um, it, it's very, very difficult. I watched some of it, but I'm not I'm not covering it live. It's it's very, very difficult uh subject matter. And I have in my work, I have had plenty of victims and witnesses that I have interviewed, that I have chatted with, that I have that I have dealt with, that have lost um, more than can be imagined. And I know the toll that that takes on me. So that's why I chose not to cover it. So that's why. Um, it's, you know, I have a kid in high school. So it, it, yeah. 
Question, what does it mean if she should send him to the next courtroom? Tracy, there's another courtroom when he gets put in timeout. When he, when he is too disruptive, they put him in the other courtroom where he can be muted. So he gets removed to a standby courtroom. His rapper name is Math Boy Fly. Okay. Does he rap about being a sovereign citizen? I doubt it if this is a new, if this is a new uh, belief system. Not holding in contempt because hold up trial. He does, definitely wants to hold up the trial. Um, it's not going to. Uh, six life for murder, but also six charges of intent to kill with a deadly weapon. So basically 12 counts that are 25 years to life alone. And what they do with those and what they can do is stack them. So it's 25 plus 25 plus 25. So you can get into 200, 300 years to life plus life. I don't know if any of these, I would need to look if any of these are LWAP, life without parole. But um, either way, if he is convicted, he is going to spend the rest of his life in prison. So, um, <laughs> titty bitty, let me pull out my exhibity. Exhibity is the greatest. Um, what do people think of the right of free speech and being a sovereign citizen that allows them to do and say whatever they want without any consequences? Nothing is free from consequences. I don't know, but sovereign citizens think they don't have to pay taxes. I think a lot of it goes to that. I had a really crazy case where somebody stole a house. They were a sovereign citizen. They stole a house by squatting. And then they changed all the locks and they went and got a, um, they went and got a quick claim deed and refused to leave. It was a mess. It was a mess. It messed up title. It was, it was just, it was just such a mess. It was just such a mess. Um, Falasume. I think I got that right. Probably not, but maybe. Emily, you on this case is making my life better. Well, thank you. Uh, since day one, this has been an absolute wild ride. Yep. She's been so patient and understanding. I had to turn it off a few times. I, I can't watch all of this. So it's because it's exhausting. Can you do a breakdown of the David Strait guy who promotes being a state national sovereign citizen with extra? I, I mean, if it's not legal, I tend to not just break down people giving advice. Has he been sued? Do you think he's being advised by a jailhouse lawyer? I think he probably is chatting with a lot of jailhouse lawyers, but maybe not. What is subject matter jurisdiction? And he is still arguing jurisdiction. Subject matter jurisdiction is whether or not a court has jurisdiction, not just over the person, but over the type of case it is, the subject matter of the case. The DA's office and the court in this county has jurisdiction over the criminal cases in that county. Subject matter jurisdiction. So... And then you can get into things like diversity jurisdiction. There's a whole little vignette with Vivian Kensington early on in the movie Legally Blonde when she gets to Harvard about whether a diversity jurisdiction existed in a particular case. This is a criminal case. Subject matter jurisdiction is basically irrelevant. They do have to prove it occurred in that county showing that jurisdiction is there. They've already done that. Sovereign citizen equals you're not the boss of me. I mean, basically. Hello, my love. Hello, my lovelies. How wonderfully epic is this absolute train wreck? I mean, I don't, it's, it's, it's hard. There's times it's just hard to watch. This judge looks like Mary from Downton Abbey. Fair. Could the conviction be overturned because it's so obvious he's incompetent? No. Ineffective assistance of counsel is not available when you are your own counsel. So he can appeal on other grounds, but not this one. Uh, though I understand the court's patient, I cannot imagine the doom that any licensed attorney would face for doing what this guy has done. Oh, yeah, no. Licensed attorneys would never, could never, and would not get away with. Um, hi, it's my birthday. Had um, had off to catch a live stream. Hi, Deborah. So excited for you. Happy birthday. Hello, Jen. Good to see you. Question. He was complaining about not having shadow counsel, right? Does he have a constitutional right to that? No. They don't have to appoint um, standby counsel. I... And I think he would have tried to be abusive of that if they had appointed standby counsel. Like he would have tried, sorry, my in ears. He would have tried to, um, he would have tried to ask for, like he still wants to say his piece, but then ask for the legal stuff. And that's standby counsel is just there in case you are no longer representing yourself. But I, I wonder if this judge, and I didn't watch the entire hearing on this, but I wonder if this judge was like, look, it's all or none, buddy. You represent yourself or you don't. All or none. You're in or you're out. 
Uh, Melly said, this is what I've been needing EDB commentary on this. I've been watching other streams for days and no one helps me understand like you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I, and it's one of the reasons I stream alone because I do talk a lot and I have a lot to say. Will this be, will this case be used for law school teaching purposes? I don't know if there's much to learn from this. Um, let's see the court just flip back to the courtroom. I don't know if there's much to be learned from this other than this is why you don't represent yourself. Um, at Rob, how do you think judge Penny would handle this? Rob, I hope you answered that in the chat. Speaking of legally blonde, I had, it has recently been revealed that Runkle has never seen it. My first thought, um, was that you would be very mildly scandalized. I'm absolutely scandalized. Hold on. I, I, I am absolutely scandalized. Give me one second. We're Ian, I am live streaming and my chat is telling me that you have never seen Legally Blonde. How is this even possible? I am absolutely scandalized. Can we do a watch party? When are we doing a watch party? How have you never seen Legally Blonde? Other than my cousin Vinny, it's like one of the single greatest law movies ever. You would love it. I, I have questions. I need answers. I'm scandalized. I'm absolutely scandalized. <laughs> absolutely scandalized. We're going to pick up the phone and ask the questions. If he testifies, how does he question himself? Craig, we're going to see the rules that the court the court lays out. Um sometimes you will see them try to ask try to act like they're in the third person like, you know, do you this or do you that and ask questions. Generally, the court will allow them to give a narrative and tell their story. We will see how that happens. Um, Blake, do you think he's intentionally choosing to not understand? Yes, at this point I do. I do think there's some things he truly doesn't understand because how would you if you're not a lawyer? But I do also think he's using that word as a game. Um, off topic, if I send you a 24-page cease and desist at an MLM that I've done a lot of commentary on sent me, can you break it down on a video? My subscribers keep asking me to send it to you. CC Suarez, absolutely send it to me. Um, my email is on my socials. And just just put in the title what it is. I'll absolutely take a look at it. Absolutely will. So go ahead and send it. Um, Disney Gal said, "Found you during the Depp trial. Now I'm now I'm watching you now while I plan my outfit for Johnny's concert tonight. Well, have the most fun at Johnny's concert tonight. Um, I have no idea where he's playing, but it sounds like a good time. Do you think most of the witnesses will be considered hostile? I'm not sure how to word that. Spoonless Valkyrie. This is an interesting question. So. In the context of law, hostile witnesses are generally a witness um, not on your side. So it's not like an attitude of hostile. It's it's that the witness can then be cross-examined instead of directly questioned. So it's it's a designation that allows you to treat the witness as if they are the other party's witness. Does that make sense? As if they're on the other side of you. So if I'm a DA and I call a witness and that witness is a hostile witness, I can ask the court to allow me to treat that witness as a hostile witness so I can cross-examine them instead of direct examine them. So hopefully that makes sense with the, um, with the hostile witness. But no, these are his witnesses. I don't even know if he'll know to ask that the witness be treated as hostile. And I don't know between the open-ended questions and the, the kind of closed-ended, more leading questions on cross-examinations, I don't know what's going to happen. Did you play him yelling at the judge? Not yet. We're going to get there. I was trying to get through questions. So um, so I don't know. So no. So hostile witness has a very specific meaning in the law. I don't know who he's going to call. Brooks has expanded my vocabulary. Relevancy, analyzation, and leading, which apparently means widely open-ended questions like what's that he says grounds all the time as they're stating the legal grounds for it and it's really interesting define what the judge did to her being one i think it's because she's an arm of the government do you think the da will request the jury's instruction regarding subject matter jurisdiction since brooks keeps mentioning it in front of the jury the court keeps saying that's not the law so i don't know we need to see the rest to see if it needs to be addressed because i think he's going to try to bring it up even though he's not allowed to so um, so I don't know. I think he has contempt for the court as an arm of the government. Yesterday, he told the court that for the record, he is not a person. He is a human being. Word, word games. Um, is this to decide how long he's in prison for? No, Sophie, this is a guilt phase trial. So they're going to decide if he did it or not, if he is going to be convicted and found guilty or not. 
What would his possible defense be? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. You don't have authority over me. This whole prosecution is a sham. The government can't prosecute any person. The state of Wisconsin's not a natural person, so they can't bring a claim against me, that kind of stuff. Um, I would be kicked out because I would say, are you going to say the dead people you mowed over don't deserve rep because they can't rise up out of the grave? I'm, yeah. He's hoping his resistance is going to pad his prison rep in advance. I don't know what he's thinking. Always possible. I'm sure he'll find other sovereign citizens in there um, that believe the things he does. Brooks is a sovereign citizen and uses magic words to get him out of this. The except for value is classic soft sit. There are other terms he uses, like not consenting to being called Brooks. I mean, it seems like he's doesn't really understand the playbook, though. He's not as um, he he's not as fluent with it as others that I have seen. Even if I asked for a even I know to ask for a directive verdict and ask for a dismissal because the DA hasn't met the burden of proof. He missed that. He might be able to do that after lunch, but so far he has not asked for a dismissal and. And the prosecution has rested their case. Um, oh, no, the judge asked him. I was talking. The judge was like, do you have anything you're going to want to ask? The judge can't tell him what to ask. And he was like, I don't know what to ask. This is an excellent point. He should have asked for the case to be dismissed, um, that the prosecution hasn't um, hasn't proved their case. And, yeah, he should have made those motions. And he did not. Sovereign citizens should not be tolerated. They should be assigned counsel by the judge from the start and told to proceed with or without them he has a right to represent himself. So the, the, that's the thing about constitutional rights. Why would you take legal advice from someone in jail? Obviously it didn't work very well for them. I don't know. People do it all the time. Some, there are some in custody that are very, very savvy about the system. Um, they're not, they're not lawyer level savvy, but are very, very savvy about the system. Uh, judge Doro actually told him ignorance of the law is not a defense. You chose to represent yourself and you were warned um, to not do so at your, and at your own peril. Yeah. I mean, ignorance of the law is not, and they can't help it. You should watch the clip where the defendant questions the use of an interpreter for the state's witness who speaks mostly Spanish. And if the interpreter says is actually what the witness said, I'm not surprised he questioned that last week or the week before the judge said on the record in, um, the judge said he's on the record in a jail call that he's using this as a delay tactic right down to the mental health if he has to. I I don't doubt that. He uh, We know that he wants to delay the trial. He seems a perfect example of the Dunning-Kruger effect where he overestimates his own abilities. Uh, yep. It's painful to hear one of the dancing grannies talk about her friend that died. It was very difficult testimony. She was so sweet. I just wanted to hug her. I imagine the entire jury felt that way and is going to be pissed at the way he's acting. Like this makes you righteously mad for the victims. Since he's representing himself, how can... He'd be a witness called to a defense. What protocol would be followed? The judge will tell him. Generally, they will allow him to give a narrative and then be cross-examined. Wait till you see his rap video. Definitely haven't seen his rap videos. Um, and kind of torn about it. Don't really want to give him views, you know? The jury have already decided um, they had the chance to back out to having COVID and all said no quickly. Oh, I, I heard that there was a COVID, uh, somebody had COVID and was removed. Yeah, I'm sure the jury's invested at this point. The judge walked Brooks through what it means to represent himself in great detail. Yeah, it was it was more, too much detail. Um, let's see, we have over 1,300 watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That would be great. But understand means stand under my authority. He keeps saying I don't understand, though. Well, I guess he means I don't submit to that. Um, needed to hear your voice during this circus. Thank you. Let's see. If a DA loses a murder case to a sovereign citizen, how bad is it for their career? I don't think it matters that they're a sovereign citizen. I think, well, I mean, if you, I don't know, bad for career. I mean, ego and reputation maybe. But if you're, if you try your best case and you do not win, that is, that's what happens. Generally, if you do things ethically, you shouldn't be punished for that by your higher ups. But every DA's office is different. Every elected DA is different. So there are things in the DA's office that are bad for your career that you would never think are bad for your career. Being friends with somebody that the current DA hates could be bad for your career. Um, aligning yourself with the wrong higher ups could be bad for your career. Working as a DA felt like a game of survivor. 
you you have to make the right alliances and those alliances keep shifting. But which is I think all government work when your boss is an elected official. What do you think his defense will be? It won't me. He asked if this is a maritime or common law court, what does that mean? He is asking around and around and around this question of subject matter jurisdiction. He asked if this was a military court. Is this a military court? Is this a criminal court? Is this a civil court? It's all games over jurisdiction. Um, let's see. So that's why. Why didn't the judge recuse herself from the case considering her relationship with the father of a victim in the case, first time viewer? I didn't see any of that. So I'm sure if the judge had a relationship with a victim in the case, that that would have all been made um, apparent to all the parties and would have been discussed. I haven't seen that part. So the judge would have had that conversation. But if this is a smaller community, I would imagine most judges are going to have some connection to it because this is a, a very large issue. And judges know when they, just like I know as a lawyer, when, when I get asked why I didn't cover the Parkland shooter case, I know that I can't. I just, I know that I can't, so I didn't. Um, you know, and when you do this job long enough, you know, it's a weird splitting of self, but you know, like, oh no, I can set that aside and be fair. And I think she has been. And I think maybe she's gone a little bit overboard with trying to be fair. Um, what's up, Natalie Lawyer Chick? I was just sending people to all your sovereign citizen coverage. Happy to catch your perspective on this. Happy to see you in the chat. Feel free, feel free to share your wisdom. Um, he became a sovereign citizen while in jail. I'm I mean, I'm not shocked. Um, why can't he be found in contempt of court? I see, I think he can be found in contempt, but what's the punishment? He's not gonna pay a fine, it's not gonna affect his law license, and he's already in jail. So what good does holding in him in contempt do? I think the court could reserve issues for a contempt hearing till after the trial, but what good will it do? I think removing him from the court is about the best they can do. I think the judge probably should have revoked his status to represent himself. Obviously, the judge isn't doing that. So here we are. And I don't know if disrespect is enough to say he can't represent himself. Um, check your messages. I promise it's for your mental health because reasons. Oh yeah, motion to eat the defendant. Well, he's going to do his opening statements and that's what we're all waiting for. But I'll check my messages in just a second. It better be Ian explaining me, explaining to the chat, answering the public as to why he hasn't seen Legally Blonde. Oh, but it's not. Um, <laughs> Rob has sent me a picture of what appears to be a robot of me watching me. Rob, that's a great picture. And if you want to share it on Twitter, so everyone can go to your Twitter and see it. You are, you are, you are welcome to. Um, watching this with the law nerds is so much better than watching solo on court TV. Emily, wouldn't it be great if we opened a uh, book of law instead of flashing the cover of the Bible for the cameras? I mean, he should have that. He should have it there. If it's incognito Chrome browser, do views counts? I have no idea. Off topic, but curious what you think. Do you think science cognitive psychology is very present in the law of practice? I have no idea. Can leading questions even hurt the fairness of a case? This, this is a, a deep dive, have a glass of whiskey conversation that in the middle of this trial, I don't even know if I can pop. This is a, a conversation more than a question. So do I think that science is present in law? Yes. Do I think that psychology is present in law? Very much. Um, can leading questions hurt the fairness of a case? I don't think so. Not if they're done right. Um, because again, the jury gets to see. So let's see. The DA's office was so respectful uh, in choosing the final charges, has to spare the victims and their families, limited to no testimonies. I can't imagine if they hadn't. No, exactly. How close are we to seeing Judge Emily <laughs> issue a sarcastic court summons for Runkel to defend himself? Um, I, I think I might have, but Runkel's like, I'm very mindful of the fact that Runkel's doing work like good work for for the people. He he is still an active and practicing lawyer. So is Natalie Lawyer Chick. So is Rob. So is Hogue. Um, I have the wonderful blessing of being able to be a full time content creator. Still an active lawyer, not actively practicing. So I get to just be like, today we choose fuckery, and we're streaming this trial to see this opening statement. Let's just lean in. We've got time. I, you know, I can, I can push a meeting till a little bit later. So that's just, I'm, I'm blessed. Um, so 
<laughs> Thank you, Chris. I'm already getting text. No, no worries if the meeting gets pushed. She's just like, I'll just see if you're still streaming and we'll figure it out because it is. We'll figure it out. So, all right, let us go to the video we were going to do and then we'll get to some more questions. I, I want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. And if you guys are more interested in sovereign citizens, again, Natalie Lawyer Chick covers it a lot on her channel. Um, my overview has been a limited overview. There's a whole wiki. If you want to go wiki it, you can wiki, 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 wow, wow, wiki, wiki. I need a wiki, wiki sound on the, on the soundboard. This is not generally a case for the soundboard because it's just, it's so many people lost their life. Like this, this was devastating to a community. And again, I'm very, very mindful of that and trying not to lose my mind because it's, it's just so fucking sad. All right. I had this pulled up and then I lost my screen. Oh, wait, no, there. It's on the other screen. Ha! 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 We're professionals here, people. We are professionals. Let me go put, let me get back to my setup. I had, I'm old. So we need the reading glasses, but then I needed the, the bigger screen. Um, Jan just said my hair is gorgeous. Jan, can I tell you the truth? There's only a few of us here. Look, the amount of dry shampoo in my hair right now has made it way fluffier than it normally is. There is so much dry shampoo in my, so much, so much dry shampoo in my hair right now because my hair is not delightful. Um, all right, this is from yesterday. This is Daryl Brooks and Judge Fiery Showdown. This is a 16 minute clip. I think this is one of the longest one. Um, so I was looking for the longer clip. So this is coming from my local affiliate all the other clips like law and crime has clipped this down into like five different videos law and crime understands the youtube grift um so law law and crime is like clip 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 so i'm pulling this from a local affiliate after to reflect all right let's see let's pull this up this is not today oh wrong let me share the other screen this is not from today this is from yesterday so let's see. Um, let me share my other, because now we've got two screen shares. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, the 50-minute rant I was going to cover later. I don't know if we will need to. Let's just do it this way. We've got all the screen. We've got all the screens that we got to set up. Um, all right. This is, yep. All right. Let's go. Ah, no volume. And it's not screen shared. So give me, oh, technology is my friend. We are professionals. It's not, I, there's no excuse. It's not, nothing's in retrograde that I know of. Pause that. All right, let's get to screen share and let's go. Let's go. The amount of dry shampoo. I see you all. I see you. Um, I do. I absolutely have a wonderful hairstylist here who helps take care of my hair so that, um, I don't destroy it myself. I do not have the patience or the time, but I do add color in between um, between salon visits with stuff that's been sent to me, which has been great. All right, that's the wrong one. Why, why, why screen sharing? Why fight me? Why fight with me? Let's try one more time. Yay. All right, technology. Let's go. Let's go. Um, volume on. All right, 15-minute clip. Clip, clip. That should get us right about till the beginning of closing arguments. I cannot wait to see closing arguments. I am ready. Let's go. Um, I do want to make a further record that he still remains in his jail attire. Can you hear this? Oh, this cannot be yesterday. This, this is the wrong one. All right, hold on. How did this pull up the wrong one? This was supposed to be from yesterday. All right, we're looking for the clip again because I have clearly lost the clip that I was pulling up from yesterday. That's not the right one. Here it is. Continue with their service All in right. this case. All right, here we go. Sorry, y'all. This is why I don't. Uh, this is why I don't pull up clips contemporaneously. This one is from, I don't know where this is from, but this is the one I see from yesterday. So this is what we're pulling up. I hate it when they have all of the lower thirds. Apologies. 
I can find another one later. Their service on this case. Wrong. Emily, put it up on the screen. All right. Let's see. All right. This is about seeing the car. So let me just back up. Yesterday, the court ruled to allow the jury to have a jury visit. A jury visit means that the jury is going to go see off-site a matter of physical evidence. So this is him fighting. This is a 16-minute clip of him fighting with the judge over them going to see the car. A jury visit is allowed to happen. Um, it's it's not uncommon in cases where the thing that needs to be seen is, is large and can't just come into a court, uh, courtroom. Then I want to talk briefly about um, the jury view. I did provide the I parties I hate the lower with, third. Um, I tried to find another one. I'm sorry. Before I get to that, though, Mr. Brooks, I have I been thinking it. about your request yesterday. Um, and I know I indicated to you that I would require you to be there. I've rethought that. I've had the overnight to really think about it. And I don't um, doubt that she did. If that is your decision to not be present for that, um, what I would say is this, you, I want you to be advised that you have a right to be at that jury view. Did You're you the hear lawyer. me say that? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much. She has learned, instead of saying, do you understand? She has learned very well. Instead of saying, do you understand? Saying, did you hear me? Did you hear me say that? She told me uh, yesterday about, you know, everything that was going on. I just didn't, I didn't like it agree to or consent to it being well i was still confused about why did there even need to be a jury view that's not that my whole thing I, I didn't i don't see the the relevancy of it and i also didn't agree with agree with or consent to having to be part of something you don't get to consent the rules of evidence set the boundaries Something that I don't see is relevant. Oh, those asking about the lower third, it's this part down here that has what station it is and all of the other stuff scrolling across the bottom. I find them very distracting. I appreciate you making a record of that, but did you hear what I said that you have a right to be present for it? I ruled that where, let me back up. There's been a request from the state to have the jury look at the vehicle that was recovered oh, no. by the that police. That makes me too small, sorry. And of course, is alleged to be the vehicle that was driven through the parade. Did you hear me advise you of that? Yes, I heard. All right, so yes, it is. It's did I that motion was addressed previously, and I granted the request for that jury view. Did you hear me say that? Uh, I'm informed. All right, thank Good. you. So with that, you have a right to be present at that jury view. Did you hear me say that? I'm informed. And um, I would like you to be there. I believe it is a piece of evidence. That's why I've uh, drafted jury instruction 152 the way that I did. Did you hear me say that? I'm informed. So my question to you then this morning is, do you want to be present at the jury view of the vehicle? Uh, yes. I, he represents himself. I don't see the reason why I would need to be present. Because you're the lawyer. My question to you, though, is do you want to be present for it? You are the accused in this case. You're the attorney. You're the person who the state has alleged committed these acts. It's the jury view will be to view a piece of evidence that frankly can't come into the courtroom due to its size. And That's the jury is going to be shown that. So do you She's want explaining to too much. be present at that? For the record, I'm not a person. I'm a human being. She's and, explaining uh, too much. No, I do not consent to or agree to being present at a jury. View. Fine. Don't be present. All right, then I'm going to honor his request. But what I am going to do, though, is as part of that process in any That's event, true. because it's being done in a secure location, is um, I have ordered that a, a, I want to make a record of what's being done. And I want a visual record of what is being done. So it's going to be so a recorded trip. Great. This jury view is going to take place in the sally port of the jail. 
and precautions are being taken so that the jurors do not know where it's at. Um, it, they'll just, it'll look like a garage, right? And the way I didn't know what a Sally Port was when I first became a district attorney, it was like, oh, wait, a what? So they'll be at the Sally Port of the jail, but the jurors are going to be transported there. They won't know that they're at the jail. Okay. Anything that says jail within the Sally Port is being covered up. That will be verified before anyone is taken in there. They will be transported it's better to than there. an impound yard. Um, it's, I'm not sure if they'll walk or drive because it's very close. There was um, like black sheeting all the way around. So it was the car and then everything else was just kind of um, sheeted so they couldn't see it. Um, but then I, the sheriff's department, because um, I'll Google that later. As the court official, I'm in charge of keeping the record, not keeping the record. I'm in charge of making the record is the better way to say it. And I want to make sure that there's a record of what is done for this trial and certainly for any appellate purposes, if need be. <laughs> the sheriff's department, excuse me, the sheriff's department me constantly. is obviously charged with the security and safety of a courtroom. She's explaining way too much. The jurors. When she and explains so this I much, it gives him room to fight. the sheriff's department to record. And so there is a Good. camera with uh, that will be on a tripod that will record what's there before anyone gets there. I've instructed them <sighs> to take that camera to walk around the vehicle and while it's recording to put it back on the tripod and th before TJ, um, it's fair. the jurors it's more than the she needs to do which brought in once we are brought in it will also be recorded and that can her explaining so much might actually create more problems because it might <sighs> there are is room to argue that there's times where it almost seems like she's advising him she's not but it, it, it's just too much um Somebody asked if I was still alive. Oh, we're here. We're just, we're just here. We're just here. All right, let's get back to this. Contemporaneous recording. Um, so that will be as uh, I will walk, uh, we will walk around the vehicle. She's explaining uh, for precaution, but it's too much. That will be recorded. And then both of those recordings are going to be, be made part of the record. Um, because the second recording is for the record and has the jurors. Um, I did, Anna, I did see the photos of the car that the jury saw that still had clothes on it. Um, I did a lot of uh, cases where people were killed with various cars. It did not surprise me that that was the case. It is very hard to look at. Crime scene photos can be very difficult for a jury. But seeing it in person, and this is just from my own experience as a DA, seeing photos of a vehicle, especially that was used or that was in a horrific case, seeing photos has a different reaction than seeing it in person. It's it's just different. And I tried in almost every case I had that involved a vehicle to go out and see the vehicles. Um, it's just a very different experience than seeing it in a photo. So I'm not surprised they asked for a jury view. It's very, very much so. Uh, um, at this it's point, a much I'm more emotional re seal it, response uh, so that uh, at least until the conclusion of the case, given the order that I have I agree. regarding the, I wish she did. Uh, what's referenced as an That's anonymous so or numbered jury. So that will be sealed. Um, okay. But what will be released to the uh, public or be made part of the public record. And so therefore, any media request would be that recording that just shows the vehicle. He's going to fight on appeal. She's making a very clear record for appeal. I don't think she has to do this much, but that's her choice. Again, she gets to choose. So the car's in jail for what it did, basically. No, the car, that's where it's being kept because it's the its the murder weapon. So just like anything else would be kept, it looks like they kept it not in, a, in an inside, not in an outside impound, um, I would imagine based on weather. And it hasn't been there that long. So yes, they kept the car because they're going to need it. And they ran tests on it they tested the brakes all that kind of stuff too and that was testimony from yesterday all right let's well, keep without going the jurors in it we got about 10 minutes before the court's and then back i plan for opening on statements. also bringing that back to the courtroom while the sheriff's department's going to bring it back and then we'll show it to you at that time i, I have a question though uh, go ahead if if i have a right to be present Yes. Then I have a right to not be present. How can this take place if I don't agree or consent to being present? How can it uh, be? Ah. 
see, whenever you ask what he's getting at, generally, I don't know. With with attorneys, I can generally see what they're doing because I understand how their brain works. I don't understand how his brain works. Um, and I don't understand the, the way he's arguing. But now I understand. Wait, 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 wait. He's saying, if I don't consent to being present, how can it still happen? And she's like, oh, no, we're going to go ahead without you. I don't care if you consent to being present or not. You have the right to be present. You have the right to not be present. But if you're not present, it's still going to happen. He's just realizing that if he's not present, it's still going to, um, it's still going to happen. Still take place without. Yep. That's exactly what the fuck's going to happen. It will take place, sir. I'm just going to honor other. your request not to be there. I'm asking a question though. How can it take place without my consent or agreement? Welcome to trial day 13. Things will take place. If you don't, it's going to take place. <laughs> it's going That's to happen. I'm going to answer that, sir. So you not going there is not going to prevent it from happening. But you can forfeit your right I agree, to be I did, there. I did, by I your much. And by, I your conduct, by not answering my question, by saying I don't want to be there and I don't consent to it, um, you will be forfeiting your right to be present and essentially waiving that. Yeah. Doesn't I have to sign something for it to be waived? No. Um, I don't You're think waving so in it this now. case. Well, yesterday you said something about... Uh, uh, I know I said that. And I've yeah, had some time yeah. to think about that. I said it yesterday and I realized I was being extra. Um, we saw this on stream, Diva. We saw that... Um, we saw that the DA lost her patience while I was on stream today, earlier. Further, um, and... Um, I don't believe I need to take a full waiver with you signing anything or even agreeing to the waiver. Um, so why he doesn't does I have to. to do that for when my... Uh, oh, I'm not going to answer those questions because that would we... be for me to give you um, an explanation. She's not going to give legal advice. Of the law. Um, no. I'm just going just to be... tell you that I'm not going to require a written waiver mm -hmm. from you in order to honor your request to not be at the, or even if I phrase it, your lack of consent to the jury view. And is that lawful law because? Sir, I'm, I'm not gonna right. go through all the law. Is that lawful law? Is that lawful law though? We are not here for a theoretical discussion of the proper basis of the laws and if the laws are lawful. Is that lawful law though? And the judge is like, <sighs> What? Law that applies to that. This I... is my ruling. If you disagree with it and ultimately there is a conviction, you can raise that on appeal. But no. your lack You're of consent it. is not going to stop. Your lack of consent doesn't it's fucking matter. We're moving it's on. It's a piece of evidence that I cannot stop answering him. fit in this courtroom. Stop answering him. It's too big. It, there's no way to get it in. Okay, I'm informed of that. <laughs> but at the same time, if I haven't signed any waiver, how could it be lawful? I haven't given consent. Sir, we don't need your consent. This is what we're doing. Would you like to be present or not? That's it. That's it. Stop arguing with him. Stop giving him rounds to keep talking. He's going to talk and talk and talk and talk. Stop giving him room to talk back. This is my ruling. This is what we're doing. Will you be there or not? Yes or no? You've not answered my question. Yes or no? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. There we go. Or agree me to a jury view. I haven't waived any right. The, when the whole issue was brought up, on the record yesterday, my first thing that I said was, she tried to be I too don't see the relevancy of why there should even be a jury view. You don't have to see the relevancy. That's not that how evidence is decided issue. on your opinion. I was told about the, I don't know how you say it, the <sighs> colloquy or however you say it. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know Which what was, I said. And yeah. I'm telling you, I had time to reflect. That was my initial. Did she say it was in a port cochere? Maybe? No? Reaction to your statement yesterday, but I thought about it some more and I'm changing my mind. Um, so I, you... I don't believe I need to take a full waiver. Correct. A colloquy. Correct. With you and anything Correct. in writing. I'm advising you, you have the absolute right to be there. But I'm also advising you that if you choose not to be there, we I do this shit without you. Request, um, then we're going to do it without you. 
And I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to not going to direct the sheriff's department. I'm not going to drag you, know, you there. Use any type of force, a force, if you will, or require you or get you there without your consent. You either cooperate with that process or you don't. Or you don't. The way I interpret the law, though, Your Honor, which the law is designed for to be interpreted by the people. Sir, that's that's not how this is working. The way I interpret that is I have the right or essentially your interpretation of the law is there. not governing has to be an agreement or consent. No, that's how I interpret the law. My ruling on that. My sir, ruling stands. Is I disagree Move with on. you. You do not need to nope. provide nope. consent. My uh, ruling stands. For the jury view to happen, your Move objection on. is noted for oh, the record. Stop arguing I'll make with a him. Specific finding today that it is relevant uh, to these be back proceedings soon. to this trial. There is an allegation that you drove through the um, Waukesha Christmas Parade on November 21 of 2021, <sighs> yeah, driving a red Ford Escape, killing and injuring, uh, killing six and injuring dozens more. The relevance is that there is. In addition to the charges, there's an enhancer that has been charged as it relates to the intentional homicide charges and the first degree recklessly endangering safety that you committed those acts while using a dangerous weapon. I would direct your attention to the meaning and of the dangerous weapon, a dangerous weapon that uh, the legal definition that was provided to, to the sure. jurors in the preliminary jury instructions Sorry. and that the that jury view um, is uh, related to the evidence that the state is presenting uh, regarding the charges and specifically uh, the instrumentality that they allege is the dangerous weapon. So there's clear That's relevance fair. of this vehicle as She's explaining it has evidentiary much. value. Uh, again, your objection is noted for the record, um, but I will uh, and am permitting the jury view of the vehicle. With that, I'm going to give... The, I'm going to move on to the jury instruction. Um, I don't agree or consent to that, Your Honor. I, I understand. If, Your if objection not, is well noted for the record. I, I need to keep going, though. On the pattern and jury instruction. I'm informed that you pattern. need to keep going. I'm not trying to stop you from continuing to go. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm merely stating for the record that there are things I do not understand how they're, Too bad. Be, how they're being permitted. Fine. That's what your lawyer is for. Ask your lawyer, versus sir. Versus the Constitution. Ask your lawyer. Ask your lawyer. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're aware Ask your lawyer. Article 6, Chapter 2 about the Supremacy Clause. Ask the your lawyer. The Constitution is the supreme law of lawyer. Land. So how can we disregard? Mr. Brooks, I'm not disregarding the Constitution. I've well, made I have... my, here's the thing. I've made my ruling, okay? Once I've made a ruling, just, 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 do you expect there. that even I've made if my you ruling. disagree with it, you're going to, you will not continue to argue it. It's not that argument. we will continue on I'm with the next to topic. I'm understand, Your Honor. It's not an argument. Mr. Brooks, I don't I, I'm not to going to I'm explain explaining to you. further other than what I have done, my ruling. My ruling stands. Now, I'm going to move on to the jury instruction. I gave the parties two documents. May I respectfully reject that ruling and take sure. exception to that ruling? Sure, sure, object. Your objection is noted. Objection is noted. Moving on to jury. request a legal and factual basis for Mr. your Brooks, ruling, Your Honor? Mr. Brooks, please don't interrupt no. me. Okay. You may not. I gave I give you an opportunity to raise your objections and to make your legal arguments, I'm raising and then I make a ruling, now. and then you start in on something else. Yep. You need to give me so your stop argument giving him all at once. Room for you to interrupt me afterward is disruptive to me. It's not disruptive, and it's it's interrupting and it's disruptive. It is definitely not disruptive. Well, if that's <laughs> my view of things, sir, it's and what I'm putting on the record is that it does oh, disrupt what I'm doing. This is turning into a I'm housewives doing, reunion. To move on, having to interrupt what I'm doing so that I can address that once again. Please, please. I know you may not always agree with my rulings, but I'd ask that you show the courtesy and decorum that is expected of everyone and once i make a ruling we're going to move on you don't need to keep objecting because your objections already been noted for the record i'm going to continue we're going to look at jury instruction 152. Well, I, still, I gave the parties two documents yesterday one was I the pattern instruction um which i've modified just, oh, and then I'm one is the draft of and talking I'm over mr brooks please stop oh you it hurts my brain continuing to talk 
over me. Because you didn't, You're interrupting. You, didn't, you said I have the right to object, and you didn't let me even get to the objection. I, Grounds, I did, sir. No, you okay. didn't. I was still. I was well, you're you're fighting with before him before the ruling, not after. Once I make a ruling, we're moving on. You made a ruling before we even finished the conversation, Your Honor. With all due respect, Brooks, before please, before we stop. even finish, that's not that's how not works. true. Okay? You it's said I'm going to make a ruling. As soon, as soon as you even started in about uh, Mr. Brooks, I'm having not going to spend to think, hours on end making a ruling about a jury view on something I've already decided. Yeah. Right? So please, I'm asking well, you fair. to stop. Good. Stop no, interrupting me. Okay, and please okay, disregard the United States Constitution. I, I absolutely am not disregarding the you United States answer, Constitution or the Honor, Constitution of office. the state Your of Honor, Wisconsin. Are you not a public servant? Okay, Stop Mr. Brooks, with him. You're, you're starting to cross the line. You've already Stop crossed it, but I want to keep going. I, I want you in this courtroom. But if Ouch. you keep interrupting me and putting you on notice that um, it's, you are you run the risk of being almost done with this uh, clip. forfeiting your right to be present in this courtroom and, and continuing in the next courtroom so that I can effectively and without interruption continue with the proceedings this so again, morning. So you're holding Couch. me in contempt. All right, jury instruction 152, has the state had an opportunity to review it? Is that a judicial determination that I'm being held in contempt? It's a judicial I determination to stop talking. agree generally with the court's um, proposed instruction. I did submit. All right, that wasn't horrible. The question so uh, this is trying to go to As other to this particular other video. Piece of We're evidence gonna only, eh, Mr. Pause this. May. We're gonna go back. We are, uh, the attorneys were told to come back at this time. It is almost time for opening statements. If you are just joining us, hi, I'm Emily D. Baker. I've been a lawyer 17 years. I'm a former deputy district attorney for over 10 years. I've done a lot of criminal trials. Nothing like this, though I have done pro per trials. Daryl Brooks is representing himself in the Waukesha parade killing case. He is just about to do his opening statements. That is what we're here for. I think the judge is giving too much argument back. Um, I've never seen a judge argue with a party like that. It needs to be, I've made my ruling, we're moving on. I've been, she keeps trying to explain herself. Your Honor, you don't have to justify yourself. The law is what it is. You are right. Just go. Um, so... Yes, we covered the we covered everything up to lunch. We started streaming at our Coffee and Cursey Words time today at 11 a.m. So today's really the first day I've been streaming this trial. Not really. Today is the first day I've been streaming this trial. It is tremendously difficult watching him argue back. It is headache-inducing. It is frustrating. It has got to be infuriating for this jury. This jury's not going to get bored, though. This jury's not going to get bored. They're not going to be. They're not going to be sleepy. They're going to be annoyed. They're going to have headaches. They're going to be tired. And they're not going to be sleepy. So. The close of evidence happened for the prosecution. The defense did not make a motion to dismiss. The defense did not make a motion, um, any of the normal motions you would get at the close of evidence that we've seen in all the other cases that I've covered here. Um, so we are just waiting. I mean, the attorneys should be back in the courtroom. I wonder if the court will go back on the record before the jury comes in. The jury is supposed to be back at 1.30. It's 1.25 now, so... I'm going to answer a few more questions in Super Chats while we're waiting for the court to come back. I'm going to just put this on the screen so we can all see it together. Um, I've got this muted so it doesn't scare the shit out of me. I learned that during Depth v. Heard. Oh, I don't want to see the chat. Let's hide. Let's hide the chat. Because uh, uh, sometimes YouTube will yeet you for shit that's said in the chat. I don't need to deal with that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So... Let's see. So Britt B asked a good question and it's good. It's a good as time as any to remind everyone he is just now doing his opening statement. So the position that we're at in this trial is that the defense has reserved their opening statements, meaning that the prosecution did their opening and then their entire case. And now he is doing his opening statements. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, let's get to some of answering some of our super chats for all of you that are new here. Thank you for doing the YouTube likey subscribing things. Um, could the guy behind him smack him in the head? No, no, no hands on, no hands on at all. So question, are you streaming the rest of the case? Probably not just because I have, um, I have some other obligations that are going to be pressing. I will absolutely be 
streaming the closing, not, I can't say absolutely. I fully intend, I pledge to you that I will stream the closing unless something wild happens. I pledge to you that something will happen. Um, oh, M's. No, I was talking about their chat. No, their chat's not us. Their, our chat's Bay. Their chat. No, we're not, we're not in somebody else's wild chat. We're in our chat. So it just, family things, but I do want to cover closing arguments. I love covering closing arguments. So I think, um, I think the jurors are very deeply involved. We talked about this earlier. One of the jurors got COVID, um, and, or there was a COVID scare and none of the jurors wanted to quit or leave. That happened in the Cardi B Tasha K case as well, that no one wanted to leave. This judge has been, I think maybe a little too patient. It needs to be, that was my ruling giving way too much room here. So, uh, Brooks had a different judge, a male judge initially, and his prior counsel asked for a different judge. I don't know the details, but I remember this. There might have been a recusal early, early, early on in the case, but since the trial has started, this has been the judge. I'm wondering if this trial is a microcosm of the criminal system in that state. Too many chances until somebody gets hurt. I have, I don't know. That's not where I practice. Um, he became a soft sit much like he's reading that Bible all too late, my guy. I mean, being a sovereign citizen is not going to not going to change his ability to be prosecuted. There are no magic words um, that get you out of a prosecution like this. So glad you're covering this. Um, I, I love all of Law TV and Natalie's done great. She has um, also still works full time. Looking forward to you explaining his train wreck of an opening. Ah, uh, we're just going to do it together. Um, I recommend Donut Operator. He covers more policing stuff, but has a whole lot of stuff on soft citizens. Um, Trigger Warning King covers a lot of police shootings. I believe he's a former law enforcement officer. I've not watched um, his channel. What do you think about Cruz's verdict? I have not looked deeply into the reasoning of it. Um, the I mean, I generally, juries, juries get to make those decisions. So juries get to make those decisions. I think it's hard for a jury to decide to let the... I think those are hard decisions to make. So I did not watch it closely enough to really have much opinion because I haven't really followed it closely enough to have much opinion. Um, he reminds me of students I had when I was a teacher. I made the same mistake as the judge in giving them too much ammo to argue about. Will he be next door for the verdict? Um, I don't know. I don't know what they'll decide to do with him for the verdict. I don't know what he'll decide for the verdict. Um, the reason he won't understand is because they don't stand under anyone's authority. These folks will often say overstand, which I'm sure is an award. And, and it's interesting because he'll say, I don't understand, which I think he means I'm not yielding or consenting to your authority. But in the legal context, it's the judge is going to take it as you're not reading me, which is why the judge is now saying, because the judge was saying, did you understand? And he was saying no. And I think somebody must have pulled the judge aside and said, look, with this sovereign citizen, you're not going to get anywhere. And the judge is now saying, did you hear me say this? Did you hear me say that? Because then he doesn't have to say he understood or didn't understand. Um, so I only think of like Megan the Stallion saying, I don't stand outside because I'm too outstanding. That's when I hear understand, that's what I'm, that's what's happening in my brain. Um I don't stand outside because I'm too outstanding. Anyway, this is so cringe. Yes, ignorance of the law does not mean the law doesn't apply. Facts. The judge has been more than fair. I think the judge has really, truly um, gone to lengths to be fair and given him too much. Do you think he would act differently with a male judge? No, I think it's a wing of the government he's going to push against. I don't know if another judge, gender aside, I don't know if another judge would stop the conversation and not try to explain. This judge keeps trying to explain to him and he's not going to understand. He's willfully not understanding. There's no point in continuing to try to explain. Um, Chappie said, do you have an example of a successful non-lawyer defendant representing themselves? No, he is the most and I'm here for it. I mean, he's definitely doing the most, but I have not seen that ever go successfully in my experience. Uh, I mean, I'm, could it have happened somewhere in a traffic court someday? I'm sure it's happened. I'm well, yeah, I'm sure it's happened in traffic court where people represent themselves and the police officer doesn't show up on their speeding ticket and they win, but not in a case like this. Um, in traffic court probably happens all the time. Um, do you think she over explains? Yes. For the record, maybe. I think once you do it once though, I do this, I over explain, but I think once you do it once, you don't need to do it again. That seems quiet. And 
Here we Mr. go. Mr. Brooks, I presume you're ready for your opening statement? Oh, I hope so. Oh, now we're showing them the Bible. Are we going to read from the Bible? Did you write your opening in the Bible? It's very clearly a Bible. All right, let's make this bigger. And let's make... For the record, I don't just sing to that name, Your Honor. <coughs> don't say anything. Noted for the record. Stop noting it. I'm fascinated. And to have the jury brought out, I presume you're ready to go? She presumes he's ready to go. Sir? It's anonymous. Sir? Slight issue finding certain... Can you sit up? Because I'm not hearing you very well. So that the microphone picks you up, please. I'm having a slight issue uh, locating some of the files that I need. That's what I was trying to say. All right, we'll take a, take a moment. You can look, help. I wonder how long he's been in the courtroom. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Um, over on, on the Facebooks, I know some of you are joining me that don't normally join me. We do not name call. We do not disparage. We have a community. So I appreciate that y'all might have your feelings. I'm just letting you know the same thing that applies on YouTube also applies to our Facebook audience. Thank you. Um, let's see. Celine said, I didn't know the Bible was a legal text. It might be the only thing that helps at this point is him to ask for salvation. I don't, I don't know. Um, he does that deliberately. He is doing this deliberately. This to me feels like a control tactic. This is this is fighting over control. And this is fighting over control of the courtroom. If this was an attorney, not if this was an attorney, when this was me as an attorney and I was having problems with technology, be shocked, be shocked when I was having problems with technology in a courtroom, um, the judge would say, Ms. Baker, some judges, you have three minutes to get this working and then you have to move on there was no keeping a jury waiting for me to get my shit together this is a control tactic um so do we know who the man is behind him um i know there's a bailiff sitting to the side of him but i don't know who's sitting in the audience no i don't Your Honor, i have a question uh, no go ahead. no the the uh no the files that i'm attempting to no. locate or, um, in your jail cell pertains directly to they're at home the witnesses that i would be calling the dog ate your homework um you don't need them for I'm opening not sure what no nope. witnesses are here today. no well let's do this um i'd like you to at least do your opening statement sorry i had to move my mic a little i wanted that. to bring it up because i'm an opportunity my voice is tired again. i can have the state write down who's no. here i believe it's based on what you told them and then we'll if there's still something you need at no. that point um, but I'd like to at least bring the jury out. And start yes. With your opening statement, yes. Okay? Well, just so I'm clear, nope. I didn't, I didn't give a specific order in, in, you know, who I would be calling by specific no. order. I, I gave uh, a generalization of. Uh, sure, I'll have who would be, state. Sorry. Who who would be called on what day? No. Why don't I have the state write down? Who's here presently? We don't need this now. That determination, but we don't need this now. With the opening yeah, statement. we don't need this and now. That's what I was trying to get at. It, it would help to know who's actually here today. Irrelevant to your opening statement, sir. Before you make your opening statement? Well, so I know No. if, if they're not here, then essentially I can't call them. No, you could call them tomorrow or the next day. Let's he actually makes a valid after. point. I'll have the state write down who they know to be here now or who's coming this afternoon because there might have been people here this morning. I believe they're still here, but I'll let them write that down for you so you can better prepare. Uh, but at this point, I, I would like to bring the jury out for your opening statement. I presume you're going to give one. I am. Okay. I'm not a judge because this is way yes. more fun. I'll have the jury brought out, okay? <laughs> Subject matter jurisdiction? No. no I'm not right. a judge because this is way more fun. Also, I don't want to run for judge. I would. Well, Those are long days. It's hard work. Under. I love this. Loaded, I wouldn't get to talk to y'all. Um, and I will be continuing with the trial. Also, if I was a judge, I couldn't snark at people. Sir, I don't believe I need to do that. And then where would we be? The state needs to do that as well. I, I believe your statement about that is a misstatement Rob, of the law. I'm so and uncomfortable. I to pursue that I'm anxious. Can you show me lawful law that says that? I'm sweating. I a I I'm nervous about what he's going to do. Law to verifies that. Sir. For the record, I gave you a written decision. My stomach hurts a little bit. I hate this. Value 
term for and that. And that's, what, that's how I'm going to answer that. So it's let's not verify um, proof. This court feed is a little lower than it was earlier today. We still, we still aren't. Sir, there is no requirement in the law that the state or the court establish that. So Actually, your there is. Noted. Right. Actually, there is, Your Honor. No, there's not. Subject matter jurisdiction has Sir, to please. be proven for the record. No, it doesn't. It has to be not. proven. Has to be proven. They already proved jurisdiction when they determined no, that it happened no, in the county no, of Waukesha. No, that. Please do not make statements that mischaracterize the law. You know it has to be proven. They're still fighting and the jury's coming out. It's insane. You know it has to be proven the on the record. proceedings here. You know the jury is advised to disregard the statements oh God. that Mr. Brooks the jury's is in the room. regarding subject matter jurisdiction. They are not evidence. And you are to disregard Here we go. They're not presented as evidence. Here we go. Just has yet to be proven for the record. The jury will disregard the incorrect statements of the law that Mr. Brooks is stating. Where's lawful law that is incorrect? Mr. Brooks, please. I am going to read one instruction. Every time. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. All right. We're getting into opening statements. The defendant will now make an opening statement. She's not at the mic. That's why you can't hear her. The opening statement is to give the defendant an opportunity to tell you what he expects the evidence will show so that you will better understand the evidence as it is introduced during the trial. I must caution you, however, that the opening statements are not evidence. With that... Go ahead, sir. The, but they will be fuckery. I can guarantee that. Um, obviously, I don't have any uh, rehearsed or well, well prepared speech, so I'm just going to speak from the heart. You had plenty of time to make an opening statement. I would just like to first say that. He's uh, allowed to represent himself. I want to bring to remembrance something I, I think everyone in this room has been taught. Uh, pretty much as far back as we can remember. The defendant is innocent until proven guilty. That there's always two sides to every story. That's fair. Um, and for so long now, uh, roughly a year, there's only truly been one side told of this story. And uh, the jury shouldn't have heard any of that. Sat back and watched um, from countless narratives that that that's been put out there. Um, the way this incident has been portrayed at times, and uh, finally, uh, everyone getting a chance to get the full story. Volume is up as high as it goes. He you stood up away from the hear mic. He tried to uh, argue facts. Um, Good openings, not for argument. The fact is, it, this incident was tragic. Very tragic. Fair. That's not lost on me. Um, I'm surprised. Facts are that. There's still a lot of people healing, um, a lot of families healing. Fair. On both sides. Um, and when I'm confident that uh, the evidence will show. Oh, there's opening words. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. When I'm confident that the evidence will show. that this incident was not planned. This incident was not intentional. Okay. And this incident was never even thought about. That's a fair opening statement. No premeditation. That goes to elements of the crime. It's That's fair. To If a lawyer did that, they'd get in trouble. I've been the lawyer getting in trouble. I think he did just concede identity. Well, he said the evidence will show. He said the evidence will show this was not planned, this was not thought of. 
So I don't know if he's conceding identity. I think he's a... Uh... It's easy to look at the magnitude of something like this and form opinions. I think uh, <coughs> it's easy to disregard a lot of a lot of factors. It's fair to ask the jury to keep an open mind at this point. It's not fair to manipulate them with emotion. His yeah, demeanor's think, uh, so different. In reference to what I stated earlier, it's, it's easy to forget the other side of the coin. That's fair. There's been a, a lot of suffering involved in this incident, a lot. Obviously, um, with the families. Community. And uh, even the alleged, the alleged defendant's uh, family as well, there's, there's been a lot of suffering. He's trying to distance himself. A lot of misunderstanding. I just want you to keep in mind uh, everything that will be uh, presented. That's a fair and thing to ask the jury for. Keep in mind. power that you have. <coughs> I believe uh, that should escape your, your knowledge. You know, this is this has been a long process for, for everybody. Because you keep arguing everything. You've made this take a lot longer than it needed to. Leave is uh, when it's time for you to make your decision, all of you. There aren't any. I've tried to turn on closed captioning. I'm Believe sorry. And I pray that it's the right decision. We've tried to find a stream with closed captioning that won't get off copyright rude about it. That's quiet in there. Are weighed.
been a lot of words thrown out there about the alleged. He's still trying to talk about himself in the third a person. Speculation, a lot of ridicule. Unfortunately, like where it's like monster. This is not what I expected from his opening statement. I got to be honest. Uh, a lot of the time I've been before you, you've, you see me with this mask on. <laughs> I've had my reasons for that. But I feel now is the time to, it's important that, before who I am. No mask for who I am. I think this is the moment for that. Your, uh, your eyes and ears remain as open as possible. It's fair to ask. I understand that you alone decide this case, this matter. Yep. And power is in your hands. All of you. Is there anything else the evidence is going to show, sir? Because that's what we need to get to. To determine for yourselves <coughs> what truth is. They do. They determine the facts. <sighs> Thank you. That's it? Okay. Um, I also, I agree with a lot of the chat. I think his, I think his emotions are real and we've seen him be emotional during parts of this trial. I think the emotions are real. I don't know if it's remorse, Ian. but I think the emotions are real. You need to call your first witness, sir. There, materials available. All right. Thank you. Um, I think he feels something. Mr. Brooks, you ready to call your first, would be your second witness actually. Yes. Let's call your witness. Sir, this is why you have a lawyer. I don't Did think he just confessed. I think he said, I think he said, um, the evidence will show that there was no intent. It was not pre thought about. I don't know how it's going to show that unless he testifies. So he's done this back and forth. Um, so. I, I absolutely agree with the chat. I do think he feels fear. I don't know how he couldn't. Um, so, <laughs> chat, Take thank you for mining break. the chat rules. Right for the jury, please. <sighs> and again, he's representing himself. The judge, if this was a lawyer, the judge would never take a break for the lawyer to get it back together, ever. So if you're treating him like a lawyer, it's you need to call your first witness. And hopefully now that they're outside of the presence of the jury, she will say, sir, you need to call your first witness. Now. They just cut the court feed audio. Huh. 
Huh. All right. Um, Kathleen, we don't speculate on, on mental health. I don't think it's been discussed much. They're sitting back down. I hope the audio comes back. The material there we go. That you were looking for, let us know if there's something you need in that regard. And Attorney Apper, if you could perhaps just confer with him over which witnesses <laughs> were are which witnesses are here. I'll step off the bench while you do that. And if someone can just let me know, uh, I'll come back out in like three minutes, five and 10 minutes, unless I'm told to come back out sooner. Three minutes. Thank you. I hope they leave the audio on while the prosecution discusses with him. So I will get to some of the questions. That was not what I was expecting for opening statements. Truly not what I was expecting. Um, I was not expecting him to go the route of emotion, really, after how much fighting we've seen from him. I thought we were going to see um, more of him arguing that there was no, you know, I identifying information, that the state can't do this. I thought we'd see more, um, but we didn't. Law and Crime has closed captioning. I do not use Law and Crime as a source feed because they have copyright struck videos that can't be copyright struck because they're rude. So I do not use them. I also don't want to advertise their logo on my stream because um, cause they struck my, or tried to, it was reversed, but they've tried to take down my videos for using their feeds. So I don't use long crimes feed. And then Court TV takes commercials, which is hard. That's why I tend to use local feeds the best I can. Um, because they don't. They just come right out of the court feed. We're going to go to answering questions. Hopefully the court will be there. He. This might be the delay. This might be the I'm too emotional to go on because he's not ready to do direct examination of witnesses because that's what's next. The prosecution is going to walk over to him and be like, these witnesses are here. Good luck. Call your call your first witness. And I. this might be stalling because he doesn't know what he's going to do. So we're going to, we've got a few more minutes. We're going to, we're going to take some time. We were going to just go through opening, but I mean, there's 16,000 of us here now. We're going to take a minute. Let's see how this first witness goes. Um, I really think he's confusing her patience and courtesy for a leveraging. I mean, it might be, or for leverage to act a fool. It, I think he just takes each opening. Um, blazed goddess forever a lurker, but I love and look forward to my mornings with you, girl. Thank you. Um, for agreeing to CC. I, I will always, when people send stuff, I will always look at them. Can't give legal advice, but I can't break things down. I'll always look. And I'm always fascinated by what the uh, the MLMs are up to. Um, he has nothing but time to waste. That's true, Kelly. He He's unbothered. This is not his workday. This is his life. And every moment that he's in court, he's not sitting in custody in jail. I, I bet you the lunch is better at court than it is in custody. So... There's a court case that was animated by Rick and Morty, Georgia versus Allen. I'll have to take a look. Oh, let's see. Question, is he doing this to hope to get a mistrial? He won't get a mistrial based on his own behavior. Um, wish you were the judge. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. It's much easier. It's so much easier to sit in my house, in my comfy chair, and chat with y'all than it is to be in the litigant's position. It's so much easier. It's very easy for me to say, your honor, cut it off. But she hasn't done that the entire time. So, but she does give him too much leeway. But I don't wish I was the judge. I love doing this with y'all. And if I was the judge, I would have missed BravoCon. Can we just, can we have a moment to talk about the fact that I would have missed seeing all the Real Housewives in person? Um, Barbara said, I've had better communication with patients in the middle of a psychotic break. I, I mean, who aren't, th this is more manipulative, I think. Um, sorry, Mike. My in-ear is killing me. I was watching this live on my own at work when I saw the text crew message made me so happy. Every time I watch this, I think I wish I could watch it with Emily. Well, here we are. <laughs> here we are uh, for a little bit. I definitely wanted to see those opening statements. This one in-ear is just giving me the business. Is the jury sequestered? No, they're not. Um, wonder if Judge Penny would fare better. I think Judge Penny might shut it down faster, but Judge Penny gave a lot of leeway to the litigants in the case too. She gave a lot of help and a lot of space to Elaine. Like Judge Penny did give quite a lot of consideration and deference. Do you think the judge is being so patient and accommodating to avoid a chance of legitimate appeals, given that this is such a wild situation? I think she's trying to, um, but I don't think she, I think, I don't think she has to go quite this far. 
If the trial starts and a jury member feels after things start that they can't handle being present, what happens? Because I don't know if I could tell how argumentative he would be because I can't handle it. Um, it would be very hard. Um, it would be very hard afterwards to say, I can't. It would be very, very hard. But jurors have gone to court to the judge and said that I, I don't think I can continue to be fair. I mean, and then they would remove you. So um, I wonder if he has defender's notes for that part. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, Kim said Judge Penny helped Elaine formulate questions. Exactly. Judge Penny had a lot of patience too. I've seen judges be much more curt than this. Oh my God, thanks for doing this. I've been I've been missing you during this trial. I mean, I, I definitely don't want to do every single wild trial. It's a lot. Um, he does this to her every day. He does. He absolutely does. <laughs> for, the, for the couch comment, <laughs> you're welcome. We're going to reference back to Debt Be Heard because we all experienced it together. Um, I love that you guys are saying hi to Law and Lumber in the chat, who's probably got a busy work day. Um, I'm trying to catch up with these so we're up to time. Hopefully they will be back. This jury... Is just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And again, after seeing the behavior, I think the jury is going to feel a lot like the chat. After, um, after seeing, after seeing his behavior and his combativeness with the court, it's a big flip to him now talking about this case. I wonder how the jury will feel. I imagine they'll feel like a lot of you. Um, so. Question from C. Mr. Leaf, my 11-year-old and I adore your streams and he loves your snark. Um, and that uh, you also have ADHD. He wants to know if, sorry, my chat keeps jumping. You would put, I have question, put on an I have question decal. He loves decals. I can, I will make a note. I will make a note about a decal. I can. I have to find, I have to source them outside of where we normally source, but we can do an I have questions decal. We can, we can find it. Um, did he ever provide motive? I don't think so. Um, we'll see what happens as he testifies. Do you think anyone advising a judge how to handle the case? I'm, I am sure this judge is having conversations with her colleagues and perhaps the site judge. I'm sure there are conversations. Absolutely. I'm sure there's collaboration, but I don't think anyone's like, do this. I don't think anyone's telling. I think it's a, a uh, commiserating with um so thank goodness you're all here with me to go through this anxiety on high that opening wasn't as bad as i thought it would be he stuck with he stuck with um he stuck with really the boundaries i mean it was a little argumentative please be seated the judge is back on the bench mr brooks have you found what you were looking he for? is not she is not close to the mic that's why it's so quiet No. I'm just going to work off the list of people who's here. Okay. He told us why he removed the mask. You know who you're going to call first? We'll have that person ready. <clears throat> yeah. Because okay. he wanted the jury to see his him. You want to let us know so that the state can assist with that? He's not a person. He's a human being. Everyone will need a vacation after this. He's trying to decide what Otherwise to do. You can just call when, we're, when we're, we are in front of the jury. So have the jury brought out, please. are out here so it's fine it just will take a few minutes if they're over in the main courthouse okay why don't you tell the state the first witness to make sure they're right outside the courtroom Keith said emily you were quiet for so long that when I, you spoke i literally jumped out of my bed well they're all standing the mics are far away and it makes it hard most likely. Most likely. do you want to give us two names what do you mean most likely out there I just want to make it go smoothly, sir. That's all. Uh, since I'm working off this list, I kind of, I wasn't expecting that to be first. Being a lawyer is hard, sir. Who Unexpected shit them? happens all the time. Let's see if they're here. There's a list of witnesses. Call yourself. Testify first. I, <clears throat> sorry. You testify. Okay. Apparently, this list is who's here. That is, that's my understanding as well. They told you. They told you what that list was. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay. Do you think he has a chance of a mistrial? Not based on anything I've seen. Is there someone you expected to be on the list that is not? Imogen, <laughs> I can look. I 
I truly do get a lot of DMs. You're always welcome to email me. Do you want to make a record of that? Do you want me to address it in any way? Stop offering to help. Uh, uh, not right now. Thank you, Bee Weep Sweater. I've just been super busy. Living for I the bailiff's face. Out, and then you can call your first witness. I could go look for audio. Court TV does take commercials, which is hard for me. Um, emotions are genuine for himself. This is genuine self-pity. It might be. Um, longtime watcher and lurker. This is so painful to watch. It is. I'm sorry to disagree, but I really don't think he's sincere. Don't ever apologize for disagreeing. We're here because reasonable minds can differ. Like Rick Hogue says, we're here because y'all are allowed to have your own comments. This and your own thoughts and your own opinions. We're here to have conversations. We're not all here to agree. I don't want to live in an echo chamber. I don't live in an echo chamber. Even when I hate what other people say, I don't live in an echo chamber. I never hate what y'all say. Y'all are great. Chat is bae. Y'all are smart. Um, so after watching every moment of this trial, I respectfully disagree Hi. that he is playing everyone. Sorry, but he's such a disrespectful human most of the time. I think he's trying to be in control. I think this is just all a fight over control constantly. Um, he wasn't crying when he was questioning victims. He was not. Um, question. There was something about premeditation. Hold on. Can it be premeditated if there's no motive? Yes. I think they're going to prove, I think they've already proven premeditation by the fact that he kept going. Even if the jury doesn't find premeditation first, once you keep going, premeditation in the jury instructions can, can, it's when you decide not to stop, really. Or you may call your first witness. That's your premeditation. Actually, your second witness. Uh, the defense would like to call the plaintiff state of Wisconsin to the stand. This does seem really low. Oh, fucking hell. Object. The objection is noted. It is sustained. Call your next witness. Please. He called the state of Wisconsin. Not relevant. And you haven't named a person to go along with that. You would have to call a representative from the state. I'll take the issue up outside the presence of the jury if necessary. Call your next witness, please. Well, I would like to. Here we go. Tennis motion to dismiss for failure to appear by the plaintiff and for failure to state a claim for which relief can be granted. Okay, I'm going to try to switch to court TV. Of the jury next witness, please. Because I want to see if it's louder. So is the state not present? Mr. Brooks, I'm not going to address that any further. While the jury's present, I'll take that up outside their presence. Call your next witness, please. Oh, the court TV feeds a little ahead. Oh, no, behind, way behind. Sorry, guys, the court TV feed is way behind. All right, let me look for one more. Nicholas Kirby. Is that a witness who's in the hallway? Do we know? I don't believe in the hallway, but please. So he tried to call the state of Wisconsin. All right, thank you. And then he tried to make a motion to dismiss for the plaintiff failing to appear. Into the courtroom. That's not going to work. And the court TV feed is behind because they take commercials. So let me see if I can find another feed that's a little louder. This one was great earlier. And after lunch has been super quiet. So we'll find one. Don't you worry. Anyway, so that's what he tried to do. That's not going to work. I think he should call himself. Yeah, court TV is always a bit behind. Um... Chanley Painter just tweeted that the jury was stoic. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. They're just done. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to... The The hard thing for me is, like, I want the no lower third. I want the volume to be right. I'm like freaking Goldilocks over here. We need it to be just... <laughs> just I want it to be just right. <laughs> so now he's bought himself some time by asking for this witness. Let's see if this local One feed... Writer. Does that sound louder? That sounds louder to me. No lower third. That sounds louder. Thank you, sir. Please have a seat. All the cameras are provided by Court TV. The first thing I will ask you to do is to state 
your first and last names for the record and then to spell this sounds better each go ahead um first name nicholas last name kirby n-i-c-h-o-l-a-s-k-i-r yeah this sounds odder to me Uh, good afternoon. I've tried to make me a little quieter, too. I'm here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. What do you do for a living? Mostly temp work. Um, do you recall the events of November 21st of 2021? All too well. And what were you doing that day? I'm curious. <coughs> what time of the day? Uh, around three o'clock-ish. Three o'clock-ish. Around three o'clock-ish, I was walking with Corey around Waukesha. Um, Earlier, well. He doesn't look thrilled to be yeah. there. And uh, made reference to walking with Corey. Who, who is Corey? Corey is a friend of Miss Patterson's. And would it be fair to say that it's also a friend of yours? Mutual friend, yes. In reference to Corey? Yes. Oh. And what were you doing? Walking around Waukesha. She was waiting for Miss Patterson to get done meeting with Mr. Brooks. You? At 3 o'clock? Around 3 o'clock. It's around that time. I had, I had advised her not to go meet with Mr. Brooks. Uh, you made reference to uh, Mr. Brooks. Um, who's that? That would be you. And why would you say it would be you? That's you. Because that's your name. Yes. And you were privy to that information at the time? He I saw your face. I was the information about you about a week prior to this incident. About a week prior. Oh shit, he opened a door for some shit. Oh. Sir, yeah. you just During stepped your right in it. Around, uh, what were you doing with Corey? Walking, like literally walking. <laughs> we went from one store to walking around downtown after Eric had told us she was going to be going to meet with Mr. Brooks. When? You. I had advised her not to do it because it was a bad idea. When someone's no, representing themselves, I very much appreciate a witness saying, not the defendant, you. I appreciate it so much when they just will not back down. The cops kind of played that game a little bit. The defendant this, the defendant that. He's not playing. Which stores I you did this. Dollar General you and Speedway. Did that. Did you God, I love else? Speedway. No. Did you ever go to a park? California knows no. Speedway. Speedway's great. For those of you that don't know Speedway, it's a really cool, big, convenience store gas station, 7-Eleven-y type place. I like a raceway, too. I also drive an electric car, and I really love a gas station. You They've made all reference great snacks. to knowing about a Brooks a week prior to these events, you said? You! I didn't, I didn't know Brooks. everything about him. Ms. Patterson had showed me his rap sheet if you will oh, a shit. picture of him and that was oh, about fuck. it i had heard prior oh, well, i'm gonna advise the, i'm gonna stop the witness unless uh -uh. you're still there not to discuss uh -uh. what may or may not be uh, uh, uh conduct of mr brooks he, prior to november 21 of 2021. he asked the question with that understanding go ahead and ask the next he's question. asking the questions he's asking the questions Why is someone showing you this, this dude's rap sheet? made reference to a picture you, you were shown? Yeah, your mugshot. I've got Just questions. Just a photograph with a rap sheet behind it. <sighs> Why? The judge is trying to protect the record. Which I get. And at some point, did you and your mutual friend, Corey, meet up with Miss Patterson? Yes. <clears throat> Do you recall where that, where, where that was? <clears throat> Corey and I were in the uh, Dollar General area of Waukesha, which is between East and Broadway Street. We were walking towards, 
or away from Dollar General towards where Erica had said that she was being assaulted and attacked. And do you recall where that area was? Yes. This is a prior incident. Where was that area? On White Rock Avenue, right across from White Rock Elementary, in front of the red apartments across from that area. That's been, this is about a prior incident uh, that's been apartments. testified to a bit. Yes. I'm gonna you try to turn my mic down a little. Apartments are called? I do not know the name. I'm guessing they're called White Rock Apartments. I like this witness. He's like, I, I don't want to be know, here. There's a park in that immediate vicinity. There is a park there named Frame Park, yes. <coughs> Did you ever go to Frame Park? No. We were in that area near the park where the elementary school is and the apartments are. About what time did you and your mutual friend, Corey, meet up with Ms. Patterson? He's not doing a bad job Ms. questioning, by the way. Me and said that she was... About what time was the question? About what time? And I'm getting to that. Whoa, Whoa sir. What time? Um, and then you have to say non-responsive. whenever, what time the parade started. I would have to say, like, dusk. I honestly don't, I don't wear a watch, so... Sorry, I don't remember the time. But if I, I wear a watch, and I still don't know the time. Say about 4.35-ish. Let's back up a little bit. Around what time did you and your mutual friend Corey first hook up that day? I had worked that whole day, so we didn't meet up until I was done working, which was probably about 2.33 o'clock. Which is what he previously testified to, because that's kind of asked and answered. I wonder how much the prosecution's going to object to his questions. It will be very interesting to see. Oh, this witness is pissed. I don't know why he's calling this witness. Point, I'm hoping we learn. A phone call from Ms. Patterson? Yes. You yourself? Yes. And then at that point, what did you do? When she told me that she was in trouble and she needed help, I went to her aid, which means I took off from where I was near Dollar General and ran to where she told me to go. He does not like Mr. Brooks at all. And when you got there, what did you see? When I got there, these well, are good questions. Halfway towards White Rock Elementary, it's I saw a police than a officer at a barricade, and I let him know that a woman was being assaulted in a vehicle. And do you recall um, giving a description of yeah, that's going to happen? Who may have been assaulting your friend? No. Why not? Because at that point in time, the description didn't matter. I had the identity of the vehicle, so I told them you need to be looking for a red SUV with a woman screaming out of it. And how did you come into the knowledge of the description of the vehicle? Oh, he's getting to hearsay. Because I saw the vehicle. Oh, no, he saw it. Personal knowledge. At what point did you see the vehicle? Sir, you when didn't Corey ask... Corey and I were walking up White Rock, White Rock Avenue on the <laughs> apartment building side of White Rock, which would have been my right if you were walking towards the train tracks that cross White Rock. On my left was White Rock Elementary. I walked past the red vehicle, didn't realize that she was in that vehicle. Then Corey and I crossed the street to White Rock Elementary and started walking down the sidewalk, and I heard her scream, Miss Patterson scream. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she screamed, and I knew it was her, so I walked back across the street and escorted her across the street over to White Rock Elementary. Brooks did not ask a lot of foundational questions. I don't think that's what I, I, don't think I, that's what I asked. Just giving you full description. Then you need to say um, non-responsive and ask again. And if you were a lawyer, you'd know that. A little bit because that, that doesn't make sense. But he's all animated with um, his faces now. Also, no commentary. I get to give commentary, Mr. You Brooks. That, that doesn't even make sense. description of the vehicle. It's argumentative. Would that be fair to say? Yes. The body language of this witness is everything. Was, how did you, how did you learn of the description of the vehicle at that point? 
Ms. Patterson told me over the phone that she Here's was in a hearsay. red SUV. There aren't many red SUVs with young women screaming for help in Waukesha. He doesn't have control of this witness, and this witness is going to say what he's going to say. Wow. So I'm, <coughs> so I'm assuming... The DAs are ready. Because you made reference to uh, stopping law enforcement before arriving to the scene. Would that be fair to say? Yes. So I'm assuming somewhere in the time of you stopping the law enforcement officer to report what you were being told and then actually walking past no. the vehicle as you said you did and then hearing this in all this. Oh God, did objection compound. At the time when someone was in help and no, needed help can lose immediately, temper. absolutely not. I said there's a woman being attacked in a red SUV. You need to call for a backup. That, that's now, hearsay, but he elicited hearsay. Ran, and then ran, I ran, ran towards the person that needed help. He's eliciting all kinds of hearsay. M Mama Jam is like, I think Emily's right now. I'm fascinated. Give, uh, give a more detailed report that evening? No, not that evening. Did you speak with any more law enforcement that evening? It's a very good yes. question. Do you recall whom that was? I do not recall the officer's name that showed up in the SUV coming down White Rock in the police squad SUV. I don't even know the name of the officers that turned in the frame chart. <laughs> Jamila, it's uh, he's asking decent questions. The boat launch instead of where he's Ms. just eliciting Patterson, answers that are not helpful um, myself to him. And Corey were. did speak How? to an officer. Fair. Question, is hearsay okay when the defendant is the one asking the question? How did you? No. Come into the knowledge of where officers I'm going to answer this when we get a went. break. Because me, Erica, and Corey were arguing with Mr. Brooks. I don't know yet. On the side of the road of White Rock, right in front of White... Bleh, right. Right in front of White Rock <laughs> Elementary. I've felt that way with streaming all the and time. And the officer that, that, that I had stopped at the barricade when we were coming to Ms. Patterson's aid had radioed for backup. And obviously given them description of a vehicle. That's hearsay. The vehicle that I had described to them, the red SUV. That's speculation. That backup came... But they went to Frame Park. He probably they has personal not go knowledge of that. To where we were on White Rock. Any idea why they went to Frame Park? If you <laughs> specifically told them a description of a vehicle and where it was located, I did not tell them where the vehicle was located because, at first incident, Mr. Brooks had taken off in his SUV. He should have said you. He should have said you. All right, let's see. I've got a few questions. Is this a hostile witness? No, he has not asked for this witness to be treated as hostile. Hostile means a witness on the opposite side that you get to cross-examine. This witness is not pleased. His attitude might feel hostile, but he is not a legally hostile witness where Brooks gets to cross-examine him. He is asking mostly proper open-ended questions. He is failing the thing and that you learn as a lawyer, which is don't ask a question that you don't know the answer to. And he's asking a lot of those. Police report. He's fishing. Uh, is it fair to say that that doesn't work like the, that? The officer that took your report was writing down what you told him. You mean the officer that I alerted about the trouble in the SUV? Which officer do you Let mean, me Mr. Brooks? Up. Sure. On the next day. The 22nd of November of 2021. Did you speak with a detective at that time? Yes, I did. And during that interview, were they writing down what you were saying? I believe so, did you yes, see but them? I, believe, I believe it may also have been recorded on tape. I'm not sure. He's got questions. And do you yourself recall? This is leading up to the parade, I believe. This is the incident to prior the to the prior to the parade. 
that your friend, Miss Patterson, was being assaulted somewhere near the area of White Rock School. Samantha, this guy, Mr. Brooks, is the defendant that was leading. This Overall, is the defendant. May answer, I'll just caution Mr. <clears throat> He's representing Brooks himself. Leading questions since it's his witness, but this particular question. You it's foundational. Uh, yes, I mentioned that I had received a phone call from Miss Patterson and that she was being assaulted while in a vehicle. He keeps repeating the hearsay At that's being time, elicited. Did you identify uh, White it's Rock? Hearsay. I identified the street, which is named White Rock, the apartment buildings, and the schools as well, and as well as Frame Park. He's eliciting hearsay of so what? So you did identify Frame Park. I identified the entire ge said. geographical area. And the prosecution's not objecting to hearsay because they're happy to let it in. So he's asking a question where hearsay is the answer. Um, and the prosecution's not objecting. They don't have to. They can let it in. It's only a problem if somebody objects. So apparently the questions are from the previous attorney that left. I mean, may or may not be. And that's fair. But he's, he's questioning decently, and he, he was there, so he knows. Is Erica his ex-girlfriend? Yes. Um, but... I don't know what else he wants from this witness because right now all he's elicited is that and his ex was calling you for help. Heard your friend Miss Patterson screaming. Yes. I agree. There's not a lot there. There. We'll see what and his point is. Do you recall when she was screaming? That's eliciting hearsay, but they're not going to object. Shh. I said, do he? Um, ask the question. Nope. nope. He's Sit down, prosecution. Here, so that, he may answer. that hearsay is helping you. Shh. I do not. Yes, she screamed. Don't object. Do I it remember helps. what she was trying to say? No, I'm guessing it would be help. I'm in trouble. Speculation. I would assume that that's what a person would scream when they're in trouble is for help. He's so mad. A pissed off witness. I want to know why he called this witness. I want to know what he was thinking to call this witness. This is his second witness, but his first as we got into his case in chief. What were you thinking calling this dude that clearly does not like you? Do we still have the uh, exhibit with the footage from the White Rock School available? The security footage? The security footage, I'm sorry. We do. Oh. Would the state be willing to pull that out? Oh. We're getting into exhibits? Are they going to cross this guy? Probably. They're like, what the fuck is he doing? I don't... Which part? Which exhibit he would like us to publish. There's three and four. Pastor Terry has got it exactly right. Looks like he's ready to fight him. Yes, the witness looks like he's ready to fight the defendant. But also, it seems that the witness is friends with the ex-girlfriend that was assaulted in the car. Three and four have been received. So I get it. One is of the White Rock Door 1, the other is White Rock Door 2, I believe those are the videos you're referring to. Uh, let's try door two. <laughs> What's behind door number two, Your Honor? I know that's how the visit videos are designated. For the witness initially, make sure it's the one Mr. Brooks. Wants. But that's what it felt like. I appreciate the state with their assistance. Uh, can you see that on your monitor, Mr. Brooks? All right, exhibit. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Exhibit really, door two. two. Clips from this, but um, go ahead. I mean, he's ready. He's ready to put this together. All right. Uh, can you? This this one is roughly seven minutes, so I, I would need a little bit of it played. That's what they're doing now, sir. If possible. That you weren't paying attention. That's what they're doing. It's been um, received, so go ahead. I think this witness came in angry. It'll be published. Because so. they know each other. Well, b before it's published, can you show it to That's me what she's doing. Witness? She just That's said fine. that. We'll just play for the witness then. I'm sorry, I should have said that before. You it's did. Playing, so we'll let it go. She did. Um, I don't know if there's a point where you He can't argue okay. bias of the witnesses, really. I mean, he can, but I don't know if it's going to work. So let's see what this exhibit is. For those of you that weren't on stream earlier, hi and welcome. Don't forget to do the YouTube things to let them know you want to be here and 
watch my coverage. I don't just do live trials. I don't always do live trials. I do a lot of pop culture. I'm not um, sure if this is the video you're looking for, though. It might be. Don't like help. Door one. It's so funny no, that they're named door one and door two. No. The no, judge. No. Let's watch. Your Honor, I don't. I was kind of thinking that, too. Don't <laughs> tell him what exhibit he needs. Let him figure it out. He's the lawyer. Don't help. None of our statements what? right now or any kind of evidence. I just, <laughs> oh, we're just okay. trying to get to the right spot. Um, ah! Can you, pause right now at 105. 105. Can, can you back it up a few seconds? Not, not two or three, but maybe five seconds. Five I don't seconds, think he maybe. spoke to any of it. I don't think he interviewed any of his witnesses, but he did get them subpoenaed. The witness, it is on the witness stand, by the way. Just so you're right. Okay. Um, uh, can you he, play he is trying to lay a foundation, but these things have already been admitted into evidence. So he just needs to establish this witness recognizes it, but these are already admitted. So he doesn't have to do all of the evidentiary foundational things because they're not new exhibits. He's playing. They're already exhibited. They're already exhibiting. Oh, okay. They're already admitted exhibities. Pause right there. From... What you can see in this video, do you see anyone get in or out of the vehicle that you that you see on your screen? Fair Mr. question. Mr. Patterson has just exited the vehicle. Just for the record, the video was played. It's exhibit four from 56 seconds to a minute 21. Go he ahead. should, he is the lawyer should have been doing oh, that. Hear, the judge that. is protecting the so record. Ms. Patterson was the one that exited the red SUV. You saw someone exit. Yes. Can you wind it back? No. What? Can we? Can we get enough for the class? Uh, to, you want it back to fifty-six seconds. We no, all want to watch. To one hundred five, where it was paused the first time. Okay. For those of you over on the <laughs> Facebooks, there are over fifteen thousand of us over here on the YouTube's watching this um, at the Emily D Baker, all over the internet. Do you want to play it from? Yes. Here? Yes. I'm sorry. I got a question. Let me see if I can pull this up while they're queuing this up. Question, if the prosecutors don't object to hearsay, could that help Brooks's appeal chances in some way? No, because they are not Pause. obligated to object. He's obligated to not ask the question. Yeah, they're not obligated to object. He <laughs> elicited you see it. anyone from, in Let the video go. that you're being shown now, from about the one minute and five second mark to where it's paused right now at one minute and 21 seconds. Did you observe anyone get in or out of the vehicle? I'm going to take back what I said earlier. Apparently, according to this video, she did not exit your vehicle. She was behind the white rock sign. That's why I did not see her. Oh. Did you see anyone get in? He misstated into something the on the stand. Let's see how that goes, because that's a misstatement. Later from on within the incident, on yes. The DA the did subpoena there, them. You, he you didn't have an investigator to do right it. Now, he from told the, the DAs who he wanted subpoenaed. And they facilitated it with the their investigators. 21 second mark. Did you observe anyone get into the vehicle? No. <clears throat> Can you uh, publish for the jury? Thanks, Michelle. So he misstated. I wonder how much Brooks is going to capitalize yes. on that. He goes, you saw her exit. Yes, I saw her exit. Okay, well, did you see her exit? Well, no. That's that's a problem. Uh, Are they arguing completeness? With, around that area. I know we have to wait for the jury, right? Okay. And then you want it to go to the 21 mark again? Yes, if, if I may. Thank you, Kathy. White Rock Campus, red SUV. This is what we're looking at. This is before the parade. We'll forget that there's cameras everywhere. And then she walked out from behind the sign. And, and the car looks like it's about to take off. It started to. At that time, were you already in, in route to where you believe your friend was being assault, uh, assaulted at? Objection calls for speculation. This defendant has not even put this witness at this location at this time. He's just having him testify about right. what he's seeing in video. I understand the objection. That is a lack of foundation. Please establish uh, 
the foundation for this witness being present at that location. Stop, Your Honor. Or were you more stop? information about the incident. Were you present at, at this time? We were on White Rock Avenue, but we were not in the general location of the school as of yet. As I wasn't there yet. Time. That's fair. I wasn't there so yet. So to your recollection, you didn't see anything that you're seeing right now or, or on this video. You did not see the, the day of the incident? No, I definitely saw Miss Patterson in a red SUV that day. Did you see? At this specific time, no. Because I was down the road on White Rock talking to an answer. officer who was manning the intersection of Hartwell and White Rock and reporting at that time. Fair. Can we play a little bit more? Yeah, let's. If I may. Objection as to relevance. If he wants to direct the video at a certain time that if he would like to ask this witness about- Stop instructing him how to do it. That, that's fine. But he's, he can't go through each video and say, and ask general questions. Um, there's only been one video that's been shown. I'm going to give Mr. Burke some leeway. Yes. The video is to be played. I just want that to be the ruling because I'm curious. Mr. Brooks, tell us when you want it to stop. Okay. What, what I'm attempting to do for the record, Your Honor, is... Just play the video. And just you can ask your, questions. Ask your questions. Oof. Okay, there's the vehicle seemingly making a U-turn. Okay. Can you pause it right there? Right. Video is paused at 138. By what you are viewing in this video right now, had you and your mutual friend Corey linked up with Ms. Patterson at that point? At this point in time in the video, given from what I've just seen, that was when Erica was on the phone trying to get a hold of me. We were already on White Rock at that point in time. We were not near the school at that point in time, though. <clears throat> Fair. She just walked so out of frame. Was when you would, to your recollection, that's when you would say the phone call to you. Tina, we are live. Made. One of the phone calls, yes, she made multiple phone <laughs> Joe, calls. Joe, no, I, I think can't probably cover the whole thing. Six. I had been having issues with my phone that day, so it had been turned on and off multiple times. The final mm -hmm. time that it was turned on was when I picked up her phone call and she said, I need help. I'm in trouble. Come help me. Fair. I'm being assaulted. You just That's made. When I left. You just made reference to that point in the vehicle being. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's hard to ask oh, questions. So that point in the video. Every lawyer everywhere. You, you made reference to that point in the video being when you received the phone call. Yes. A phone call. Out he of thought, from right, not the. Fair, a phone call. Um, that is fair. Would it be fair to say, though, would it be fair to say that, and this is in reference calls to for speculation. Would it be fair to say, as always, calls for speculation? That day. Would it be fair to say that you're not sure how many phone calls you had received that day or who they were from? I only received 51 phone calls on my phone that day. That I actually do know. Because he went back and looked. Six of which belonged to her. And all around the same time? All around the same time. Julia, the ex testified earlier in the trial. The phone because no one calls me six times in a row unless they need some help. It's fair. Can we same. continue to play from 138? So. So she testified earlier in the trial. I just don't remember which day. And now she's walking back towards the direction. Right there, very quick. Paused at, at one minute, 47 seconds. Do you see in this video, uh, your friend, Ms. Patterson, walking back in the direction that she had just come from? That's what the video shows. Did I, I read that correctly? On the phone, talking to someone, which I assume would be me. She's on the phone like Telling this. me 
Mr. Where Kirby, I'm just going to, I need you to answer the specific question that's being asked at the moment, okay? All right. Thank you. I think he was. Yes, I see her on White Rock on the phone walking back in the direction she was originally. Again, Your Honor, I'm going to object to this line of questioning yeah. unless the. No personal Dubai knowledge. Put this witness there. I don't know what the relevance of this testimony There's is. There's just no personal knowledge. The exhibit has been received, it's been published previously. Absolutely. So I'm going to give Mr. Brooks some leeway here. Don't. Um, overrule. Melissa said you continue to read that correctly. He's just saying, I, what do you see in this video? Like you to get to where you um, need to go, though. He has no personal knowledge. At, the, at this point in, in the video, had you yet come into a range where you can, you and your mutual friend, Corey, had Stephanie, it must have been so scary. See Ms. Patterson at that point? Corey was the one that spotted her first. Could you yourself see her at that point? I heard her scream. That's what, that's what caught my attention. And you made reference to that scream being heard from inside the vehicle. Would that be fair to say? He was. Yes, because he, that's where she was when she called me. And I was still on the phone with her while going down White Rock Avenue. Even while I was talking to the officer, I said, I'm on the phone with her right now. I'm trying to figure out where she is. Can you please call for backup? No idea where so he's going with this. So we continued down White Rock. I think he's trying to say you can't hear a scream from inside the car, but he's like, I'm on the phone. The call's coming from inside the car, so. <laughs> Would it be fair to say that in the phone call you received, she told you where she was at, and that's the area that you were Just generally the question. responding to with your uh, mutual friend, Corey? Because Patterson doesn't know Waukesha. I knew the area she was talking about because I live in that area. No, he can't ask what leading questions. Just it's direct. He has to ask open-ended questions. This is his witness, even though it doesn't feel like interaction it. with <clears throat> law enforcement that you stated, you're on the phone with her right now trying to figure out where she was. So would it be fair to say at that point you didn't know where she was? I knew that she was on White Rock. I didn't know exactly where or how, or how far down on White Rock she was. And it sounds like neither did time. she. At that specific time, I did not know. It wasn't until I seen a red SUV parked in front of the apartment buildings on White Rock that I figured that might be the one that she was in. It was Corey who spotted her across from the road. From, we're paused at the one minute and 47 second mark of this video. No, this witness is answering the questions. There's it, no reason to treat this witness as hostile, even though he's unfriendly. Houses and things of the like. Can you point out in what area the red apartment you're referring to might might be? You need a map. It's, it's a touch screen. So. You need a map. Hostile is a legal term of art. It doesn't mean emotionally. You arrow point in the direction that's best helpful. Oh, it doesn't mean emotionally hostile. So this witness is not a hostile witness. This witness is answering questions, even though he's unfriendly. Okay. Yeah, the judge wants to know this where is this is going to. This is the entrance to White Rock Elementary. We're all just like, what the fuck? Up maybe 20, 30 feet. There's an intersection leading from an apartment building to the White Rock campus. That would be up here in this. This witness knows this area very well. Corner right here. This whole area. That's very Would kind. Thank you. Would it be fair to say that from where we're paused at in the video, we can't <sighs> tell if there's any vehicle parked in that general area? Not at the moment, you bro. literally just played the video where the vehicle just turned Just answer around. the question, sir. He's your honor. No, you cannot see it from this angle. At this moment. Um, we please clear the... Uh, at this yeah, moment. Mm. Thank you. Can we make spicy witness a legal term? Yes. Fair to say that yes, we can. Not a hostile witness. Videos pause now a spicy witness. Miss Patterson is not, or who you identified as Miss Patterson is not inside of a vehicle. She is not inside of a vehicle in this video, no. He's can we play it from one minute and 47 seconds? It seems like Brooks is trying to play with the timeline here, and it's just not going to work. It is what it is. And it's not, he's not going to catch anybody in anything. What he heard earlier 
was the moment when this witness was like, oh, I saw her get out of the vehicle. And then it's like, oh, wait, no, she came out from behind the sign. That was a moment. We could have had more to talk about that moment. But there's not much there there with this witness. I don't know why. I don't know what he's trying to get. At this point, had you uh, come into a range where you can see Ms. Patterson at that point? No. How would he know? The record video falls at 213. I'm sorry. I, 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 it's all right. 213. She is giving the defendant a lot of leeway here. And you made reference to uh, Melly or Corey you're right. spotting her first. Yeah. <laughs> what people are to say is Corey what if any. That she thought she had seen her across Facts. the street. And we looked and we crossed the street once and then we crossed the street back over. Then we crossed again for a final time. That was until later when the incident with Mr. Brooks took part, took part or took place. And at this point, walking with your uh, friend Corey, had <clears throat> she alerted you to spotting Miss Patterson at that point? She said she's over here. She must be out of his car now or something. She said something along the lines of that. So we went across the street and there was Miss Patterson hobbling down the street with a boot on her leg. Erica, you thank you. To I hope you have a better day. Your friend Corey saying she must be out of this car now. Oh, hearsay. Did, do you know, as you were walking with your friend Corey, do you know if she observed Miss Patterson speculation. being in the vehicle at that point? <laughs> what? She was with me when the phone call came. Oh, okay. So, I assume that when someone tells sure. me that they're in a vehicle, then they are in a vehicle. That does not mean that they would be in a vehicle by the time I got there. I was on foot. I, I like it. I him. wasn't walking. I was running. Hearsay, speculation, all the things. All the things are happening. All Can of them. You play it from 2 sure. to 13. Natalie said, I'm just so confused by his tactics. He's throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. That's. And the prosecution's just letting it happen for the most oh. part because Hold on, let it play. because oh. nothing that's happening is going to hurt this. Pause right there. The, it's, none of this testimony hurts the DA's case, so they're just like, nine. ask what you're asking, which is smart. Um, which is smart. Would it be fair to say we see some individuals walking right here? Are you able to see that in the video? Yes, at that time, had you come close enough to the scene where you can observe any individuals in that area? I don't remember the people that were in that area. I was only focused on the one, and that was the one in danger. Could you so know? Could you at that point? He is not. He is not wavering. From my stand, from my point on the street, from where I was, at that time, yeah, where is where is paused at now? During a parade, no. It's fair. Can can we clear the uh, cycle? <coughs> Thank you. Um, we observed at some point Miss Patterson crossing over to the opposite side of the road. Yes. Did you did you see that? Yes. Any I was eye? on the phone with her at that point. Yes, this defendant has been Could more chill than Elaine at the moment. Down White Rock. Can you ob observe that from where you were at that time? I was at the intersection <laughs> of White Rock and Hartwell when she said that she was by some red apartment buildings. No, Did Heather. Did you see her from that position? No. With the criminal the trial, there's no time limit. So, as long as he's asking forward. questions and moving forward, he's going to be allowed to do it. Deputy Heard was civil, so it was a bit different. But no, there. She's not gonna. Oh, there. Was that the car? Pause she, right there. And people running. She's not gonna time restrict the criminal defendant Pause in this case. 418. Uh, 418. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, you see the two individuals here? Yep. Do you know who those individuals are? That's me and Miss Corey. Oh. So at 409. There we go. To 418, you were able to come into view of Miss Patterson at that point. No. I don't know. I wasn't. I was on my phone trying to call her back to find out where she was. I think the prosecution is probably Can listening we, intently for this to go off the rails. Thank you. 
truly. So I think they're at, so at this point right here with the videos pause for for eighteen. You weren't able to observe Miss Patterson on He's white not doing a terrible job. <laughs> True. Well, overruled the witness may answer. The witness, huh? What I'm are you, what you saying? Me, as you can tell by the video, I was looking at my phone trying to call Miss Patterson back because were, she was not answering her They were phone. trying to find each other. That scared me. So I told Corey to keep an eye out looking and look for her as I tried to keep calling her. When I looked up and we got past the White Rock Elementary School sign, that was when I seen her. Would it be fair to say that judging from the video, the White Rock are you referring? Let me back. Sarah, up. I think that's Are true. Are you referring to the sign right here that says White Rock Campus? I'm referring to where the end of the school building itself meets the driveway or the road that's that's there. There's Steel a City, yes. I apologize. Can we take the, that? The judge can yes. limit closing arguments, um, opening arguments, and things like that. White yes. Rock Campus sign. The judge can give a time limit of that. So I think he's point to trying exactly to get to a point. <laughs> Which you're referring Brooks to. is not being confrontational with this witness, which is fair. Where that intersection is, where I just drew that little X, that intersection cuts across from the other side of White Rock. I hope this to happens. To the other side and leads to the, um, leads to a road, but also there's the frame park area there, and I believe there's a boat launch there somewhere. I don't know. I wouldn't stop. I would. And I would make him ask the open-ended questions. At that point, just to protect the record, to but I would let him go. I wouldn't object much. I observed her walking when Corey was. I wouldn't object much. Told me that she had seen her, and so we grabbed her and started to leave to turn around. At that point in time, an officer was coming to Frame Park because of the report that I had given. So you observed Miss Patterson walking and not inside of a vehicle at that point in time no no as in as in she was not in a vehicle at that point in time yeah it was a confusing came, answers we finally came upon her the thing is he knows she was in the vehicle because so of hearsay when, so when and brooks is not at understanding that time did you observe miss patterson inside of a vehicle when she was going back into his vehicle to get her things or whatever it was that she was trying to pull out of his car, her phone or something or whatever. Can we play the video from 418? It's not shown in this video. It's clearly at a different time. You're was, you're, you're not going to make fetch happen by oh, showing I'm this sorry, video I'm more and more. The, uh, they look concerned. X. Like they look like they are hustling to try to find someone, which supports his point. Anyway, let's answer some questions. What does this have to do with the crash? I think he's trying to get to the point that he was ex upset about this fight. Pause right here. And that's Is it fair to say for why? He stopped at four minutes and 38 seconds. But with seconds. this witness, I don't know what he's trying to get to with this witness. Is it fair to say from the video? It's not fair to say anything. <coughs> what are you talking about? Is it fair to say is what right if any? Right here are crossing the road? Yes. It should be, do you and see those two people? Do you know the identity of those? Two people. Do they seem it to be crossing me the road? And Ms. Corey. Were you crossing the road? There's other ways to do this. Would it be fair to say that at that time, what if any? You observed Ms. Patterson. That was when I first noticed the red Jeep or red SUV, whatever you want to call it, across the street. We had zigzagged up White Rock, going between the side, going from one side to oh. another, looking for Erica. When we nope. ended up on this side, the red SUV was parked in front of the apartment buildings. There was a tree here. And Miss Erica came from the passenger side of the vehicle around the back. That's when I heard her yell something. That's when I went over. No, being upset's not a valid Made reason. To Ms. Patterson coming He's trying to explain. The vehicle, but being upset's not valid. Side, it's not exculpatory. So I assume that she had just gotten out of the vehicle. Do you know that for sure? He said, I assumed, bruh. If I didn't see her earlier when I was on White Rock or a vehicle earlier on White Rock. How could I know? He said, I assume. Did based you on what he see saw. Her in, in the no. At that time. I seen her come from around the vehicle. I am not actually sure if she was in the vehicle at that point in time. That's very I was clear. Just by what she said over the phone. That's very clear. So my assumption is that she was in a vehicle. Oh, he's very agitated. He was clear. <laughs> if it pleases, the, if it pleases your honor, do we have a, a, a better view of this 
this point? No, you need a different camera yeah. angle. Maybe on um, exhibit. The three. judge is helping. Might the judge a, is a helping a lot. Of this. If you have a specific part. spot to direct the state to, then I will have them do that. But can we can we view uh, exhibit three? Scottish yes, Mama Bear, I think he's representing himself for control. I'm, I'm not sure. It, it won't help an appeal. I don't know how long since we viewed that exhibit. I don't know how long it is. Sir, you, you've you got to remember this. You're the lawyer. So ask your lawyer. You've got to remember this. So no, I think this is about control. I think it's all about control. And on appeal, it's going to hurt his appeal that he's representing himself because he can't represent, he can't do ineffective assistance at counsel. That's not grounds for appeal for him. And if he hasn't preserved issues for appeal properly, they won't be appealable. So, um, Debbie said, what does publishing mean? It means showing the jury. So they'll show the witness something and then go to show the jury. Publishing it to the jury means they see it. Just showing it to the witness means the witness sees it. So that's what that, that's what that means. Um, <laughs> May says, holy freaking fluff, I'm living for your comments on whatever is worth commenting on in this world, you rock. I run commentary literally on everything. I think it's it's my ADHD superpower. When we were at BravoCon, I was sitting next to a friend of mine, and the people in front of me kept turning around. I'm like, I'm sorry. They're like, no, I'm living. Because I was talking through it, all of one of the panels to my friend. I know that there's a specific spot that you recall. So I, I will co give commentary on just about anything. But you'll have to give me a little more information. I'm horrible to watch a movie with. Would it be fair to say is the new what if any? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure I would know the exact spot. I don't know how long that video is. You should have those timestamps. I know that for sure. This is basic trial prep, sir. Carrie said Brooks harassed his ex on the stand. Um and and, and that's part of the problem with when you represent yourself is that you put yourself directly in line with the victims and the witnesses to question them in a way that could be very aggressive. Yeah, He's not being aggressive question. with this witness. You need to be able to tell the state with more specificity which part of this is trial prep. Exhibit and at what point. Well, Life with I Gigi said I vote Emily D. Baker to play the role of all judges or DAs if when we make a movie or series about wacky trials. Exhibit would be three. I just want to be me. And the spot judging on the length of the exhibit would be towards the end you're just guessing of the exhibit and you're sure it's exhibit three he would need a lawyer for appeal um, that would be four. that would be uh white rock door one correct that's my understanding you don't so get to this ask the judge yes all right turn that off just it's a fair point it just they're all exhausted Ask the state to just pre preview what to the parties. That? We'll see if we can find it quickly. Air filtration? On exhibit three. Yes. This, so it's. <sighs> looks like it's four. Yeah, about 414, a little, a little over four minutes. I hope he doesn't recall his ex. He probably um, will. So I'm. <laughs> I would say. Is he at all qualified to do this? He, he's not the worst three, pro per I've ever seen, mark. but if, if that helps, well, we're going to just show it to you in the state and, and you have you to decide you can ask this witness a question about it. Otherwise we're going to move on. Why didn't he get a lawyer? He fought to not have a lawyer. He had a lawyer. He fought to represent himself and his right to do so was granted. So he I would say take it back to about three fifteen. I thought it was air filtration. This is the footage, though, you're looking yes, for? Yes, this, this is the footage, yes. He actively wanted to not have a lawyer. What made him take off the mask? He wanted to humanize himself to the jury. He told them that in his opening statement. He wanted them to see him unmasked. Is that where you want to start? Can Actually, he call for a continuance to go over his evidence? No. He's had time to prepare just like everyone else. So, no. This go three minutes, exactly. How would you have prepped a witness for this? I wouldn't have. This is a defense witness, so I would not have talked to them. This has previously been received I would, with any witness point forward and then ask your questions but I, before it's played. Um, I would remind them to answer what's asked to tell the truth. If they don't know something, don't guess. 
Go ahead. Tell me what you want to do. That was a mistake. And to take a breath before you answer. It's just uh, you in front sure? of you and the witness at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's fine right now. Um, She's not your well, court I don't assistant. Have to play it twice for the jury. So if you're oh. going to question him, let's show it. It's already been admitted. So should should it just publish now? Well, or just publish yes. It from this point, play it, and you can ask the witness questions regarding it. Okay. Okay. I think he only has so six. It's at three minutes. I think he only has six under subpoena. So even if he wants to call 12, to get from this point to the end. they're so not I'm all going to show up. Yes, we'll publish oh. now. Jury can let me know when it's on the monitors in the jury box. I don't know why the judge is helping him so much. And I don't know the point of this witness. Do you... Uh... There's the right car. now it's paused at three minutes. Uh, this, does looking at this video right now uh, bring any re recollection of that day back to you? Yeah. And using the touch screen, can you identify, if you see yourself in this video, can you identify where you are? I'm right here. And Can you identify who the other person is that's shown on the exhibit? That's Miss Corey. Okay. Uh, you can play from right Let's there. He had submitted person. more subpoenas. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think all of them were well, served. Before, before we play, they can't make a Texas witness. Could you see? Uh, come to Wisconsin. Right there, where you are. Can you see Miss Patterson? And I don't think anyone's going to agree. Is at that point. No. Can we play it from right there? Go ahead. So it looks like they're running Can to the car. Um, it's fair to say that we can see you and Miss Corey running towards the area of the vehicle that just stopped. Is yes. that fair to say? Yes. And where was Miss Patterson at this time, if you recall? At that point in time, I don't she see her. had met up with Corey. Corey had gotten had walked ahead of me, and her and I were looking for her. I didn't see her right away. Corey did, and she said she just told me she's in a red car. So that's what we were looking for. They were on the phone. At that time, was Miss Patterson inside of the vehicle? I do not recall. Well, what I do recall is the owner of the vehicle getting out of the vehicle, and that became my you. primary concern. You. Um, the taxpayer pays for his filings. So fast a little bit. So for those of you asking if there's a time limit on this, no. It's a criminal case. There is not. There can be... On closings and openings. To, you, you and Miss Corey not on towards the area of the vehicle. Why so? Why such the urgency? Miss <laughs> Patterson is a so, mutual friend of ours. She said she was in trouble. I don't play around when people are in trouble. It's not the question you want to ask, my guy. Can we play it from. It's paused at three minutes and eight seconds. Can we play a little bit of it from there? Go ahead. Pause right there. Can There's you see Miss Patterson? Uh, it's paused at three She's minutes right and eleven seconds. Do you see Miss Patterson in it, in this video? Yes. Let's pause that right now. Yes. Is she inside the vehicle? No, she is not. Had you seen her before that? Corey had spotted her, not me. Before that, she did. But it is fair to say that you that you're also in the area. At I that am time, correct? Not in this general frame, no. I'm not, outside not the, the, not the, the, you have to let him answer. Video, but you are present on the scene. Would that oh, be yes. fair to say? Yes. And what happened at this point, if I, you recall? At this point, there was a physical altercation between Mr. Brooks and Miss Corey and Miss Erica. I was more worried about Miss Patterson being hurt, so I went for her to get her out of the way. I stepped between them as best I could, and I told Mr. Brooks he needs to leave. He needs to get out of here. Yeah, they're identifying him as the driver of the car more. 
do you recall uh, if there was a knife involved at that time? No. That is a miscommunication. And I will clarify that. The Monday... Wait. Hold on, there's not a question yet. No question Please. pending. Ask the questions. That'll Please happen on cross-examination. Just answer the questions that are asked at this point. Go That's ahead. why this witness is here. He has said that he was like fleeing a guy in a, with a knife, blah, 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 blah. That's this witness. That makes sense. Did you at any point and this during this... got his uh, phone in his hand. So I do think the state will cross this witness. Did you at any point during this To have him clarify whether or not there was a knife because he's brought that up a lot. Ms. Patterson get back into the vehicle? He's going to say he was fleeing a dude with a knife in the car. I the vehicle for something. I don't know if that she was grabbing sense. a purse or something or whatnot. She, I, she was grabbing something of her personal <laughs> property out of the vehicle Did you observe while her? this was going on. Did you observe her get into the vehicle? That'll be no. interesting. So that's where this is going. He had said earlier Three he was one, fleeing a guy with a knife. Seven seconds, please. So... Go ahead. They're trying to separate Brooks and Erica. That makes sense. Pause it right there. Did you see yourself come into the frame in this vehicle? At yes. That Would that be you there? Yes. The defendant is going to argue that this witness that had the knife, had, uh, I think. Or this witness's friend. I'm not sure Some which type one. Of jacket on a, a black jacket. At one that, point, that yes. Evening. No, I agree well, that no one had a knife. But that this is going to clarify it. As soon as Mr. Brooks started going for the two women. So you. Dude you was ready to throw down. Mm-hmm. Was it a yes? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. He's pissed. And what was your reason for throwing your jacket off? Lisa, no. Well, if the court don't hate me for it, um, I'm just going to say it's a good thing that there were two women in my way at that point in time. He was ready to kick your ass, bro. And what do you mean by that? Yep, just that say it. That means when my jacket comes off, trouble's going to happen. I was ready to kick your ass. Especially if you're trying to assault a woman. He's pissed. In front of me. So that, that gesture was an aggressive gesture. Yeah. No, that was a completely <clears throat> focused gesture. Well, you did make reference to... Let me back up. Would it be fair to say that you just made reference to trouble following you throwing off your jacket? No. Not <laughs> trouble following me. Me creating well, trouble. Look how calm... Look Excuse how calm Brooks can is. Can you rephrase your question? Oh, I, I, I will. <laughs> Sorry about that. Spicy witness. You made reference to there being trouble when your jacket comes off. Is that fair to say? Yes. He said, I will I will end you. No, that's not what he said. I'm paraphrasing. I like this witness. This witness Would is it pissed. Be fair to say that he was that ready to fight. Be, or that could be perceived as an uh, aggressive gesture. You mean as an Calls for speculation. Yep. Sustained us to the form of a yep, question. Yep, yep, yep. This witness is ready to fight him now. If you recall, who gave the report that there was a knife involved? There's where we're getting to. That was not put into a report. That was a mis miscommunication been between me and an <coughs> officer. I had been knifed earlier that week and had 12 stitches in one hand. What the fuck are you running around doing, dude? I said, now I have a friend being assaulted and I need backup here. So when the police stopped and asked if there was a knife, I said, no, there was never any knife. I didn't have a knife. Ms. Patterson, Ms. Corey didn't have a knife. You didn't have a knife. <coughs> Did you get a chance to see the report that was taken. How did he have 12 stitches in his hand? I have more quest questions. From you, from you? Well, I'm the one. You mean, you're talking about when I was on White Rock. Brooks is calm. No, no, no. He's uh, linear. He's not being extraparaneous. The, He's the just. Day of November 20. Which shows you. The, no, the, the day of shit November with the judge 20. is all fuckery. 
November 22nd, 2021. You made reference already to being interviewed by a detective, correct? Yes. And had you, after that, seen that report from that day? No. Yeah, it, I mean, he got knifed in the hand. It does sound like he was trying to stop something. I've got more questions about that, but we're not going to get more answers. It was a separate event. Yeah, I'm, this guy's up there with Photo Chad and Spicy Draco. I should have I should have written down his name at the beginning. Corey, right? Spicy Corey. I didn't bring my notepad. I thought we were just doing openings, and now we're still here four hours later. And we're not leaving because now I'm invested. Damn it, we're here. Sorry, mods. Take a break. Get some lunch. <laughs> Spicy Kirby. <gasps> Spicy Kirby's better. Um, I should have grabbed it. All right. I'll, I'll look in a minute. Um, let's see. And you stated that Nick, the Nicholas. recording of the knife was a, a miss. Oh, that's right. Corey was the, Miss Corey's the friend. To it as? Yes. Is Kirby his last name? Nicholas Kirby. Nicholas Did Kirby. Yeah. Spicy Kirby. We're going with Spicy Kirby. Law enforcement. That there was a knife I like the juxtaposition of the no. fluffy pink Do you Kirby know and if your Kirby. friend Corey told law enforcement that there was a knife involved in the altercation? No, she did not. That calls for speculation. Do you know if your friend Miss Patterson told any law enforcement that there was a knife involved in the altercation? She calls did for hearsay. Not as well. No. Those call for well, he said, Do you know if they told him? But it calls for hearsay. See, I feel like the time for me to talk is when he's doing all this shit. And then he didn't. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got some questions. We're going to get to them. Will the judges help hurt his appeal? I don't know. The judge overstepping, I think, could be a problem, but I just don't know if it will be. The judge spent an entire morning, afternoon, week telling Brooks that once he discharged the PDs, he couldn't go back. As per Wisconsin Constitution, he has been found competent like three times. There you go. Thanks, Judy. You got this. Probably maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I was not preparing. I was not prepared to stream this long today, and here we are. Um, so I'm going to try. He takes a long time between questions. Wisconsin does not oh, have the death to penalty. The phone call that you received from Ms. Patterson. He's back to eliciting hearsay. Okay. The judge isn't going to avoid an you, appeal. Is she Might be to be avoided. Give you the name of whoever. May have been assault, assaulting her. Hearsay. She didn't have to. She was meeting one person that day, and I knew exactly who he was because she had you. showed me his picture and rap sheet prior. Wait, why do you show someone a picture and a rap sheet her and say this is who father, I'm meeting? The, the father of their 15-year-old daughter. I have she was meeting up with that day. So many questions. And I told her multiple times, it's not a good idea. I have a bad feeling about this. I like this dude. He has a bad feeling about it. It's like it turned into a Star Wars movie. I have a bad feeling about this. He was right. Do you recall stating, well, actually, you testified to that here today. Do you recall stating that you walked past the red SUV? That He's was questioning him on a prior statement. Yeah. Sorry, you scared me, Dr. B. What's up? Would it be fair to say from the two exhibit videos that we watched today that I found my notes. You, in fact, did not walk past any SUV. I most definitely walked past an SUV. That it's just not shown in this part. Rock Avenue. Whether or not it was your specific SUV, it was still a red SUV. Up until this point, knowing Miss Patterson, I didn't know anything about the father of you. her child. I didn't know anything about his background except for what she showed me over the phone. Anything about his vehicle description, why would she need to tell me that? It's a fair Is it point. Fair to say that the video doesn't show you walking past any red SUV. That video. If the video Is that fair to say? If the video proves that, then yes. That video at that point. <coughs> I didn't realize how late it had gotten. <sighs> In the report that you. Well, in the report that was taken from you by uh, 
Detective, do you yourself recall stating that the alleged defendant tried oh, to punch if, and push you? If I were the DA, I wouldn't object. The, the alleged defendant. And when you're the witness, you don't have any grounds to object. Attempted to. You just answer the questions. Would it be fair to say from the video that it doesn't show you being pushed or? No, it does not. It shows me pulling two women away from the situation. Any That's reason fair. why you would state to He's trying to get to. That the alleged the alleged defendant attempted to punch and push you? He's trying to get to inconsistent statements. different people's fists flying, and I was just trying to get the uh, the people that I cared about out of the way of danger. Yeah, he's trying so to get to inconsistent my statements. my statement to the detective is off a little bit, after watching a bunch of people get run over, I can understand why. I was traumatized, so that's fair. you were at the parade that day? Kestrel, you just have to subscribe. Subscribing's free. Area. Subscribing's free. So how... Trying to give back to my house. So how mm -hmm. can you watch people being run over if you weren't at the parade that day? It's a fair question. I wasn't attending the parade. I was in the area that the parade route was in. My street is the parade route. Did you see anyone injured that day? It was a fair question. When during the parade. When the yes, after I walked back through that area. You saw someone get injured? I saw a red SUV take off like a bat out of hell down Main Street. He didn't want to ask this question. And go through a crowd of people. The question was, <clears throat> did you see, did you see this take place? With my own freaking eyes, yes. How many times do I have to say yes for you to understand it? He's objecting to ask an answer. Why spells yes? Oh shit. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I don't, I don't know how to read that. Um, you moving to strike the last response? Your Honor, don't help. Um, the jury will disregard the last response. I'm just going to remind both of you, please answer the question. Oh, the DA is not going to inject at all. Uh, the DA is going to let this place, happen. Either Mr. Brooks or the state will ask. It should have been objection non-responsive, but it was responsive. Is it fair to, Brooks well, just didn't like what the response was. In reference to the uh, Exhibit 3 video that, that we just viewed. <laughs> You're talking about the one by the elementary school. <coughs> yeah, the one okay. that, the one that we yeah, just yeah. The judge is starting to annoy me a little bit. The, uh, exhibit three. Is it fair to say from that vehicle? Got me. Video. I, I'm sorry. <coughs> from that video, is it fair to say from that video that in fact there are not three people throwing punches? Would that be fair to say? There are three people throwing hands in that video, Erica, Corey, and Mr. Brooks. Not myself. If you watch the video, you will see three pairs of hands go up towards one another. He stopped the video Whether before that happened. Stepping in to pull someone away from another yeah. or not. Hands are being brought up. How on earth do we end up here? A series of disjointed questions. <laughs> That's how we ended up here. Don't forget to do the YouTube things. I'm going to try to get to Super Chats in between the pauses. Um, look from Switzerland. Why do you allow this? The Constitution. A lot of the times when you look at the U.S. law and go, why is this happening? The answer is going to be the Constitution. He has the right to defend himself. And here we are. Um, and we felt sorry for Judge A. Yikes. I feel bad for this judge, but she is helping a bit too much. Has he done anything to help his case? No. He's trying to get this witness in an inconsistent statement, but he recall, can't finish out that thought. That's an art that takes time to learn to catch witnesses in inconsistent statements. Where you went after that and to question them well. That takes work. You mean where me and the two girls went? Where me and Miss Patterson <clears throat> yes, and Miss Corey went? Where you and uh, we the started. Two friends went. Yes. He we does have all the prior walking prep. back. He does. We turned to walk back the direction we had came, so taking White Rock to Main Street. And then uh, cutting through the neighborhood there to get over to where the women's shelter was. That was where we were going at that point in time. However, things took a drastic turn when the red SUV that I have described multiple times went down the opposite direct direction of White Rock Avenue across the railroad tracks and the intersection of Perkins 
in White Rock and then turned back around and came back down. That is what you saw in the video here when the red vehicle pulled up on the school side of White Rock. After the altercation between Ms. Patterson, Mr. Brooks, Ms. Corey, and myself, the three of us, Ms. Patterson, Ms. Corey, we started to leave. I told Mr. Brooks, you need consistent. to get out of here. The police have been called. You need to leave. You need to leave now. You do not belong here. I, I bet there were expletives in that. Can you strike everything that's not Responsive. pertaining to the question that was asked? Actually, I'm just describing the entire event in its entirety. Uh, he got to the non-responsive. Um, he did make a non-responsive objection. I'll strike the response as being non-responsive to the question. The jury is to disregard it. Um, Re-ask re your question again. Okay. Do you recall where you and your two female friends went after the altercation? We started to head back in the direction of the women's shelter where they lived. Where they were staying at the time. Stop there. Do you recall Next question. at any point during your um, travels to the women's shelter, as you referred to it, do you recall at any time coming into contact with another law enforcement officer? Within that point in time, no. Except for the one that pulled out of Frame Park. Do you recall at any time <coughs> being stopped by a law enforcement officer on your way back to the women's shelter? We were stopped part way down White Rock, and that was when I had told the officer because he wouldn't get out of his SUV. I had let him know <laughs> that they need to be on the lookout for a red SUV that took off down back down White Rock towards Perkins Avenue or Street or Road, whatever it is. The officer had asked me if there was someone with a knife, and that was when I held up my left hand, and I said, no, I said, I, said, I have 12 stitches from a knife injury on this hand, but this is what you need to be looking for, is this red SUV. Hmm. And I'm guessing that's where the miscommunication of the knife came in, and I don't know where that officer went after that. That's speculative, but it's fair. He asked the question. Say that, that was the second law enforcement officer that you had spoke with the, that day at that time? Yes. Okay, good. Can we move on? You are referring to November 21st. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Correct. Good. Let's move on. During that, <coughs> during that. Damn it. Interaction with the second law enforcement officer. Yeah, he's going to try to strike things now. Yes. Stating that a black guy just assaulted my friend? No. Any reason why the officer would report that? Objection calls for speculation. It does call for speculation. Calls for speculation. And just remember, chat for all of you, the that are new, don't forget to do the likey, subscribey things. We do have moderators in this chat because the Lawnard community is a very kind community. So it is, I know, I know when we talk about polarizing people, it's difficult, but we don't do any name calling, diagnosing, disparaging. We talk about the cases. We talk about what we see. We love a spicy witness. Did you yourself sustain any injuries so thank you. during the altercation? Mm, altercation he I says open three stitches on my hand but that was more so from pulling miss Corey away from mr brooks so we could get out of there the quote unquote the alleged altercation did you report to any law enforcement well i guess that would refer to the second law enforcement officer that you no no with. no no narration did you report that to that officer no at the time, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice my hand was ripped open again until I got home. So it would be fair to say that you don't know how those stitches opened up. Would that be fair to say? No, I'm pretty sure I know how they opened. My stitches got caught on the zipper on Corey's backpack. That's how the stitches were ripped out of my hand when I was trying to pull her away from Mr. Brooks and intervene from between her, you. Mr. Brooks, and Ms. Patterson. Just say you. Say you. Just say you. 
when I was trying to pull Corey away from you. Fair to say that a wound that was stitched being this is irrelevant. Open would cause a little bit of pain. Would that be fair to say? Not when relevance. Yep. Adrenaline. Sustained relevance. Notice he's not saying grounds when he's standing in front of the jury. He's not saying grounds at all. Did you notice any blood from the uh, stitches being reopened? I didn't feel anything until I actually looked at it when I got home. 12 stitches coming across my thumb in kind of like a fish hook type pattern. It was the two over here that ripped open and the one up here. Or actually, I take that back, the one up here. So just for the record, he's holding his left hand. He had his uh, thumb out, extended almost like an L, but with the other fingers almost like a C, and he was pointing to his left thumb. This is what the attorney uh, would normally do, is mark the for the record what you physically then, uh, saw in court. I'm going to speak over the judge inside, where it goes up telling you what you just watched. The index finger. Hypothetical Correct. question. Correct. If one of the victims well, came from a state that does have the death penalty, so could they try him there? there? No, the events happened where they happened. It's where the events happened. Overruled. He may answer, but then move on. Criminal jurisdiction is different than civil. So. Um, if they call him to the stand, how does he cross-examine himself? You made it home that evening? Oh, we'll get to Absolutely that in a minute. Absolutely not. Was it immediately after the altercation or sometime after? Or? No, I took the girls back to the shelter and then I started running back towards Main Street. It's not going to go well. He's out. He's a listening testimony that I could avoid the parade traffic. He's and, a uh, listening testimony that would have otherwise been blocked, but he's not horrible. That's when I saw the red questions. SUV go down Main Street. So I wanted to get back to the question I just had pulled up. Um, so I was saying criminal jurisdiction is different than civil jurisdiction. So part of that was it. Um, let's see. So the state cannot call the defendant to the stand. <coughs> when the defendant calls himself to the stand, the state gets to cross-examine him the same way you would cross-examine any witness. When he does his own direct exam, he will just talk. I do want to cover his testimony. The difficult thing in this trial is going to be knowing if he's going to testify or not, because there's no plan. We're just kind of, it feels like he's just winging it because he's just winging it. He does have his prior lawyer's preparation. So when you switch lawyers- And do you recall speaking with- Everything gets turned over, all the files. Uh, your, your women friends, after you had made it home that evening? Oh, we called both of them your yes. women friends. Interesting. Did at any time you indicate- None of this is helping his case. Hold on, let me him finish the question. He was asking what he strike, indicated strike to the them. Question. Yeah, I, I, I thought that's what I said. You can ask your question. That's what I thought you were saying too. Did you yourself at any time indicate to your female friends that you had sustained an injury during the altercation? No. Objection of relevance. He'd already answered. He already answered no. You got to wait because there might be an objection. I saw that the Kevin Spacey verdict is in while we were talking about this. Um, I haven't gotten to read up on it much, but they weren't out for very long. The podcast is going out today talking about that trial. They weren't out very long to find him uh, not liable in a civil, in the civil case. The background of that case will be up on the channel later today. No time to update the episode now. So. Hmm. Anyway. All right. We're going to get to a few more questions while he is taking his sweet time. Every time I decide to do that, he starts answering. Lawn Lumber's little iguana is named Grounds. That's funny. Um, the blood is for the blood found on uh, Daryl Brooks' sweatshirt. I don't... And he the, might try to argue that. I don't think it's going to fly. In the time that you had known Miss Patterson up until that 
day of November 21st. So you can ask what kind of friends they were. Had you yourself ever heard Miss Patterson refer to the alleged defendant by a different name? He's not the alleged. Gross. She said, she said relevance. No. Mm. You mean like an alias or something? A different name. Like a stage a, name. A nickname, an alias. I mean, let's be specific here. Did, did Ms. Patterson ever refer to him with another name? Your Honor. If you recall. Talk about that. Not that I can personally recall, no, ma'am. All right, thank you. Let's see. Uh, this is turning out to be an Allie McBeal episode, and Brooks is Richard Fish, and the judge is turning out to be to Whipper. Your Let's see. Was uh, your friend Miss Corey, as you referred to her? <coughs> Do you recall her uh, stating that she was injured during the altercation? She did tell me that sh she. I believe she like hurt her finger or her fingernail or something say. like that, but I don't think it was relevant to the incident that had happened. So I see the questions about him ma him masking. He. I don't think it was relevant to the incident that happened. Just relevant. Yes, he took it off during opening. To the form of the question. And said he wanted the jury to see him unmasked, so he took it off during opening, and and I think it would be very hard to question with a mask on, truly. The court reporter seems pleased with this witness. Well, they're not talking over each other. So that's helpful. The, the frantic pace of this trial has slowed down significantly with him doing the questioning. It's actually kind of a breath of fresh air with him sniping over the prosecution and then arguing with the judge. This actually feels much more calm and civilized and it's a nice breath of fresh air. Um, probably not for this witness who looks pissed as hell, but it's no nice. Yay! No further questions. Before I decide whether to do cross at this time. Yes. How long do you believe it will be? Cross. Zero minutes because I have more questions. All right, thank you. They're going to take a lunch break. Out, and we're going to take a break. All right, no cross. And the courtroom's going to take a break. Um, give me a second. I'm going to all rise for the jury. Let me excuse the jury for a second. All right. What time is it? 3.30? Court goes to what, 4.30? Should we just go? Y'all? Let's put up a poll in the chat. Do we just cover the rest of the day? Do we just, do we just, Mingalina, if you don't mind putting up a poll in the chat. Everybody's like, no, we didn't anticipate on being here for a six hour stream. Do we just go for the rest of the day? <laughs> see who the next witness is. I want to see if he calls himself. He's laughing. What, what, the, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Well, I might not be able to go much longer because kiddos, but what time are they running till? Are they running till five? So we'll put up a poll. All right. Thank Yesterday. you. You may be seated. You may. Uh, <coughs> Yesterday they went till six. No, we're not doing that. And I presume he may be released from his subpoena, Mr. Brooks. You're done questioning yeah. him. Yeah, I don't think he's going to leave. All right, you are released from your subpoena, sir. What are you so happy about? Let's take about a fifteen minute break. Anything we need to address prior to that, or can we no. do it when we come back? No. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Brooks, welcome to the state. Please, for the next witness, we have them available. Wait, 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 wait. I want to know who the next witness is. Damn it. Um, <laughs> they already took their lunch break. So, all right, let's go to questions. We're going to, we're going to big face it. We're going to go to questions. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things. Even those of you on Facebook can come over and do the YouTube things. I don't know what he thinks was funny. Maybe that they didn't cross-examine the witness because he asked that witness nothing of substance. Um, Kelly over on Facebook said, Queasy seeing how pleased he is with himself. He is. I wonder if the prosecution not asking a question, not asking a question felt like a serve to him. Like, <laughs> you didn't ask anything of substance. <sighs> so, 
It just, he didn't ask anything of substance. All right, we're going to get to Super Chats and questions real quick. We've got about a 15-minute break. And then when they come back, I will probably, well, I don't see a poll. I don't know if we've put up a poll yet, but we will. We'll get the poll going. Don't worry. Um, do the YouTube things, the likey, subscribey things. Yes. Um, did they say no cross? Yes, they said no cross. Let's do a poll. Do we just, thank you, Miguelina. The poll is up. Um, did they say no cross? Yeah, they have no questions. What are you going to cross him about? So here's the thing with cross-examination. You can only cross-examine him about the things that were asked about during the direct examination. And nothing was asked of substance. Um, Rabbit Mim said, did he plead not guilty? Yes, that's why we're on trial. Or what is this case? What is his case? I don't know what his defense is. I mean, we saw a bit of his defense in his opening statement that there's no premeditation. I don't think that's going to get him very far. I don't think he legally understands what premeditation is. So, um, yeah, I don't know what he was going to get out of that. They aren't going to do cross. No, when we come back, it's the new, um, when we come back, it's going to be the next witness. And then he's going to fuss around before they call the next witness. Um, he was laughing at something, but that witness was ready to get off the stand and punch him. So, and maybe, and maybe that gave him a, a little bit of glee, but the jury was, the jury was leaving at that point. So you guys are asking me what his defense is. I don't know. It wasn't me. The state has no authority over me. No premeditation. Yeah. Mistake that he didn't mean to be driving that way. I don't know. Um, Leanne said for the impromptu live stream trial day, I mean, I was hoping to just cover opening or his opening when I saw that his opening was going to be today and that it looked like the state was going to be resting today. It's Thursday. We already had a coffee and cursey words planned. So we just shifted because I've been getting asked about it a lot and now I'm invested. I was at least invested in that witness. Spicy Kirby was, was pissed and just kept, kept saying things. I was fascinated. Um, David Brown said, I say we forgo life sentences and just give this witness 15 minutes alone in a room with that guy being called Daryl Brooks. This witness is not happy with him. The reason he's not, um, horrible is he's reading the questions the public defender created. When his questions get wonky, those are the questions Daryl wrote. I mean, here's the thing. When, when he switched from the public defenders to himself, it, he got all of the files, all of the prep, all of the everything. So he was given all of that. And I think he's going off of that. But the thing is, he doesn't um, he doesn't have a direction of his questioning, and that's clear. There's no point to his questions. There's no, like, this is the information we need. Witnesses bring information. That witness brought no information other than um, he was friends with Erica. She was screaming for help, and she was screaming for help, and that Brooks was the one in the red SUV. That's really all he gave us. So... Question, do you think that Brooks knows that he's getting convicted and is just stalling, delaying the inevitable, or is Brooks delusional? I don't know what he thinks. Um, the prosecution made it clear there's mountains of evidence. Question, is this trial timed like Depp v. Heard? No, that was actually really unique to see in Depp v. Heard that they gave, they gave very specific time limits to each side. This is a criminal case. They're not going to do that. They might when it comes to opening and closing. Um, I thought that it was just a terrible lawyer. No, yeah, that's the defendant. Not a lawyer. Could the other side call the judge out for helping him so much? I don't think they will. Um, I don't think they will. And I don't think it would help if they do. So, no. Other judges may. Another attorney in my county ends every single question was, is that fair to say? I used to joke about it with our old court reporter. Is that fair to say? No, it's not fair. It's rude, actually. I hate... I. I but once you get into a habit of kind of couching questions like that, there you go. You get that. Um, let's see. Uh, for getting through my root canal today. Hey, you've got this. Hoppa. <laughs> we'll get through the root canal. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to leave and pick my kid up from band practice, but that's okay. Is it fair to say these witnesses do not know in advance what sort of questions Brooks has planned to ask? That's very fair to say, um, Kendra. He wouldn't have interviewed them, I'm assuming, because they wouldn't have come up to the jail to agree to be interviewed, I would imagine. So no, I don't think they know what he's going to ask. I don't think that they know why they're being called. They've been subpoenaed and here they are. Emily, good to see you. Are you going to cover the rest of the trial? I mean, no, 
But I do want to cover closing arguments. And I do want to cover Brooks testifying if he testifies. So some, I'll cover some. Um, because we're interested and we've got a minute. And we can talk about the Masterson, Weinstein, Spacey of it all. Well, in today's podcast episode, The Emily Show, on your favorite podcasting apps now. And we can cover, um, there's new Girardi stuff, but none of it is happening at the moment. So we can cover it when we cover it. Um, we'll see what happens when the jury convicts him. If the jury convicts him, I imagine that's what will happen. Juries do weird things. You never know. Um, I have been watching since day one. I live in Wisconsin and know people hurt. This has been the first day I've enjoyed watching this. Thanks to you. You're welcome. And that, and that's one of the things I forget when I choose to cover, not cover is that it can, this community, I don't think it's just me. This community can make it easier for those of you that need a safe space to watch a trial like this. Um, especially for those of you that were so personally impacted that being here with this community can make it a little bit more bearable. And, um, and that's fair and that's fair. So somebody was saying he can't testify. He's not Daryl Brooks. This Barbara, this is a fair argument for the prosecution to try to uh, block him, but I don't think they'll even bring it up because the judge would think that it's fuckery. Question, who files his appeal? Assuming he's convicted, um, uh, he would probably have an appellate lawyer appointed, though I've seen defendants represent themselves on appeal too. It doesn't go well. Appeals are specific. So um, is it fair to say is the new what, if anything? Yes, we've, we've definitely discussed that a few times today. So let's see. Um... This witness, didn't this witness say he saw him run over people? The witness said specifically, if I misspoke to the police after seeing people run over. I think what the witness meant based on his final statements was that he saw the SUV like a bat out of hell and then saw the aftermath. But it was never asked about. So, so we don't really know. Um, what is his argument about judicial determination when the judge clarifies she's already ruled on jurisdiction? He wants a written ruling is what I think he's trying to say. Like, I need your, like, where's the law? What backs that up? I think he wants a written ruling on that and he's not getting it. If he testifies, how would he question himself? Normally it's a narrative format. And then the, the prosecution tries to object to things that are improper. So let's get to a few more questions. Uh, we need a grand total count of how many objections Brooks has thrown out. I think a running counter would be difficult, but maybe. Probably laughing because of an adrenaline rush after the questioning. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm definitely, I don't know. I don't know. So I watched the interview with his mother where she said he had previously talked about driving through the parade route. She was uh, supposed to be called to testify. Not sure why she no longer is. Or she might be a rebuttal witness. Um, that will still happen in this case. There can be rebuttal witnesses. I don't know. So I don't know. Um, asking, can we please raid Natalie lawyer check after this? She's been covering this a lot and I'm so glad you're watching it now too. Um, I, I am happy to let you guys know who's streaming afterwards. I would just say, don't spam the chat with raid. It can feel very invasive. So I don't love a raid like that. I know y'all wouldn't your law nerds, but if you all kind of scoot on over there and say hello, it would be up to her chat rules. But I hate it when people come into the chat and are like, Raid, 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 raid. It feels it feels aggressive. So I think I will, if she's live after this, I will absolutely let you know. He just wants his story out the way he wants. I think that's very true. Mr. Brooks's body language and facial expressions are aggressive towards the witness. He was a bit, but his, he was, his demeanor was much different. Did you see? And this is going to be so interesting for the jury to see. The jury is now seeing... Um, the jury's now seeing how different he can be. So yes, Chelsea said, please don't quote unquote raid. I mean, everyone's welcome to go somewhere else and watch. Um, a chat raid is something that is more commonly done in gaming streams and on, on uh, the chat can explain the internet more commonly done in gaming streams where an entire chat floods another live stream and goes over to another live stream and floods the chat. It's just we're a bunch of lawyers. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a gaming streamer. It just feels awkward to me. So it just feels awkward to me. Um, let's see. She gave him a written ruling on subject matter jurisdiction and he tore it up. I didn't see that, but this is what happens when you don't cover every day. He was given a written jurisdiction and he tore it up. 
Um, I think he called that witness to annoy him. It, it always worries me when people represent themselves that they are abusing their rights to harass others. It always is a concern, particularly, um, particularly when it's in cases of violence where they're questioning witnesses. I think he called that witness to annoy him. I think he's been stifling laughter, showing he's capable of controlling his behavior. And I think of controlling others, right? And, oh, what I was saying is the jury now gets to see um, different sides of him. They get to see him be more composed. They get to see him ask questions and be linear. They get to see him um, in a different way. So the earlier shenanigans feel much more intentional and much more, um, much more, well, much more like fuckery, truly. See, he can, he can have this, he can, he can engage in the court in the way he's supposed to engage in the war, in the court, but he also, um, can just act a mess. And so the jury's getting to see it. Um, somebody said rating sounds juvenile. It's why, it's just why I don't, don't, I mean, it, it feels I, I just a personal opinion, personal opinion. So, all right, we're going to get to some more questions while we still have a, um, while we still have time, uh, question. If he calls himself to the stand, won't he have to state his full legal name? You're ask Bart, you're asking the good questions. <laughs> yes. He is supposed to state his full legal name. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. The DA called out the judge this morning. I saw the DA support the judge this morning, but if something happened earlier, it might have been. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to get to some more questions. Thank you guys. When you mark questions in the chat, it makes it much easier for me to see them. Questions. How will Brooks not become an actual hostile witness if he testifies and gets cross-examined? Well, when he's cross-examined by the state, he's not legally a hostile witness because he's an opposing witness. So they get to cross examine him. A legally hostile witness is when you cross examine a witness that you called not cross examining a, the opposing witness. The defendant is the opposing party. So they're going to cross examine him, but whether he acts spicy is different. Um, let's see. Can the, can the prosecutors cross regarding the elicited hearsay answers? They could have, but they didn't, which is probably smart. Uh, does watching his behavior give, um, you an ulcer too. I don't definitely not, but it's frustrating. It gives me some of his behavior gives me a headache question. Sorry, Jam Johnny Depp, Amber Heard question. If Amber Heard remains living in a foreign country, can she avoid paying Johnny Depp what was awarded? It depends if she still has property here, or if money's been moved. Um, and I'm going to get, try to get to some more of our super chats <laughs> question. Would this be fair? What is this? It depends on what the definition of this is. Just wanted to say that you're a badass. Keep going. I mean, we didn't intend to be here this long, and here we are. The mods are like, damn it. Thank you. If any of you guys need to tap out, it's perfectly fine. I appreciate you for riding with my like, oh, we're just doing this now. Thank you. Um, Miguelina, same. If you if you need to go, you can always uh, tag me in the chat, and I'll put the video live for the podcast later today. Any chance you could comment on the credibility of the 100 million live? I have not seen it at all, um, but I will take a look at it but I've not, I've not looked at it at all. I've been very busy, truly traveling, um, w for work stuff. Lots of personality similarities with Amber Heard and Daryl Brooks. In my opinion, Amber Heard was very calm and collected during her cross and wanted to tell her story. And then she went through a couple of law firms to get her way. I mean, he definitely wants to do it his way. Um, rating is a way to bring new viewers to other streamers you like. It doesn't always feel that way to me on YouTube. So, but yes, it can be. Um, Bela said, could she be helping him in order to make sure he doesn't come back and say there was a judicial bias? I think she's going too far, though, if that makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. I think the judge is overstepping, not helping. It's supposed to be neutral. She's supposed to treat him like any other lawyer, and she's not. Question, can Brooks rep himself when he clearly displays behavioral issues in court every day? Behavioral issues are not competence, and the judge is letting him. He's clearly in control of his behavior, clearly in control of his behavior. So let's see. Um, uh, question. Will the judge attempt to hurry this along in any way? No. 
I feel like this is bumbling and will prejudice the jury to him. He's in charge. Uh, grounds for appeal? No. It's the judge shouldn't be cutting him off. So unless it's asked and answered, but then the prosecution should be the one saying asked and answered. Like the prosecution should be the ones objecting, not the defense or not the judge. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, there was a question I saw and then the chat just, just jumped. Um, judges rewarding his bad behavior for the last few days. I think by continuing to engage, it does. Would this be a case that could be used as to whether sovereign citizen is valid? It's, uh, Freya, it's never been determined to be legally valid because it's not legally valid and it has no legal basis. So no, it's not legally valid. It doesn't work. It's never worked. Saying there's no subject matter jurisdiction is not going to work. It's never going to work. Could the judge's helpfulness be grounds for appeal? No, not really. Unless it, unless we get to the point where the judge is advising him in some way. And then possibly, I haven't seen that yet, but I have not seen every single minute of every single thing in, in this trial. But the judge could cross the line into helping too much. But if he's acquitted, there's no appeal. So if he's convicted, the only way it would come up is truly if the judge like advised him to ask a question or not ask a question. And even then, I think it's an outside chance. Really an outside chance. Outside chance. I think she should stop, though. Can the prosecution bring up the judge helping him? What could happen then? They're not going to. The prosecution is going to practice in front of this judge all the time. They're not going to. The judge has been, oh, the judge has been really, really getting into the form of the question and stuff. It's just gotten uncomfortable to watch. I need the judge to stop. Um, but the judge, I don't, I haven't seen the judge giving legal advice. Form of the question stuff is not really legal advice. It's just the judge is going above and beyond more than they, I think, should. Have you ever seen a sovereign citizen be successful? No, I have not. And I don't think anybody else has either. I haven't even heard of it. Um, he wants to be held in contempt. She's not allowing it. She, I mean, she could always put over contempt hearings to later. Um, Life's a hoot said, I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> I have a horrible human sweatshirt. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. I just can't watch this guy dig a deeper grave than it already is. And that's fine. The boundaries. It's, I mean, there's a lot of video in this case. Dinner's ready. Can this case be used in future sovereign citizen trials? For example, the DA's office helping, the judge giving advice, the outbursts. I mean, in this jurisdiction, will others be like, oh, maybe this is an avenue? Maybe, but that happens anyway without this trial. So... How does being your own attorney work? Who's responsible for discovery and filing motions? The person. Daryl Brooks is responsible for all of that. But there was assistance from the state in getting witnesses served. They did not give him, I don't think, a defense investigator. It depends on the jurisdiction for that. So the prosecution had to help him serve his witnesses. But he has to do it all. I think it's safe to say that watching five reruns of <laughs> Matlock does not a lawyer make. That's very fair. It might have helped him a little bit. He might have had the language. Um... Question, even though he refused counsel, is he receiving assistance with his defense? N not from not from lawyers, not from lawyers for the state, no. Um, first, defense attorneys are busy. Second, they wouldn't have access to him because they're not his lawyer. Third, it would be unethical to do so. And fourth, the only people he's probably talking to by the time he gets to court and leaves court every day is the other people um, in and around his cell. But no, he's not. He should not be getting any assistance. Uh, just a thank you to the mods. I think <laughs> have been dying to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much. You're welcome. A lot of people have said that a, a lot. When I say a lot, I don't mean three. I mean lots and lots of DMs and emails across platforms. How would you rate his opening statement? Well, it was, I don't know how to rate it. It was better than I expected. He did not go outside the bounds and get into trying to say stuff he's not allowed to say. He did not act out. Do I think he was trying to maybe emotionally manipulate the jury? Maybe. Was that some of that maybe genuine emotion? Maybe we've seen him be emotional at other parts in this trial. So that's possible. Um, I don't think it was terrible. He pointed to things that will go to a legal determination in this case, which is um, premeditation. And he touched on that. And he asked the jury to keep an open mind until the end of all the evidence. I mean, he didn't say it exactly that way. But those are elements of an opening that you are going to get. So I think he did okay. Better than I expected. That's how I would rate it. Better than expected. Question. 
what would a lawyer try to do when a witness is clearly trying to control things? How do you try to regain control? Um, when you're talking about a cross-examination, the cross-examination of Amber Heard shows you how a lawyer tries to regain control. Camille Vasquez was like, my questions. I'm asking my questions. But it can be a battle and it can be a, a lot of strategy. And this goes with experience because it depends on how much the jury might like the witness. And so having a battle of personalities with a witness who a jury likes can turn a jury off to you as an attorney. This is something that is learned through experience and it really depends on the witness. It just, and it depends on the lawyer and the personality of the lawyer. I didn't try to strong arm people. I tried to lead them. We tried to link arms and go, um, even when witnesses hated me, which happens when you're the DA. So let's see. Question, is hearsay okay when the defendant is the one asking the questions? No. The fact that the defendant's asking the questions is not what makes it okay. The fact that the prosecute, it's not okay. It's still hearsay. But the prosecution's not objecting, so there's no one to say stop so the judge doesn't rule on it. It's hearsay. It's improperly elicited evidence. But if nobody objects, it's just going to come in. So there's no like magic barrier where the judge is like, stop, that's hearsay. The DA has to object and they weren't. And I wouldn't. Would the DA object when wrongfully asked questions are in their favor? No. They would let that shit go. Let it go. Unless it's like clearly going to violate. Because the DA still has a duty um, as an officer of the court. So if it's clearly going to violate a pretrial ruling, truly the judge should step in, not the DA. But the DA can say, I think that elicits um, testimony. They've been really careful with that, even though he's opened doors all over the place. They should just let him do it. But I think the evidence in this case is such that they're trying to be very mindful. And I think even though he's opened certain doors, um, they're trying not to walk through them because the evidence in this case is overwhelming. Um, thank you for your coverage and narrative. Love your channel during Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. You're welcome. People are just like, Emily, just do live trial coverage all the time. <laughs> we also cover documents. Wait, has Runkle responded to my voice note yet? Let's take a look. Runkle's probably at work. So let's see. I'll take a look. I messaged Runkle earlier in the stream. All the chat can let you guys know. Um, why wasn't the state objecting to hearsay questions? Because nothing was going to hurt them. All the hearsay was helping, uh, was helpful for them. So that's why they didn't object. You don't object when the answer is going to help you, even if it's improperly asked. Um, Runkle said, okay, we can do a watch party and send a smiley face. Yay. <laughs> why does the judge keep helping? I don't know. I don't like it. Too much. Too much. Tina said, I love the document coverage. Thank you. I do too. So we're doing a little bit of both. Um, so let us continue. Um, did he get to meet with his witnesses prior to today? Is that common practice? Not common practice when he is representing himself. He has access to the phones, but if people don't pick up a phone call, you can't make a witness go meet with somebody in court. You can't make a witness go meet with somebody in custody. And he's been in trial for days, so I don't know when they would have had time. Normally that happens before the trial or at lunch. That's not going to happen for him because he's in custody. He could have tried to make phone calls. I don't know if they would have answered those calls. So I'm guessing not. That my my reasoned my reasoned education guess edu education guess educated guess would be no. Would the judge prevent the DA from questioning about the rap sheet since Brooks opened the door? They didn't even try because the judge has ruled on some of that. So I don't think they'll even try because the judge has ruled that. But if he starts, if he takes a stand, some of that's going to come in when he testifies. Do you think it's him he doesn't like, or do you th think that's sovereign too? Was he forced to testify? I This witness, I don't think likes Brooks because he testified that Brooks assaulted his friend, um, Erica, and he was subpoenaed and didn't want to be there. He doesn't like that guy. And I can imagine you, we, we've we seen the video of what happened at the parade. Would you want to sit across from that guy and be asked questions? No. Um, very, very new to this. What's this trial about? I'm a bit out of the loop. Hello from England, by the way. I hope the chat answered you. This was a car that drove through a Christmas parade and killed six people and injured 60-odd uh, more. So thank you. But I know there are plenty of you that are new here. Um, it's been over 15 minutes. Where are they? I don't know. I have the court feed up. I'm very curious as to why they haven't come back out. Um, would those potential phone calls have been collected like a normal jail call? He should. 
it's possible, but he should have been given access to make calls without them being collect to call witnesses. So that, um, so, uh, Celendia, I th hope I pronounced that right. I'm so angry right now. Not sure why, but Walter Hamada is gone from Warner brothers and it seems to be related to his participation in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. What do you say about that? I need to hear your opinion. I don't have an opinion. This is the first I've heard about it. Um, I'm curious. I have questions, but truly I would need to know more. Um, but I know they've been doing massive reorganizations. Um, massive, 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 massive. So yeah, massive. So I don't know. Sorry. Haven't seen it. Question. Do you have a read on why defendants, uh, choose to represent themselves? Typically it feels like a delusional choice. I, I have seen it in, in a lot of cases. It generally boils down to control, distrust of the state, believing that the defense attorneys are working with the prosecution and any attorney you appoint for me is going to be working with the prosecution. And sometimes, truly, it's to uh, further victimize the victims and to further exert control over the victims. There's nothing more powerful, I would think, than being like, you are on the stand under oath and you must answer me. I think a lot of it back on the record boils down to control. Eight appearances are yeah, where were, were y'all? Jury is coming in. To I got questions. Program. Subject matter jurisdiction. The judge is like Your request, as I understand it. Noted, noted denied. The objection is noted, noted denied. It's overruled. Noted denied. We'll continue with the questioning of a witness. You may call your next witness as soon as all the. I want to know who this is. Box. Question: How does all the right, defense questioning work if he testifies? It's generally a narrative. So I want Go ahead, sir. You may call your next witness. Yourself, 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 yourself. Uh, defense calls Heather R. Reamer. Thank you. That's a face. He's like, mm. um so. All right. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Rachel said, question, can you speculate as to the substance splatter on the driver's side of the SUV? They tested it. It wasn't blood. I don't know. This was a parade. It could have been anything. So it, things get on cars, so I don't know. What cup are you using today? I have two. I bought them both while I was traveling to New York. This is the Starbucks Halloween Glow in the Dark. Good this afternoon, ma'am. If you would is please the make purple. your way. So I have these two. My husband, when I was unpacking, was like, there's more cups. I'm like, yes. Um, can he testify for himself and then plead the fifth on cross? No. Once he's testifying, he's testifying. Thank you, ma'am. Please have a seat. So I don't know who, who this witness is either. First thing I will ask you to do is to state your But I might, I might bounce and go to the um, restroom in a minute. Heather Reamer, H E A T H. -E she looks so nervous. I E M E R. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Your witness. She looks very nervous, <coughs> doesn't she? Wow. Hey, good afternoon, Miss Reamer. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. He already tried to call the state. Um, Didn't happen. I want to direct your uh, attention to the evening of November. 21st of 2021. Uh, do you recall what you were the doing? Last witness. I was at the Waukesha Christmas parade. And do you recall who you were with at the parade? I was with my husband and three friends and one of their children. Um, about what time, if you recall, did you and your family arrive? Um, I talked about this just a little bit earlier. Right before it started, we were running late, and then we, by the time we got to where we were seated, it was. I'm invested. Um, right before it started, I I don't recall exact time. Do you recall? Do you recall we'll where uh, you and your family were positioned uh, along the parade route that evening? Um, at the time, I don't remember, but um, I later found out that it was the historical society. At that time. She didn't remember. I feel so bad for this you woman. Weather-wise, that evening was it a pretty chilly evening? 
Yes. If you That's leading. Yes. But whatever. It's pretty windy. Foundational, yes. I suppose. So I'm assuming at some point. You don't get to uh, assume. You get to ask a question. You deserved a, a bit of commotion. Would that be fair to say? Yes. A bit and of do commotion. Do you recall what that commotion was? You. In a car. Um, everyone running around was the biggest commotion. Uh, at, at, at that point. <sighs> um, I'm agitated. I'm sorry. Did the area you I feel for this woman. Get pretty loud, chaotic? Like, I, I really, really feel for this yeah, woman. Yeah, screaming gets loud. Question, at any point is it considered unethical to force a witness to be questioned by their aggressor? The Constitution protects the rights of the defendant. Before. And it can feel very disgusting. But it is the defendant's right. You and, your family were doing, and their rights come first. Uh, directly prior to the uh, parade that evening? I don't recall. Yeah, all of the at chat the is like, you, Oof, uh, uh, I want to hug her. Uh, commotion. What did you do from that point? Started running. Um, I'm assuming with you, you and your don't assume all took the same course course of action. We all ran, yes. And where did you run to? I don't know why this is helping. I don't know what he wants I'll from this witness. From the parade route, I don't. I'm not familiar with streets. I'm thinking it's east. I ran Daniel. away. He ran down that road. Um, would that be? A side street connected to the main parade. She route. said she didn't know. Yes, it was a perpendicular route. Um, do you recall if that side street was barricaded in any way? I don't recall. Do you recall if there were any law enforcement officers stationed at that side street? I don't recall. <coughs> Good for her. And you guys, I see you in the chat. The way you're feeling is how the how the jury's gonna feel too. I said this during Depp v. Heard. When you have a chat like this, and we have, you know, what, 14 plus thousand people in here saying you feel this victim, this witness, we don't know exactly, she was there, she experienced something, we don't know. But all of you saying, I feel for her, oh my God, this feels awful. The jury's gonna feel it too. At any time during the, the commotion when you and you know, your family were at the parade, do you call seeing anything that uh, drew your attention? Anything? How would the jury react yes. to him calling victims as witnesses? And They're not going to like it. Do you recall what that was that you saw? A red Ford SUV driving. No, I give commentary. Faster than all Non-stop the moms. That's what I do. Parade. And... What did you observe this vehicle doing at the time that it caught your attention? It was honking. Uh, well, I heard honking. I'm not positive if it was the red SUV or another car alerting. Did we you notice any other vehicles? Let her finish. Around the vehicle you saw, following the vehicle you saw? Following, no. It, it passed a float that had a vehicle <coughs> in the parade. So it was by another vehicle, yes. And it was by it was passing the, the other vehicle you're referring yes. to, correct? Sorry, I'm messing with my mic stand. <coughs> I don't want it to be loud. And you stated a, a reference to honking. Um, <clears throat> in your opinion. The volume is a little loud from the court when he stands up. Why would a vehicle honk his horn? Calls for speculation. I don't know what the point of this is, other than maybe she heard the honking. To alert and somebody. He's trying to say he was honking to get people out of the way. So, but that was calls for speculation. Do you recall? Uh, when the 
I'm assuming at some point the vehicle passed the position where you were. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Don't assume. Ask. At any time during the vehicles passing you, did you see who was driving the vehicle? No. Uh, did you notice if they were uh, intense to the vehicle as far as windows? Can you speak up a bit? Oh, I don't recall. Tint. Oh, he asked if there was any tint to the window. I thought he said intense to the vehicle. Do you recall if you were able to see into the vehicle? I don't recall. Do you recall if you got a chance to catch the license plate number of the vehicle? I, no, I didn't. Sorry, I was running. I wasn't trying to catch the license plate. And from your recollection, when the vehicle passed you, were the windows up or down? I don't recall. I don't know what the point of this will be. And did you at some time uh, report what you saw to law enforcement that evening? That evening, I did not, no. Did you at any time report what you had saw that evening to law enforcement? Yes. And do you recall what agency that law enforcement officer was from? I I don't recall. I'm gonna assume Akasha, but I don't I don't recall. And Sorry, that was my cursor. My computer is salty with me for streaming for five hours. Like this is the point where things start to buffer and get weird. That's why I broke up the depth hurt coverage. I was on the phone, so I don't know what they were doing. Do you recall? At this point, she's not doing that. She's not and revoking his right to represent himself. So no. After that? She found it him was competent. After the incident, I don't know how long after. She found him competent to represent himself, and here we are. So. I just don't know what he's trying to get to. Like I don't know what the point is. It's just, what do you need this witness to say that helps your defense? You. She heard honking. Great. Other witnesses said that. So what? What do you? What? What is the point? It's much Upon easier. Arriving at the parade that evening with your family, um, did you notice any of the side streets barricaded in any way? Any of them? Yes. Do you recall if there were law enforcement officers at those barricades? Barricaded side streets. I don't recall. Do you recall about how long the parade had been ongoing before you saw this vehicle? I don't recall. And from, from that point, did you and your family immediately leave the parade and head home? Or Why does it matter? Why we left, we didn't head home. Any of this relevant? And I wonder if the state is letting a little of this go because it will make the jury not like him even more suffering injuries during this incident no. no one suffered any injuries no further questions try to get to questions in between him pausing to figure out the next question. Most judges would not love this. YouTube needs to let creators see gifts and member chats. I know, Lori, we do when we're in the chat, but not through StreamYard. It is a problem I've let everyone know about. Do you recall seeing any, uh, it's very hard when we're not on um, uh, news reports related to this incident? Yes. It's hard when we're not streaming natively in, in YouTube, but if I stream natively, I can't do this as easily. Did you keep up with those You're reports welcome. or was it just that evening or? Relevance. Today's? Just a couple days within whatever was right immediately. I 
I'm not a person to watch the news. <coughs> Girl, same. Plot twist, someone shows up in the state of Wisconsin costume ready to testify. I mean, I guess they could have, uh, like, I don't know, conversation with law enforcement. subpoena the Secretary of State uh, or something, you I guess. Law enforcement officers follow up with you about the report? No. Did you yourself follow up with law enforcement after that no. initial report? <clears throat> this judge needs a very dirty martini. Beer is not going to cut it. Though it is Wisconsin, so maybe. Maybe a shot ski? She is doing, Victoria said, great job of answering only the question. She's doing a great job. Did you yourself? She is doing a great job. Stick to the question. Observe the vehicle that passed you during the parade. Did you yourself witness anyone injured by the vehicle? I don't believe so. Uh, that's all I have right now. His audio is low because he you. stood Any, uh, up. Cross. Yes, briefly. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, there's uh, Cross. Good afternoon, Ms. Reamer. Thank you for being here today. Yes. Uh, Why? I'd like you to take a look at the man seated to my oh, right. Oh, identity. To your left, uh, Mr. Brooks. You ever seen Josh, that man before? I said to be in court that night. Noted. Yes. Tell us about when you've seen Mr. Brooks before. Objection leading. It's cross-examination, cross bruh. Them's the, them's the turns of the things. How about them apples? As we were driving to the parade, um, we were coming to a stoplight and we saw the red SUV coming down the wrong way on the road. And um, I, I slowed down because the car in front of me started to back up to let him through. This took place outside of a gas station, is that correct? Yes. Your Honor, I'd ask that we display for everybody exhibit number seven oh. previously been received and published. They're making use of this witness, aren't they? Objection to uh, relevancy. Exhibit seven previously been received. Overruled. Is it relevant to this particular witness? Sir, yes, this is cross examination. Yes, go ahead and publish, Madam Clerk. We don't need to explain ourselves. Interesting. Mr. Reamer, can you see the, uh, the map depicted on the screen in front of you? Yes. We're looking at the intersection of North Street and Barstow Street. Does that look correct to you? Every trial tacos this, come up, and now I want tacos. The gas station that we're talking about? Every trial. And you were parked on North Street facing southwestbound at the time. Is that Exhibit right? Exhibit Overruled the witness may answer. Sir. Uh, the way of traffic. I don't know. I well, let's assume, up. based on these arrows here. Oh. That Objection speculation. Yep. <coughs> Sir? Um, they're on the map, overruled. Her Shh. answer was yes, and you may ask the next question. These arrows Madam Clerk, on the street. The, annotations? the arrows are on the and streets. you saw the red SUV that we've been talking about come the wrong way on North Street. Is that right? Bruh's ready for this. And like, what happened after that? Um, should I draw? Sure, yep, that's a touch screen. Go for it. Um, so I stopped roughly back here. I'll talk. It was the first thing I saw. Me too. That was here. It always comes back to food. So can we please, let's get a screen grab of this, please, uh, Your Honor, and mark it as Exhibit 7. The reason they're marking an exhibit is because they're marking the exhibit with her markings on it we'll as so a new marked. exhibit. So. And just for the record, the green line was That's placed why. by Attorney Wichow uh, from, as you're looking at the exhibit, left to right to demonstrate travel of a vehicle in his question. I don't know if she testified before. Some of y'all are saying this is a recalled witness. It might be. On the screen. I don't know. It, will be received as it could be a recalled witness. C, as in Charlie. Go objection, ahead. Objection to relevancy. Um, it's not a proper rule. objection. I mean, it is, you but it's not at this point. You saw that red SUV in front of that gas station. Is that correct? Objection. At that time, I didn't know. Caught that name, and it's speculative. Um, Overruled, him. You may answer. Can you point to who you I saw driving it? Name, him. I saw him. See him sitting in court today. Can you yes. point? That's the guy. Yes. Objection. Speculative. Point. Overruled. The record will reflect the identification as of the defendant as the driver of the red him. SUV she saw as depicted in this exhibit. 
Thank you. May we please display for everybody exhibit number 15, which has also previously been received. Like I'm so office. glad you called this witness. We have Go some ahead. questions too. Can we zoom in please on the intersection of uh, Main Street and East Northeast Avenue? Objection relevancy. I presume the question will provide the relevance. Ella so, said, is the guy thank you. who did the direct the prosecutor defense, the it's the defendant. You, you testified? This is a trial where Mr. Brooks is representing yeah. himself. He was the defendant. This is the DA or one of the DAs doing cross. We're in the defense case, day one of the defense case. Okay. Would the historical society be uh, near this intersection that I'm circling, east and main? Yes. And he gets asked leading questions because it's cross examination. When you saw the red SUV drive by, you testified you could not see the driver, correct? Correct. Because it was going so fast? Yes. Did you ever see that Blur. SUV come to a stop at any point on Main Street? No. In fact, did you see it accelerate as it traveled towards more people? Objection yes. speculative. Um, no. <coughs> overruled. Uh, overruled. Overruled. Answer. That wasn't spec. No, that did not call for speculation. And then I remembered you had called the witness, not the state. So cross examination is appropriate. Yes. Tell him. Fair enough, though. Next no, question. tell him. It's not Did fair enough. Don't an coddle him, That's Your Honor. Nice. Okay, thank you. That's all I have. Yes. Redirect, sir. He yes. doesn't know what that means. Do you want any of the exhibits up? Uh, Don't offer. I, I forgot what the one was before this. Seven. Seven. Seven was the map with near the gas Stop station. helping. This is 15. I'm going to turn it off until you tell me you need something. I uh, need uh, exhibit seven. Yes, his tactic is to object to every question and then yell grounds. Publish it for the jury as well. And yell grounds when um, they're saying the grounds. They'll say like objection and he's yelling grounds as they're still saying it every single time. And when, when shown this uh, exhibit on cross, you, you stated you were approximately around. As a matter of fact, that, that wouldn't be fair. Can you erase that, um, the, that mark, please? Were you, were you, were you Sorry, y'all, my computer is angry your, with me. Uh, vehicle was positioned? It's a, just a rough estimate. But okay. Probably about there. Mm. And where are we? When I, that's when I initially switched browsers. I'm just gonna switch browsers. Okay. Um, and you stated there was another car that uh, did a, a, a backing up motion. Can you show again where that vehicle was positioned? I, they were at the light going this way.
Connect with me everywhere. I'm at the Emily D Baker. If you guys want to join the text, just text emily.com. If you want to join the channel, lawnerdsunite.com. Happy to have you support what we do here on the YouTube.